Oh fuck, there's a lot of people. Oh fuck, there's a lot of people. Oh. He's purple shirt, I'm red. Perfect. Big bucks my enemies, chat. Oh, it's a zombie horse, but he's not hostile. I can ride the zombie horse! No! Get out of the effing menu, Shizels. Alrighty. <clears throat> Morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. How y'all doing? Hope you had a good uh, Friday. Appreciate y'all tuning in with me. Was that a nuke notification the second I log in? It very much was, okay. Well then, <clears throat> looks like it's gonna be landing down there, so we're fine. 
Anybody got any serums? Mads, too. Mm. 113, it's possible, but unlikely he has serums. I need to head down this way anyway, though, so. Check it out on the way. What I need to do is actually go drop it off this ledge and get a chainsaw if I can. If it's here. That'd be nice. <clears throat> Anyways, how y'all doing? Uh, KG, 13 months. Appreciate you, dude. Ah, uh, thank you. Hello? Keybinds aren't working. Uh, there we go. Power attack's working again. I don't remember if this uh, vendor bot inside could have the uh, chainsaw stuff. So let's have a look see. No whammies. Fuck. Ha, <laughs> through the wall, bitch. Got some scary raiding gear, but maybe you're looking to buy an upgrade for. Chainsaw two. Flamer! Oh my god, dude. We got one straight away. Let's go. We still need a dual bar, but that's gonna be huge. Uh, longbow is not great, honestly. Um, we want you the duel for more damage as well. The raiding life. Still, that's, take that's what fucking you huge, honestly. Want. Kill people that deserve it. Beautiful. Alright, I knew we came here for a reason. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, let's bounce. Let's go down the hill and uh, <clears throat> go make our way over to the chainsaw spawn. Hope that one is there. If it's not, whatever. We still can still hit up <clears throat> the uh, what should I call it? The inn. That's hey, not a big deal, really. What up, you man? How's it going, dude? I've already fucked off. Radio array on the other side of the mountain needs to boost their radio. Only I don't have a plan. It didn't seem important at the time. Ugh, I'm kicking myself for not taking the schematic when I found it. I definitely need to be level 21, level 13, veteran. Thousand. Two. This is a very empty server. I say empty, but no, most people are probably over here. Okay. Still though, another 23. Like, dude, there's a lot of low levels, man. I mean, I realize a lot of them are probably getting it because the game's free. But, I mean, the game's also just got people on Prime, you know? Like, people can just pick it up a copy. You know? Like... Oh, yeah, speaking of... <clears throat> what's, what's we got today? What's the freebie? Scrap kit, sure. Uh, what is the challenge for the day? Complete Mothman Equinox. I don't really want to do the Mothman Equinox in this character. I could do it, though, if I'm in the area. So five minutes left. We could actually start heading straight there, honestly. I think we get the chainsaw and we do that. We're at high enough level that we could be okay. Because it, it hops on the hour, right? I'll check the rest of the shit later. We have uh, some ground to be making up right now, chat. And we make it to an, an Equinox. Because it'd be good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Doing Equinoxes would be good. I need core, I need modules, I should say, for rolling the chainsaws. I need a... Uh, 
legendaries for modules, you know, like I need to do events. It needs to happen. Uh, I don't know if I can make this. And gotta go around. I hate this man. I need, I need I need two pieces of armor that don't have fall damage on this character, man. If I can get two pieces of that, we're fucking good. I thought I need lightsaber pieces more than anything, realistically, which is why I should be doing a lot more events. Uh, I think I can make this, if I recall. Uh oh. Oh. Well, this is a problem. You man with the 35 streak, appreciate you. Oh my god, bro. How do I find two spots I can get stuck in with this character? I've never actually gotten stuck in fucking Fallout. Like, I always talk about how, like, that's ah, crazy how, uh, oh, you know, I did get stuck once, I guess, actually, over there by the fucking lake. Am I slowly sinking down? I can't tell if I am or not. Okay, we're gonna have to fast travel. Oh, man. Do we go back uphill or do we go slightly forward? It's equal distance, so I'm not really gaining stuff. I still have to walk back uphill for the chainsaw. That's annoying. I shouldn't, like... That one of my fucking... Not my gripes. One of my uh, TCL... Yeah, this is a multiplayer game. There's no TCL. There's no console. <laughs> not a thing. Normally, yes, I would agree. There's no toggling, no clipping in a multiplayer game. Uh, but yeah, I've actually, I've commented on this many times over the last five and a half years of games, been how long I've been streaming it. No, obviously, I'm not going to stop, but obviously I've been streaming it still fucking for eons. Um, is, uh, I was surprised at how few places I actually do get stuck in. Because a lot of games that you do, that happens all the fucking time. But Fallout, I'm pretty sure 4 is the same way. I could be wrong, but like... Uh, I've gotten, I put obviously about way more hours in this than four. Well, I got like four or five hundred in Fallout 4. I got like probably a couple thousand in this. Um, is uh, every time I think I'm actually stuck, it usually like, I can end up working my way out, you know? You let it sit for a second and the game recognizes you're stuck and then you fucking, it lets you like, it gives you grip on like the rocks and shit, you know? It, it works out, it's fucking great. But uh, not that time. Not that time. Weird. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Donis, 112 months. Appreciate you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Chainsaw, give... You know, we don't have a lot of time to make it all the way across the map now. Cause that, that fucking slowdown and the backtracking is fucking me right now. Sleepy. Yeah. Why are you up late? I know it's the weekend and all, but like, what are you what are you staying up to do? Gaming? What you playing right now? If those raiders come snooping around, they're gonna regret it. Oh, change though. <gasps> yeah, let's go. So I'm probably only the fill of fifteen one, but whatever, it's something. Uh-oh. Okay, cross the map west. I don't know if we'll be able to make it to the Mothman Equinox in time. Do there be coffee on this character? You don't. Put a waypoint right Shaw. I don't think we're making it. I really don't. We can try to make it. I don't think it's happening. Final 27 uh, was stuck because of a bug which they finally patched yesterday. Oh, okay, cool. What up, Pseudo? How's it going, dude? Nerum, how's it going? Hope y'all had a good Friday and a good wrap up to your week. Hope your weekend's not going too terribly thus far.
it is. Fuck, I gotta go so far to make it there to that. I'm gonna keep trying. Hopefully they don't start it straight away. Hopefully they, like, wait for the timer to get really low. Because the wave-based stuff might help me alone, you know? It's like a minute and a half, I think, for each wave to, like, start, you know? So it's, like, probably four and a half minutes for the waves, right? There's only three of them, I think. And there's the prep time, which the prep time... I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep going. Your hair is still treating well? Uh, Attention yeah, it's citizens. all right. Nuclear I did just pick up a chainsaw like a second ago. I haven't actually modded it yet. I did get lucky and I found a mod for 60 caps on the vendor. Uh, because <clears throat> you can get the flaming mod from some vendor bots. Uh, I managed to do snag one, so I was happy with that. I still need the dual bar, so we have to go shopping for that later. But... I can also learn the dual bar from just scrapping chainsaws, so that's not as big of a deal. The flamer mod, you actually have to just straight up buy. Or loot from something. Like, it cannot be learned. But I have to like, keep stocking with flamer mods, which is annoying. The chainsaw en route, which will be nice. I don't know what level it is though. It might, if it's like for 15, I'm I'm already 22. I probably should have waited to grab that one until I was 25. That way it would be a higher level chainsaw. But, but it is. Should be good. Yeah, I stopped talking and I saw the uh, mic meter was still moving and I was like, oh, lovely. <sighs> yeah, the hammer will definitely stay as like a, a backup weapon for now. So far, the plant soda drives the local wildlife a little crazy. It's a good opportunity, just make sure you watch your backs out there. off more rats I'm busy I had some fucking canned coffee or something. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. I mean, it's only been going for four minutes, so technically, like, if they started it instantly, then I still don't think they'd be finished, so we might make it. <clears throat> Wait, obviously, getting some kills and getting some XP would be nice, but it's not really required. I just need to make it there for the end. 
I just wish I could open the map and move, you know? Because the second I open the map, I'm, I'm going to be fucking rooted in place, and it's like, well... That kills progress, you know? I've been kiting these fucking mole rats across the entire map. Persistent little fucks. Well, there. Come on, jump out in front of me, little shit. Second to pull out the sledge, he stops following me. Kind of weird, isn't it? Fucker, come on out. Shit, stop. Go, 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 go. Damn it, man. Can't be fucking losing time. Get him, responder bot. Get him, scavenger. Laser shots. There we go. Get him. Still going. Come on, go, 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 go. Stop, stop, stop. Jesus. It stops auto running and the second you open your map and it's like, fuck off. Because, like, I, I need to restart it immediately. I was hoping it would just start auto running again, but it doesn't. I can hear shots. This is good. Hey, Sudo, give down a sub. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, as always. You're far too kind to me. <sighs> yeah, apparently, uh... It was active for, like, the last, like, couple minutes of the stream yesterday. Uh... But apparently they started a supporter streamer like thing for Fallout where it's like, hey, you subscribe or gift a sub, you uh, get a Fallout or Vault 33 backpack. And I was like, oh, okay. Sure. I mean, I'll take it, you know. It's not that, honestly, the skin's not that great. But, uh, I mean, I said that about the fucking, what should we call it? The horse skin for Diablo 4, and that's still... I think I ended up getting like 20 something gift subs off there, something like that. 40? I don't know. I think that one was a little more expensive though. Because uh, sometimes they're like, hey, gift two, two subs to get something. And this one is just like subscribe or gift a sub, which is weird. Ooh, the final wave. Look at that timing. Three seconds, bro. We made it just barely. Oh, that's sick. Also, my stamina has glitched out. I love it. Look at the timing, chat. Oh my god. Fucking immaculate. Also, why do I just suddenly have infinite AP? Something bugged out. I'm just gonna keep taking it, though. Just non-stop sprinting, baby. Yeah. Talk about perfect fucking timing, dude. Holy shit. Expel bile from your gut. Show emotion. Show you have accepted our invitation. Give me the buff. Give me the buff. I need it too. Insects before your intellect. Come, children. Allow the wise ones to gaze upon you. Bass. Bass.
bask in his infinite wisdom. Get out of here. So, what do we do? I think we head down to Camden because we're not far from it. Oh, we're actually kind of far from Camden. Well, we're heading down this direction anyways, I guess. Let's just do that. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to find the other thing there. So we're going to go down to Camden to look for the dual bar. Music here is fucking creepy. Okay, how much damage does this chain shot do right now? 17. It's about the same as the auto axe. It's a little 20 version. Okay, so that'll last for a little bit. Okay, that's nice. I guess this thing has five level increments, which is good. That's not what you want. There we go, cool. Hopefully we can go get dual bar. need more stems. Charlie? Wait, where's Graham? Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Henry Boggs, Savage Divide. Okay. The area at your earliest convenience. Well, I think we're not really heading up there, are we? Thank you for your cooperation. That's always a great encounter, finding a, a super mutant who's been, like, fucked up by a sheep squatch. He's the only survivor. We gotta do some cooking soon. Underneath? Is there a fucking... Oh, it is! Look at that! Come on out, bud. 
you know what? Uh, I think I got something for you. Just give me just a second. Oh, perfect. A little high. There we go. Alright, yeah, I can check the dailies now, huh? Okay, Mothman Ecrox done. Eat dog food. Drink tea. Cripple a Blood Eagle's arm. I can't really do that with the reroll that one, I think. Too much all beverage, okay. Please not cripple anything, but kill streamers with a shotgun. Well, I can't literally can't do that one. I have to re-roll it. Why is that one 400 though? I guess I could do that with another character really, really quick. Would that be terrible if I just relog real quick for that? I think we'll relog. We'll we'll swap once we hit the Camden Park. I think that's the play. Then we'll take care of like some of that shit on the other characters. The character, because if that's like, I don't realize there were occasionally daily challenges that could fucking roll higher points. Because dailies are usually 250, as you can see, but this one's 400, so it's like, oh, huh, weird. Okay, sure. Does it only show up if you reroll? Because that's kind of. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, how y'all doing, chat? Everyone doing good? Weapon's getting a little low on the durability right now. Oh, we got another one, dude. Fuck. Too high. Sunny makes a good hoagie. We have a bit of a run still. Yikes. Uh, is this a melee only, however? Is it cannibal only heals? Huh? What are you talking about? Just curious. I see this is melee only, however, is it cannibal only heals? No, that's not one of the, uh... That's not one of the uh, modifiers I have. So I have a. Uh, let me close that. I don't need the intro video anymore. I have a roulette wheel I spin. And this one we rolled green, which means the first legendary weapon type that I loot is what we are stuck with for the build. And so we looted a melee weapon, therefore, we are stuck with that. I don't have a cannibal perk only. Um, there are gonna be some areas where I just couldn't heal. Like, anytime I have to actually, like, launch a nuke, there's literally no and there's nothing alive in there. It's all robots, so I wouldn't be able to heal at all. There are actually a lot of missions where there's only robots, so, yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't want to do cannibal only runs. That's an interesting idea, but again, I would basically be stuck with, like, maybe you make it only, like, Cannibal or well, the thing is, you, say, you can't say cannibal only. You do meat only heals, and then therefore cannibal is like the best way to keep healing without having to require eating nonstop. And then you save all your food for areas where you can't find bodies. That could work. Meat only run. 
That's kind of boring though still. It's not much of a uh, 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 a handicap, you know? I think it's an interesting idea, but I don't know if I'll, I'm definitely not going to add that on this idiot at right this time. Thought you were sensing being maskist? No, I mean, I am, but no. I mean, the rules obviously top left are not. Oh, unlocked. There we go. Uh, those add a lot, and those are the base rules for every character, but then the specific character, this particular one rolled, whatever first legendary I loot is uh, the build archetype, right? And because I looted a legendary pickaxe, um, where my other build? I got lucky though, uh, with this character, and a little bit later we got this thing. So double damage if it, it's full health. So the sledgehammer that also doing that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is a pretty solid drop. It's almost broken. To be fair, I can repair it really easily. But uh, we have a chainsaw that we can uh, get up and running pretty soon, which is going to be more than enough for some good damage if I can get lucky and find another mod for it over there at uh, Camden Park. I guess we have to keep walking. Never mind. Down here at Camden, but yeah. Anyways. We're not that much of a masochist. Cannibal, like I said, the, there's plenty of areas that, because I, I, my whole thing is like I have to go through and do Slender all these, you know, big bullet point quest lines, right? Then I'll be like, hey, I've finished a permadeath character, you know? Uh, I have yet to do that still, by the way. Um... If I can do all that, then it's like, sure. But uh, there's a lot of areas that I just wouldn't be able to heal. Because there's a lot of questing areas that are like robots only. Like off the top of my head, that's three silos. And I ha the thing is, part of my thing is I have to launch a nuke from every silo. So that I can then spawn in the world boss. Um... Also, I don't know if Cannibal even works on everything. Cannibal might only work... For some stuff. Let's see, cannibal. Eating human, ghoul, mutant, scorch, or mallmire corpses. Yeah, so there's a lot of like like just regular like animals that aren't gonna work for. So yeah. Sneak attacks with melee, dude. Thanks for 30% damage. I mean, why not? I don't know if we're actually going to get that going, so I think it's kind of useless. Do we have makeshift maxed out? We do. Okay, what do we grab? I guess we just keep pumping strength for the damage for now. Grab expert slugger, I guess. Sure. Because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do two in every. Hard. Didn't martial arts is ma not maxed out. Okay, there we go. That'll be helpful. What now? Expert shotgunner is not what we're looking for. Um. I don't remember like what we want to be grabbing. Honestly, do I have blocker maxed out? I don't think I do. I think we should probably be going for Action Boy for the regen. Okay, we don't need Gun Runner. Let's open up the packs first, actually. Because, uh, Gun Runner is fucking useless, because we actually don't have pistols anymore. Same with Concentrated Fire. Absolutely useless. Okay, perfect. We can swap out this for Born Survivor. And then... Level up through Hiker, I guess. Let's grab Action Boy those first. Let's see, what else? Is there anything here? Blocker, beautiful. Okay, so what we do is... Do we have a point? Let's see. Uh, boom, boom. We still have extra points there, right? Because we're not using Fizz. So what we do is we go here. We put a point in Agility. And we grab... Another through Hiker. Rank it up. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. So we grab one of these, but then we go back this way. Grab 
blocker. Chill for a second. Blocker on. Take through hiker. I rank you up. Boom. Maxed out. Fantastic. Action boy equipped. Just like one more level. Uh, he wants to get another blocker. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Green thumb. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else to do with this fucking point right now. We need to respect that out a little bit. All right. Cool. What damage are we up to now? 80 for this bitch? Okay. Chainsaw was 17. Now it's 19. Cool. Uh, aren't there missions that require you to shoot certain targets, though? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I could just use throwing knives. Like the shooting range stuff, maybe. I don't know. I've never tried doing the uh, shooting range stuff. Last time I did had a perma or a melee only perma character, I didn't live long enough to actually do the uh, basic training shit. That's the only thing I can think of that requires you to like actually shoot stuff, and it's the basic training. Um... Yeah, most everything else could probably be done with grenades and shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. That perk immediately came in clutch right there. Long blow will automatically use one every 20 seconds. That's pretty good. Hey, Bucket with came with that Prime. Appreciate you, dude. I don't know if Prime counts for the uh, backpack skin, but appreciate you, nevertheless. We definitely gotta stop over and hit up the uh, Burberry's place in a little bit. But hopefully we'll get a dual bar here. If not, whatever, we'll server hop after we get the uh, one daily done I need real quick. More John, more that drone. <laughs> Ooh, give me some water. Sure. Big water. Got a lot of purifiers out here. Guess I could just use this place to repair and shit. That'll work out nicely. Uh, we don't have anything to scrap, do we? I guess those are all things I want to sell. Visitors. Again, interesting. Hello? Let me in use. Don't lie to me, game. Now, those rad explorer mobs? What do you mean? Explorer mob. Oh, exploder mobs? Oh, you mean the suiciders? I'll just run. Throw grenades. At, or fucking throw throwing knives. I think the only one's like for your build, you know? Yeah, suiciders or moons would be annoying for sure. Thus far, I think I've had to deal with one, but I just kited it to uh, the, the White Springs robots. Oh my god, they fucked me up with that their shotguns. Holy shit, dude. Christ. Please tell me you've got some goodies, buddy. I need 
of the dual bar, like right now. Flamer. Oh, well, it's great. we can get another flamer. I like that, but we just still need the dual bar more than anything. Alright. We will check this on the relog. Yeah, I do the shotgun shit, so we'll go play on the main real quick, y'all. It says kill super mutants with the shotgun, so I can do that. I just want to get the dailies done now before I uh, forget. Okay, let's go inside. What's the event right now? Ah, oh, it's over. Let's go inside and get her up. Uh, I think we have me old faithful. Seems to get an exploder should be good enough. I don't know if I actually have ammo in this character for it. Read the campaign and got kind of bored. Eh, is what it is. How long ago are you talking though? So that's the thing, they've added a lot of stuff to the game. If it was a long, long time ago, then you may not have even played Wastelander stuff. Alright, let's see here. What are we heading towards? Challenges daily. Super mutants with a shotgun. Okay, super mutants. I'm trying to think where would be the easy super mutants out here. Sadly, super mutants are kind of rare on the side of the map. So I guess we'll have to go for some higher level ones. Go for West Tech ones? Nah, we'll go up here for sunny side or something. Up. Like last year? Okay, yeah, you may have done most of the uh, new Wastelander stuff. Yeah, they added some uh, new questing for Atlantic City, uh, like a few weeks ago. That's something new. Huntersville? What the fuck is Huntersville? Oh, yeah, the, um, this place right here. You're right. You're right. That'd work, too. I don't have any fucking ammo, son of a bitch. Bro. Really? None? You know what? I can get ammo here. There's a fucking ammo box right there. No green stuff here. Don't! Oh. What's that? <laughs> Let's play, little human. No more games? Time to die. How'd he not die? Like, he, I had him down to a sliver from the first shot, but he just didn't keep going. I'm like, what? This thing used to be the shit back in the day, man. It's not nearly as good as it used to be. It's a real bummer. Oh, legendary doggo? She don't mind if I do. I do hear the cultists like right fucking here. His eyes burn like fires in the night, and no enemy will escape his sight. Jeez, under, huh? I might. I can see it. Oh, two of them. Shit. Okay. I mean, I guess this thing isn't awful. It is killing him kind of fast. I mean, this thing uses one tap, so it's instigating, right? It should be fucking nutty. If 
question is, are there more? Because I'm still seeing the buff. Sure as I can see it. Ah, two star diamond. Sure. Yeah, there's another one. Bro, what is going on? There's so many fucking legendaries. Also, not nearly as many fucking superman as I need. Ow! Have I actually killed as many as I need? I don't think I have. No, we've only killed three! What the fuck? How have I only killed three? Bro. There's supposed to be a lot more here. I think the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit's fucking, you like, overrode them all. Is that a three star fucking mole rat? Bro. Where are these legendaries when I'm on my fucking perma characters, man? I need to eat dog food as well, actually. I think this character probably got plenty of it, honestly. Oop, I hear somebody. Sounds outside. Mr. Mutant. Tear you apart. Sir, I need. Oh, no. oh, this is this is awkward. Hang on, give me just a second here. That's unfortunate, isn't it? I was out of ammo, man. What do you want me to do? I was gonna bash him, but I was trying to get him low so I could bash him. There's an ammo box right over there. I have to go somewhere else. That's kind of lame. Oh, good. It's empty. Of course it's empty. Why wouldn't it be empty? Shotgun shells on any of these motherfuckers? No. Bro, come the fuck on. I don't even have any. Also, I'm fucking over encumbered, so I can't even fucking go anywhere right now. I have to fucking fat crawl over to the goddamn train station real quick here. Seems like a decent storm font. I mean, I don't know. Because I've been there plenty of times with other characters, and it's not. But I don't, I don't know if I haven't. I don't think I've been here during the. Mothman event, but yeah, three Mothman cultists, straw, legendary each, plus a legendary two legendary doggos, actually, one outside, one inside, and a legendary mole. Like, that was six legendaries. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. I don't know if it's because, like, no one's been here, so and because I'm a high level, it spawned them all, but like, yeah, it was, was kind of weird. I mean, I'll take it, but like, yeah, it's a little weird. so far past the fucking train station. Might have some shotgun shells in the stash. Probably should grab those at the same time, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Oh, look, there's more fucking legendaries. Beavers are getting hit by that. There's a cultist nearby. He's got some fucking HP on him, doesn't he?
Cool say this other community in this game are super chill and always willing to help. Yep. Community is very nice. Routinely, uh, you'll see high level people running down and like giving newbies gear. And that was before like all the, the new player, you know, gold rush, whatever, you know. I just need fucking one, man. That's the worst part about it. Really making me do this. Okay. Where's he gonna drop me? Grafton, you're right. Grafton would have worked as well. Grafton probably would have been better, honestly. Ugh. Sorry, still waking up and stretching because, man, I am fucking tired. Alrighty. I smell your fear, human. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on just a second, bud. Ah! Let's just get back to the rusty pick. Huzzah! Free and clear. Back to the perma character. I guess I could probably check the beer as well, because this guy's probably got all the beer. Challenges daily. Drink tea. Dog food I can find the other character. Do we have tea on this character? Tea. Boom. Alcoholic beverage. Lager. Do -do 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 -do. Just daily. Hey, look at that. Just dog food. Easy. I can do that. My late character. Quit. Main menu. Back to the perma. I want to join the game, but the performance is just terrible even with the high-end PCs. Really? My PC isn't that high-end. My performance is pretty good. It does have some issues here and there, but for the most part, nah. You can see my frame in the top right corner of the screen as well. Obviously, we're loading, so that's kind of useless, but like... No, it's really not that bad. I'm like 80 FPS to like 120 pretty much all day. Like, look at, oh, look, I load in 110 FPS. Like, oh, 80 FPS. Oh, no, it's so low. Like, my PC is my, by no means high end. I'm like, are they at what the 15 series CPUs yet for Intel or are they only at 14? I'm at least two series behind though. And on GPUs, uh, I'm only at 3060 Ti. Like I'm not even at the high end of the three series. I'm not like a, I'm just at the upper end of three series. I'm right on a four series. So, no? Ooh, look at another legendary. This is what we're looking for, check. We're definitely gonna need to heal though. Ooh. Cause it's gonna get nuts. Here we go. Let's make him fucking come to me. Go, yeah, ooh, two to the loot. That's nice. Oh, what we do is we should fucking bust out the chainsaw. Yes. See, that's why I was trying to run back and forth, because there's fucking cans right there I did not want to fucking deal with. There we go. I think it'll be much better once I actually have the dual bar and the flamer, but it does the job for now. Whew, there we go. Like, sure, it jumps all over the place, went from 140 FPS to 90 for a second there, but like, yeah, I don't know, the performance is pretty decent, you know? I'm not saying it's perfect by any stretch. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, and again, I don't have necessarily like a high performance PC, but you said even on high performance PCs, I'm like, well, I don't know about that one.
gotten back into the game, used part, but the same game even in Chains of Docks. I'm, 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 I'm showing the proof that it's not the game, it's potentially just you. Like, you can see my frame right now. You know? I'm not saying your issues don't exist. I'm saying there are you thinking you can fix them. I don't know how. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely a thing. I mean, you can see my frame right in the top right. It might be kind of small text, but it's there. Armor pen, AP each kill. So that's actually a solid shotgun, which is really annoying. All right, buddy, did you have a dual bar? Please have a dual bar. He only has a longbow. Man, that's annoying. But I'll buy another flamer just because we need that. But we're going to have to start server swapping. Oh, this guy. What's this guy's base? Does he have meds? He does not. Okay. This guy's got meds. Hype Viking. What level is he? He might have... Oh, man. Beast of Bird. I want to do that. But there's no way I can get back to the server. If I were to swap to my main. What's that hype? 185. It's possible he's got serums. I don't think I care enough. I'd rather just hop till I get a dual bar right now. Uh, find the 76 preferences. I and I dock and rewrite. I present interval from 1T to 0. I present interval is just uh, V-Sync, pretty sure. Pretty sure that's just the V-Sync. Which, don't get me wrong, that's definitely going to help you, sure. But, I mean... Like I said, the game does have, like, some setters here and there, but, like, it runs... I mean, you can see my frame rate. It's, it's pretty fucking high, you know? What, so you're saying V-Sync on fucking kills the frame rate? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't done my I and I tweaks since, like, the game came out, so I have no idea. But, I mean... Yeah. Snims. Bro, it hits the countertop? What is that detection? <laughs> it's like, I'm not pretending the game's perfect by any stretch. Because it's not. But, uh... It's definitely come a long way. On dual bar, baby. Longbow. Fuck! I guess I could just get some chainsaws and destroy them. Not quite as fun though. Cause that's a lot of extra work I gotta deal with. Does FPS but stutters constant 144 hertz monitor? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could look up my I and I to see what it is. If someone wants to try and copy it. That though. That wheel. Uh, Fallout 76 prefs lo I and I location. Where is this at? Documents. Optimization tweaks. I and I tweaks. So this is a thread from 2018. That's probably what I used, honestly. <sighs> Documents my games. Okay. Let's see here. My games. 76. Preferences. Present. Yeah, I have it. That's on. It's at zero. You're right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybach's a bitch. Oh no, does that count, chat? I was alt tabbed out! Bro, dude. I was alt tabbed out! <sighs> Bro, that's such fucking bullshit, man. I'm alt tabbed out because someone in chat's complaining about fucking performances, so I'm looking at the fucking INI &I file. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, shit. Bro, he spawned me in on top of three different fucking raiders. Are you shitting me? I hope you're happy, Robin. You just got my character killed. Bro. Like, I was so looking forward to a fucking run, man. Like, a per melee only run? Like, bro. Fucking bullshit. Look at they're not even attacking me now. Because I have, like, fucking login protection or some shit. But it's like, no, 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 when you actually log in, you're fucking dead. So stupid, man. Do I have anything I even care about on this character? I want to fucking. Uh, we have to. We have to gamble everything off. We can't even fucking inherit the fucking. Ah, uh, goody. Well, let's go to the fucking purveyor. This is why I don't fucking look up shit for people, man. Like. Can't you fucking use Google to figure this shit out? Clearly the game runs well. And I got killed fucking proving a fucking point to somebody. God damn it, man. Fucking disappointing, dude. Oh. So much for ever using that. Two hundred twenty five script. Hooray. Chainsaw my one set, I guess. Uh, I don't think I have a good plans on this character, so I don't have to worry about fucking someone transferring shit. Yep. Can't. Sure. Awesome. All right. Well. I love how I spent all my gold, by the way, on this fucking character. For the fucking backpack shit, and now I'm not gonna be able to rush back there in time to get the backpack stuff for the next character. That's good. Alright, random two stars. We get four pulls. Grenade launcher. Wow, that's useless. Okay, random two star. Also, these are gonna be low level rolls as well, so they're not even gonna be good stuff to like aim for. Ah, oh, dude, we're not getting anything worth inheriting at all. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, you're having fun actually with a character? Go fuck yourself. All right, thanks game. Let me too. I didn't see what that one was. Donkey short laser. Wow, amazing. Should be enough to give me another though. Forty-nine script. No, okay, that's fun. God, that's fucking annoying. <sighs> I 
I don't remember if I can actually watch this or not. War. War never changes. I don't know if it's going to get my shit muted or not. This great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. Oh, no, it looks like I can. I've already done it in previous VODs. We have Hooray. Fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. One another real shit chat. The fucker in chat who was complaining about performance, must even though I don't have a high-end PC, For when the fight isn't even following the channel. And the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. <laughs> not just walls, what a fucking not asshole. just buildings, but hearts and minds. And ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. Told him to continue on. I don't that care. Is not our destiny. I. If war must come. My fault for fucking we listening together, to an idiot in chant. But here in Vault 76, our future. Let me begins. be clear here. I'm not talking about you, I mean, You were just talking about the preferences stuff, and so yeah, I was like, oh hey, you know what? Maybe that's actually the thing, you know? Ah. Uh. But yeah, that's what I get, man. I uh, should have been paying attention, I guess. I figured logging in there, I would have been fine. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. We were not. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. Can you just say performance? Finish that sentence, Octave, and see what fucking happens. Get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my Hang on, I know what to fucking pick. Oh, it doesn't let me because my camera won't go that far. I was going to take a picture of the fucking toilet. The summer of George! Excellent, appreciate the sub. Oh boy. All right. Next roulette wheels up. I don't even know if I actually need to grab or anything in here because I'm pretty sure they just give it all to me when I fucking step out. Such a huge responsibility. Imagine dying of hunger on Earth. proud of you. I am proud of you. Remember, sir, Radek. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own... That just... I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm probably going to be in a bad mood for a while today now. Like, that just completely deflated the stream. Like, I was already in a shitty enough mood that I was hopefully not letting on because it doesn't look like I'm going to get access to Grey Zone Warfare, even though a bunch of other fucking content creators are, like, tweeting, like, hey, I'm going to be playing that all next week exclusively, you know? But uh, despite reaching out multiple ways to their Aloha. PR team, nothing. 
So, you know. I've already been cucked once, then, uh, you know what? Melee character I was actually having fun with and looking forward to building? Nope. Fun detected. Good stuff. Yep. It's like when only streamers can stream a game and only certain streamers can stream the game uh, for like a week. That's fucking huge, man. Especially with a game like Greyzone where it's like there's a lot of hype around the type of genres that I stream. So like, and I don't know how many people actually late night. There's probably not that many. So I could probably do pretty decently and actually fucking, you know, grow the fucking channel off that shit. And it's like, no, 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 no. You just, you can't. Okay. Go fuck yourself. Alright then. Real fucking bummer. I get pass up for fucking everything, man. Hooray, weapon archetype again. Wow. Amazing. I need to tell the stream. Change it on YouTube as well. Okay. Oh, so those they haven't yet. I'm sorry. Oh, do. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe. Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Yeah, Delmar, you don't follow the channel, dog. Don't be real. You uh, you don't have any like leeway to uh, banter with me right now. I'm not in a good mood. I thought. God damn it. <sighs> We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? Sorry. New bar down. So yeah, maybe maybe afternoon. not the best time. And he said, our last. You? Well, I yeah. Told you there was this big broad. Wonderful. Thanks for answering. Seems only fair. Uh, uh, Anything give me a deep? weapon. Watch. God fucking damn it, man. Maybe we'll get another melee build and we can start over, but I mean, I'm still fucked. I still lost all of yesterday. Which, sure, double XP, it's not that much progress, but... I wasted the fucking 500 gold fucking season claim on that character, so I get the backpack mod. Which means to fucking... To fucking, uh... get another backpack mod, I have to, like, rush through the fucking story in the next, like, couple days, because Minerva leaves on the 15th, which there's no way I can much through that fast, so it's like... Yep. Good times. Good times. Probably there's a fucking bunch of trees right here. What the hell happened to them? There's a lot of trees right here. Kinda weird. God damn it, man. Oh, it's annoying. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, weird. It's not showing like first time chatter notifications today. It's kind of annoying. Like, it's not something y'all should see, but it's something I can usually see as a streamer. Hmm. Alright, I'm walking around while I'm looking at the, the other monitor. Hey, a hunting rifle. Amazing. Honestly, I'm gonna head down to the farm here and hope that there's a fucking cultist here just so I can try and get this fucking garbage out of the way, man. Just to know if I need to fucking throw for skins on this character or not. I guess that doesn't really fucking matter, does it? Stick with it anyways. Ah, oh, man. There's probably cultists over here. There's usually like scorched, like spooky or holiday ones over here. Maybe not, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I can hear it already. Maybe not? Nope. I swear the, uh, the noise of the fucking like, Wind rustling through the trees and shit sounded like the uh, little burning noise from the cultist buff. That's all to the left, I guess not. Alright. Well, go again, chat. So, western weapon? What's that mean? What do you mean, western weapon? for the wheel there's nothing on there that says western there's randomized weapon archetype we well, are you talking about like what we just rolled the green want to lose lumberjack job to key human labor talking about green weapon archetype left side first family looted weapon determines the build of the character randomly looted because you get quest items sometimes so I don't want those influencing the build so essentially it's leaving RNG up to what build we play for this character previously the last character I looted a two-handed melee weapon I looted a pickaxe so we were stuck with melee uh, which is why the chainsaw was which I hadn't pimped out yet which was gonna be fun because uh, I've done it previously was it was gonna be good it's gonna be real good um, now we don't know where we're going to get, which is fine, you know. At least it's still a decent modifier that's actually fun and chaotic, but still. It's, it's annoying to lose a character to such bullshit that I could have easily avoided. But that's, that's what I get for being nice. Okay, so sorry, chat. I'm, I didn't mean to fucking get angry at whoever the fuck that was but it's just it's fucking annoying because that's that's super avoidable shit that I could have just not you know had happen so it is what it is anyways hope y'all are having a better weekend than me because uh between that happening and uh over the last couple days realizing I'm not gonna be uh fucking streaming Grey's on Warfare because they haven't fucking responded to my shit uh, yeah, kind of annoying. And they already sent out a thing of like, hey guys, 
<laughs> We've kind of invited everyone we're going to. They said it a nicer way than that, but yeah, it's like, they're like, hey, I a lot of people reaching out, you know. Uh, sorry if we haven't gotten to you. It's like, okay. Great. Uh, I had, I don't know. I just hope if, if that game, honestly, just to be spiteful now, I hope that game doesn't release for quite a while at that point because personally what I think is going to happen is if they're letting streamers stream it for like a week non-stop, that's probably to get a fuckload of wish lists and like pre-orders ready because they're probably going to be like selling the game soon because it's probably going to go into early access soon. The fact that they already had content creators on like YouTube do like, hey, we're going to play with you and like let you do some stuff, you know, or let them have like free reign for like a day or two, whatever, you know, to make their YouTube videos. That's one thing, right? Because that's like still behind closed doors. But doing it live on like any, just any number of streamers, like that means it's kind of close enough to be available for public consumption at that point, you know? So it's realistically, they're probably going to give a day either at the start of the content creator stuff or like right after the content creator like week is over. And it's probably going to be soonish. Considering it's like the 18th to, you know, whatever week is, the 25th. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be either launching like the following week or like in May sometime, which uh, I don't really want that. <laughs> I just, you know, call me a selfish streamer, you know, that's fine. But like, I got to do what I got to do to try and fucking survive, you know, and like not getting into a big fucking game that I've been keeping uh, tabs on and talking about for a while. It's like. It's, it's real fucking annoying, especially since I've looked at a lot of people that are retweeting, and I'm bigger than a good chunk of them. A lot of them are, you know, not. But, it's like... And on top of that, the worst part is, it's like, it's not even like I'm a, you know, because well, I don't have an ego at all. I, you know, like, I don't, I, I know I'm a fucking useless fucking streamer. It's just like, man, I've been streaming the fucking survival PvP genre since its inception, man. I was streaming that shit fucking... Like, before Diablo fucking 3 fucking came out and flopped, alright? Because Diablo 3 came out in May, Daisy Mod came out in April. I was streaming it before then, and I was like, alright, I'll put down fucking Daisy. Played that, Air 37, fuck that shit, went back to fucking Daisy. Pretty sure that was all on stream, too. It's like, I've done a fuck ton of Tarkov, I just, I, man, I've, I've played so much of that fucking genre. I've been keeping my eyes on fucking Grey Zone for like a long time now, and it's like, dude. How the fuck am I not getting invited? It's so fucking annoying, man, because it's... It's one of those things where it's like... Maybe I'm making uh, a big deal out of nothing. But I've been around long enough to know that, like, exclusive streaming windows can be fucking huge for streamers. Like, y'all remember when fucking Apex Legends came... Or not Apex, Valorant came out, and, like, only a handful of streamers actually had access, and they were streaming to, like, 100, 200k and shit or whatever. And it's like, bro... I'm not saying Grey Zone's gonna be Valorant, but it could potentially be, like, definitely the next huge Tarkov, you know? And, like, it could, I'm not saying it's going to, it could outpace Tarkov. Which is, like, considering that's an emerging fucking genre, it's like, bro, god damn it, man. Sorry, I'm gonna quit bitching about this stuff. I'm just, it's really fucking annoying as a content creator, because, like, I get passed up for fucking everything, man. How they choose who gets it? I don't know. Uh, they basically say, hey, do you have a pulse? <laughs> Can you give our... <laughs> no, no, that's that's me just being a fucking salty bitch. I don't know, man. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh... Because it's, it's clearly not looking for everybody in the genre. Otherwise, they would have definitely got somebody who's been fucking doing it for a long time. I'm not saying some of the people they pick haven't been playing the genre for a long time, but it's just, I think they just mostly went for a bunch of big streamers. Then all the smaller creators are like, I don't know, a friend of a friend or something? No idea. I don't know how it's working, because they haven't really announced it. They just said, hey, content creator, VIPs and their friends are going to be playing from this date. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. So what, are you giving streamers extra codes to give out to their squad? I might be able to get in that way, but I doubt it. I don't know anybody who's actually, like, been retweeted about getting in, you know? So, I'm probably fucked, realistically. Guess what? What, chicken butt? Ha ha ha! So funny! 
Oh, see, look at that. I fucking predicted it. See? See? You think you're clever. You're fucking not, all right? You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to pull one over an old shizzle. Or you just gotta be a fucking PR dev who just doesn't give me a key. Then you can pull one over on me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fucking still salty. I shouldn't be. This is a pretty cushy posting, all things considered. What is this camp? Okay. This is a player camp, yeah? Yeah, why, why is there a random-ass camp right here? Whatever, we can scrap some garbage. Right, I shouldn't be carrying all this armor, because the armor is extra bullshit. You used to only start with just... The, uh, whatchamacallit? You used to only start with just a, uh, test piece, so I don't use all of those. Thank you very much. Just pretty close to Schnazzle. Yeah, nah, when I see Schnazzle, I think of Snapple. And, uh, I haven't had a Snapple in a fucking long time, but those are good. Stupid fucking random trivia underneath each cap, you know? Uh, but yeah, favorite uh, Snapple flavor, go. Strawberry kiwi here. To be fair, I don't remember having that many other flavors because it's been a good decade at least since I had one. But uh, that was oh, definitely the go to. A visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. Cursory anatomy. <clears throat> Once you. Whoops. It looks like you. I'll distribute before we. Then. Wow, level four, amazing. Oh, at least. No one else has ever had Snapples? Okay. How would you rate the co-op experience this game? In the beginning, I heard it was kind of scuffed. Is it better now? They've been a little bit better. So when the game came out, there wasn't much like actual like story story content, like actual like talking to NPCs. It was mostly like finding out what happened in the world, right? Because the initial story is uh, Vault 76 is a control vault, right? It is going to open up 25 years after the nukes fall to rebuild America and rebuild Appalachia, right? So the vault inhabitants, a.k.a. the players, are the best and brightest of America, blah, 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 blah. So you're either born in the vault or you're older than, uh, you know, maybe your parents brought you in or whatever, you know. However old you want your character to be, you're in the, you, you exit the vault when the game starts, right? Um, you come out and you, you find the game's fucked up, you know? There's, uh, you gotta, you're following the trail of why there's a bunch of dead bodies everywhere, but why there's no humans alive, because you find bodies of humans and whatnot, like they'd survive the nukes, but like, what happened? So that was the initial game, right? Uh, there were like vendor bots and whatnot still, but most of the, the lore was following holotape recordings or data terminals and so on, right? And there's a lot of to do, and I think the base game had a lot of fun stuff, like a lot of fun content, but it was very much like a murder mystery type deal, you know, and there's still a bunch of different quest lines, but essentially, they all led you to, um, what happened in the long run, right? Eventually, they pushed the storyline forward, so now, there's NPCs again, I'll just say, you know? And, uh, for a lot of the new NPC questing, not all of it, but a lot of it, when there's, like, decisions you could make or kill the NPC or whatever, those... Questing things happen in an instance, right? Because when the game came out previously, uh, you could like walk into um, a building. It'll probably have an interior, right? But if you actually like load into the building, other people could then load to the same building instance, right? They changed that now for most of them, not all of them. There's still some public areas like silos and whatnot. Um, but uh, for all like the questing specific stuff, you load into oh here we go chat the weapon we'll figure out what we get 
Congratulations! You Hurry are up. a winner of the Grand Talk to Chan Asshole. Sweepstakes. I have been authorized to deliver your prize winnings. We at the Great Appalachian I get Sweepstakes Piper appreciate Wow, your amazing. Purchases and subscriptions. However, we would like to remind I'm getting there. You your bill I'm getting there. Give me a second. Of $73,428.66 is overdue, and prompt payment is appreciated. Have a great day! Um, anyways. Fucking, uh... Are there multiple priests? No, okay, it's just the rat. Okay. Uh, the idea is, in those instances, um... Because you can do everything out in the open world and all the other questing with your friends, right? You can just group up and just do it together, you know? Um, you'll just be doing it at the same time, right? Uh, but actually, like, talking to NPCs, um, it'll only be, like, the quest leader who enters the instance, uh, that'll be, like, their quest, right? So, pretend this rock is an interior, right? And, like, you gotta go and you gotta talk, you gotta confront somebody, right? Uh, say you and I are grouped up. Well, when I head in, because I'm the group leader, it'll be my instance, right? You could join me and then you could, like, you know fight the battle if I decide to fight the dude, or you can listen to the dialogue, whatever. But, like, I'll be, because I'm the instance owner, I will be making the choices, right? So, say I fight, the, I make the bad choice and the boss starts fighting me, you can then help out, blah, blah, blah. So, you can, like, be there for that story, right? But then when you exit, you haven't made progress on your quest yet, so that at that point, you could swap leader, and then you could lead, and then I could follow back you back in to help out with that part. So, like, you can do all of the questing co-op, but it's not gonna be, like, full, like, you know, you're gonna be in the same dialogue tree like Baldur's Gate, you know? That's not what this game is. They want you to be able to have your own choice and your own dialogue and your own quest, right? Which is fine. But if you're playing with like a bunch of people and you all wanna like help each other out for like that kind of stuff, you're gonna have to like keep juggling the leader. Or you could just both go ahead into the instance at the same time because as not the party leader, you could be like, hey, I wanna join the party leader instance or I wanna go to my own. And then we could both do the same quest at the same time. Then once we're back outside, we can continue playing in the open world, which most of the game is the open world. There's not much instant stuff, so there you go. But yeah, you can play like the entire thing in co-op via like oh shit. shit, okay, dude. Oh, I don't have my fucking stims on my bar yet. Default stim fucking so. Jesus, fucker's got some HP. He's a two-star. At least it might be a good weapon. I doubt it, though. I, I, just, I guess that's to be fair. It's assuming it's a weapon. This thing could be an armor piece. Bro, okay, I'm just gonna pull the pistol. Fuck this. Pistol character, huh? Okay. Oh, I can do that. Alright, we gotta equip our cards, because we didn't do that yet. Oh, we gotta get follow through. Rival. What rads? Um. Ammo factory? I don't know if we actually need ammo factory yet. Hey, uh. Zul? Eyes all. Either way, appreciate you. Thank you for the uh, sub. Sorry if I fucked up your name. I almost assuredly did, but appreciate you regardless. Can you remove the mouse switch now? Uh, good question. I think so. I don't know. Uh, that's something you're gonna have to Google or someone's in the chat is gonna have to Google. I, I honestly don't know. You gotta realize I've been playing this game for a long fucking time, so I probably turned something like that off a long time ago.
Raise my Lone Wanderer. Yeah, I don't I don't actually know. Far too long. Okay, uh well. Yeah. Oh really, this is a pistol one. Accuracy and range. Huh. That's cool. I realize there are pistol cards in there. Sweet. We actually got a decent card drop. Right now, what we're going to do though before I so rudely interrupted. Survival stem yet. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Two diluted. I guess I can't. I have to go if I can do this manually. I think rifles gotta go. Can't favorite that anymore. Repulp hyper roll. Berserker. I mean, this thing's probably shit realistically, man. I mean, 45 weapon speed probably isn't gonna help it. We'll try it. I don't think it's good, though. Eh, kind of okay. Three radicals? Oh, they're friendly? It's weird. That truck's not gonna blow up anytime soon. Oh, lame. Well, this is annoying. So much for the uh, melee build. Just kind of open the melee build and make a comeback immediately. You, what's really, what's most annoying now is the fact that I unlocked the suppressor for the 10 mil pistol as literally the first breakdown yesterday. And then we got stuck with melee. And then that character died. So there's no way I'm gonna get lucky on this time and fucking find a 10 mil and break it down and then gonna get the suppressor first try. There's no way. So, uh, good stuff, man. What? That damage fall off is nuts. I don't know if that was a sneak bonus too, but. Hooray, a piece of armor. If you move your mouse really slow, you may see your view doesn't change. It's negative mouse acceleration. Mm, no, I think I have it turned off then. It moves appropriate mounts. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, that's honestly, that's probably something I fucking I and I can figure out during the beta. I'm be real. Like I haven't done I and I shit since fucking like release, but I don't ever remember that being a thing. I've been playing a long fucking time, but. Yeah, it's... I'm not saying it wasn't a thing, I just don't remember it being a thing, which means I probably turned it off straight away. So, I don't know. I mean, I can see if there's an option in the actual game settings for you, but I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Look sensitivity, uh... Aim assist. Ew. Ew. Get that off. I, you know, I don't think it counts. I'm not even using controllers. So I don't even think it's gonna work. That's a change on every fucking character? <laughs> kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a thing, though. No, those are extra controls. Okay, weird. Yeah, there's definitely no aim assist. <laughs> like, it's not fucking snapping me to shit, you know? I think that's, like, purely, like, if you're using a controller thing. Yeah, but the thing is, though, to make a pipe pistol build, like, work, you gotta, like, min-max it. And they are probably not using the revolver, because it's way too slow. They're probably using, like, the actual, like, pipe pistol, like the 38. They might rechamber it. I'm not sure if you can rechamber that, but that might be a thing. But that thing, at least, can have a decent amount of ammo and a decent rate of fire, which means all you have to do, essentially, is run, like, a... Uh... Whatever the full-auto pistol build is. Because there's regular pistols and there's full-auto pistols, right? 
Um, I don't know. One of those two. Man, that's fucking annoying though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if mouse acceleration was like forced to stay on, I probably would have heard fucking Shroud fucking complain about that the other day when I was watching him play. And actually, I know he's played the game more than just yesterday as well, because I remember him playing it back in the day when the uh, BR was a thing, the nuclear winter mode. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there's definitely a way to turn it off. I just. You probably just got to I tweak it, honestly. Either that or it's just disabled now, I don't know. Just down the game and already can't play because my FPS is 400 plus and I can't cap FPS and it freezes me in place. You can, you got to I tweak it. I'm not opening up my preferences to like find the ca what the cap is or find like the option for it, but I'm nearly positive you can cap your frame rate. You just gotta look up uh, the preferences, because I'm pretty sure you can turn off VSync, but still turn on like max FPS. Use driver, yeah. Use Nvidia. There you go. There's that as well. You can just hardware enforce it. There's a lot of ways to get around that, even if the game doesn't have like actual options inside the actual menus, you know. Bruh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a good solution. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, that's a nice first world problem to have. You got 400 FPS in this game. I'm just saying. Why freeze you're having a lot of FPS? Probably because your GPU's overheating. I don't know, dog. Your shit's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I don't have 400 FPS, but like, <laughs> I, I still never heard of that happening. I have heard of fucking people's GPUs getting bricked from uh, overheating because they're just running so hot from uh, New World back in the day. That was funny. But I don't think this game's uh, demanding enough for that, but I don't know. Game unlock in place? I don't know. Don't know. Never heard of that. I'm not saying it's not a thing. I'm just saying I haven't heard of that. My guess off the top of my head is that's their very janky fix. For, and this is probably not it, but back in the day when the game came out, uh, people realized that your movement speed at the time was tied to your frame rate. So people would look down at the ground and their frame rate would skyrocket and they'd move a little bit faster across the map. They fixed that within like a month, if not less. Uh, but it's possible that like it detects your frame rate too high. So it's just like, yeah, nah. But I know they took out like the speed boost for frame rate, so that's I don't even think that's a thing. I don't know. I think your shit's fucked. When the game also makes you tech support for Bethesda, bro, I wish. Love we'll a stable job and I have to stream for a living. Try and fucking make ends meet. Stress about not getting access to a new game, whether or not I can actually fucking. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into it, anyways. Let's see here. Let's get my uh, ghillie suit back up and running.
I'm nearly positive though, I could just as easily Google that stuff as you can, to whoever's asking. Not saying you should have to, because you shouldn't. But I'm nearly positive that you can find the answer out there. A weapon. Okay, let's make a throwing knife. Ooh, well, guess who can make a circuit breaker at level 10? That'd be something. That'd be something. Doesn't require anything crazy, just gunsmith level 2. That's not bad. That's not bad. I forgot I have this. One bonus, I guess, of being stuck with a pistol build. That's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's definitely not going to be amazing, but it's something, you know? Because it has just armor pen and reload speed, so it's like a default, a not terrible weapon, you know? Let's see, let's place my camp real quick here as well. Google that says freezing because you're in my frame rate. The solutions make you edit an I file. I've never played Fallout only because of the series, but not really good from Bethesda. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's good at all. I'm not saying it's good at all. But you got to realize, like, this is uh, their first like multiplayer game, like actual ever. Uh, you might be like, but Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, it's made by Zenimax. That's an actual MMO on like, an MMO engine. This is a mode built up on the creation engine, which is like their cobbled together engine they've been using for years, which a lot of people have issues with, but you know, the modders work with it and love it. Uh, this is a mode that like they were making when they're making Fallout 4 and they had a multiplayer mode that they were working on like, hey, let's spin that off into its whole new game. So like the fact that we have working multiplayer at all in this is kind of magic. I'm not saying your issue is good. But I'm nearly positive you can just frame rate limit yourself by using NVIDIA. Now you're making me Google shit. Here you go, bud. For you. That's how you cap your frame rate. Read the comments there. You gotta add that thing in so you don't have the frame rate limiter, and then you fucking just cap that bitch in fucking uh, whatever program. Cause I'm not gonna assume your GPU gender. <laughs> but uh, you know, if you're Nvidia, I can tell you how to do that shit. I don't know AMD though. It's definitely weird, but yeah, I don't know. People are just saying you can just scroll wheel to fix it. <laughs> There's a different one. Fixed roll is getting stuck at high frame rates. For those who can only jump or crouch, can't waz at all. Just simply, uh, be, uh, in certain buildings, just literally just scroll wheel your fun gun, gun menu and don't walk around. <laughs> that's, uh, that's another way to do it, I guess. <laughs> Lady, I will paint the. 
Told you it was gonna end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Skip. Huh. First round. Name's Dutch. He but sin. Now that you mention it, but I want it. Normally, but I'm willing to. So, that. Now, how. Just give me one. GP reveal party? Are we gonna pop a balloon? Oh wow, it's huh. green! He's Not NVIDIA! Like... So what I have chicken scratched together? If I... You just need... They did... Hey, if you... What are you on? Hey, not... Nah. Oh, Mort. Well, of course you're gonna... Throw some. And so you know. Now... It is... Hot dog. Oh. It's... I don't know if I wanted to go automatic pistols or not, because I don't think... It's the best build. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a Crusader pistol. I have to look up my wiki. Uh, Fallout 76. Wiki. Uh, come on. It's not loading. I guess we'll just wait for now. Come on, bro. Alien blaster, huh? So how do we get an alien blaster? Fallout 76 alien blaster. I know how to get one from... A mission for what's-her-face. Bro, like, website... Wikis aren't loading right now. What is going on? YouTube's loading fine. Okay, so it's not my internet. Okay, there we go. Finally. Jesus, that wiki took forever to load. Uh, okay, so how do we get one? Crafting. Alien blaster plan. How do we get that? Received as a reward for invaders from beyond. Ah, fuck, dude. Okay, so... Actually, that might be starting kind of soon. Actually, I feel like they posted something about that recently. Let's see. Uh... Fallout 76 roadmap. Let's see. That was the most recent one. Uh oh, this is the old one. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. See, I'm trying to figure out when the next alien event is. Cause I'm pretty sure it's actually soon. Roadmap. Let's see here. Uh, new roadmap looks dope. Okay, cool. Where's the link for it? Link in this fucking thread? It's a fucking post talking about it. Calendar is updated on the season page. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I think it's a while. Invaders from Beyond is the 30th to the 14th. So we still got like two weeks, bro. That's too far away. Okay, so that's out the window. So how do we get an alien blaster in the meantime? 
Because I know we can get a higher level one. The Vat's unknown, I'm pretty sure is on. What's it? Zeta's Revenge? Shit. Oh, you know what? I can just find one. Toxic Pawn. Okay, Lord Butterfly on the map. Okay. What's the lowest level you can get on these things is the real question. Level 20, huh? Okay, I could go hunt one down now. Honestly, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. The problem is, I don't know if I'll be able to use... I need to get the uh, the mod to swap into a fusion mag. Um, magazine. Fusion converted. Because... Yeah, I need to be able to use fusion... I guess I could just use the thing and just get enough ammo for it, maybe. I guess you could. It's from really you know, fusion mag. Cannot be found as a mod. Can be crafted. So to the plan. Plans convert it. Shoot in a black amount of ordnance. Oh, so I can get the plans that way. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we know what we're doing for this character. We're going to try and get a... Let's see, Vance Unknown, we could get... Let's see, what's what's on it? Medics, Lucky, Lucky. What's Medics and Lucky? One. Perks. Medics, heal. What's Vat Crits, heal the team. Increase critical damage. Increase hit accumulation speed. Okay, so I mean, I guess it's something. Can you re-roll this thing is a real question. I guess you can't. Zayton's Revenge. What is this from? Special drop comes pre-modified. Okay, but like where do you get it? It's supposed to be available during season eight as a scoreboard. Oh. Okay, but like, can you get it now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just like farm these things, which is gonna be kind of annoying. All right. Well, can we get the Crusader pistols? A real question now. Alien blaster is out of the question. I think we're just gonna be stuck with ten mil. Trying to figure out if the plan can be sold anywhere. Plan can be learned. <laughs> Sometimes sold at Murderer's inventory. Okay, so if she has it, maybe, but she's probably gonna be too expensive if she does have it, which I don't think she does. 20 is what's going on right now, right? List 20. Crusader, not on the list. Okay. Oh, 10 mil it is, baby. At least we have the alien pistol to kind of aim for. Uh, trying to figure out when they dropped the minimum power level to 10. Uh, it was like a while back. Pretty much the same update they put in, like, um, the quality of life stuff for low levels. Brotherhood says they'll build us a better tomorrow. But can we really trust them? Ooh, laser pistol. I like lasers. Bolt action can't use. A regular pipe pistol we don't really care about. Ooh. Yeah, they uh they lowered that quite a while back. I don't remember exactly when. It's probably within the last year and a half. Doesn't Killing's Brotherhood screw your rep? Nah, there's no rep for the Brotherhood. There's only a rep for two factions in the game, which is Settlers and Wastelanders. And Killing them doesn't even lose your faction. It's only doing quest-related stuff. Oh. This guy have any good stuff for sale? I doubt it. He doesn't. Take in your popcorn. Your water. Or not. 
Melee boy die. Yep, I was alt tabbed out checking um, some I and I config stuff. For a, uh, a random in chat who was complaining about uh, the game running like shit. And uh, I had just loaded into a fresh server, and I guess there were NPCs at the load in spot, and they killed me. Good stuff. Sorry, I was just checking cards and figuring out what fun I want to do. Okay, what are we running at right now? Um, so we need a level for that thing. Endurance, let's put that on. Plenty some strength cards soon. What we're sitting on two levels. Let's get fucking extra pistol damage. Um, and then let's just grab a fucking cam one. I need it because I'm not gonna get a backpack in this character because I fucking died. Somewhere he got the pie, god damn it. My day is ruined even more so. Do this thing.
I don't think there's anything good there, loot-wise. Alrighty, let's see. Do I have any grenades? Ew. Got auto equipped too. Oh, nice little triple. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hey -o. Initialize scanning first. People have come back to this area. They'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Uh, lost. Oh, I'm sore all over. <laughs> oh, building this place up is hard work. Well then, sounds like you need a rest if it's such hard work, no buddy. Explosion and get the second one. Detecting potential composting target. Yeah, the leg's a weak point of protectrons. Someone pointed that out to me a while back. They seem to go around pretty fast. Automated message. The forest watch detects all supervisors down. Good job. Responder team, proceed to the Ag Center and get to the mainframe. You need to reset the farmhand targeting parameters. That should keep our people safe in the area. Be careful. Scanning for fertilizer. Possible for Alert. 23 versus 17, okay. I don't want to start building up laser, because I'm going to eventually need it, you know? Because it's not going to take me that long to get a well, alien blaster. The question is, do I... I guess I should probably go for multiple of them, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to start building up a lot of the, uh, laser. Lovemite, we just started over. I'm playing Permadeath, as you can see from the title of the stream, as well as the top left corner of the screen. Uh, so yeah, I'm only like level 7. Double XP is active right now for the next few days? I'm not sure how long. It's going on for at least the next few days, I think, uh, for the game, so it kind of helps burn through the early levels on a new character. But yeah. Uh, I play Permadeath, so whenever I die, I delete the character. It's not like a self, or it's not like a mode that's actually in the game, so you don't have to worry about that, but... As, as somebody who's been playing the game for a long fucking time, I kind of need a way for me to keep interested. As much as I love the game, uh, I, I've kind of been there and I've done all the content on the main, you know? And I, even on my alts as well. So it's like, what do I do? Well, start new characters. 
and add extra challenges and whatnot. So that's what we're doing here. And uh, each character uh, I give a specific modifier to via a randomized roulette wheel. And this character uh, rolled, I can only use pistols. So that's the build we're going for. And that's what we're doing. Because we just died a little bit ago. Because I got killed while I was AFK, alt tabbed out, trying to find some answers for somebody. Uh, can you get things donated like if I joined your world? No, that's the uh, rule that says uh, no handouts. Now what I can do is I if because people drop crap on the ground all over the time in 76 if I find stuff and it's very obviously like not a fucking handout because I haven't. I you have to be on my friends list to be able to basically snipe me, right? Because the, the likelihood is otherwise is you have to like keep server hopping randomly and hoping to find the server I'm on, you know. Um, but yeah, like occasionally people will just drop crap in camps, or whatever, and I'll walk by trying to fucking buy shit. And I'm like, ooh, hey, and then I, so I'm allowed to raccoon my way through like random junk that I find for this stuff, but handouts specifically, no. Like, cause if if it sounds like you you're a a, a uh, what's the word here? Uh, a regular of the game, if you know the fucking acronym for Q25-25, which is the quad 25 less AP, 25 rate of fire pistol. Um, like, so you're, you're probably, uh, you know, a regular of the game, which means you know how nice the community is in this, and that how they're always... Motherfucker, don't kill my goddamn Brahmin! Fucking God, the thing is potato without a fucking optic on it. And by it, I mean me. Goddamn ninja. Um, so yeah, uh, I've had people actually like come up to me and like try and give me like a full like deep pocketed brotherhood steel set. I can't use it. I can't take handouts. Now, if I find stuff, if someone, like, you know, if after an event, someone just drops a bag of their garbage because they didn't loot any good legendaries and they're already full on script, I can definitely yoink that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I can't take handouts. Kind of against the whole, uh, you know. It's, uh, permadeath is about making everything more difficult, hence all the rules on the top left, which you can't see right now because the game's doing fucking dialogue shit over it. Come on, come on! Fight me! Bro, this is... It's the same fucking bugged one, man. Can I hit him through the shelf? I don't know if I could. Doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, as you can see from the top left corner of the screen, I have a bunch of rules that I give myself, besides the particular character's handicap. Uh, so it's meant to like definitely increase the difficulty as well as like as you can see between all the other stuff uh, Like power armor for instance power arms is broken frankly for permadeath like 6% less damage or 7% less damage mitigation per piece 
across fucking six pieces. That's 40 something percent fucking mitigation. It's fucking broken as fuck. So yeah, I have to actually craft the armor, which means I have to go to like the excavator quest line, which uh, isn't as bad as it used to be. But back when assault trons were shitty, uh, if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, I died in there before. Yeah, unlike the majority of the category streaming 76, which is, this is me being a little bit forever, I've actually played the game for a lot of hours, though. There's only, like, one other streamer that I recognize in the top a handful of the directory right now that I see occasionally in the directory for like actually streaming 76 so and I actually know what I'm doing for the most part I'm not saying I'm an expert by any stretch but I do have an idea of what I'm doing but because I've done everything in the main game a zillion times and even the new content on my new character uh, I just do permadeath and it's fun it's a good way to keep the challenge going uh, and honestly, the big thing really is uh, just no fast travel, man. No fast travel. If you've been playing the game for years, no fast travel. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought he was a fucking mole rat. Uh, no fast travel is huge because it means I can just like, I, I have to deal with potentially not getting to events, you know, which are huge, obviously, because we need events. Um, I can't, uh, you know, always go in a straight line. I have to like go around cliffs and shit. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking fall and fucking die. Uh, which has happened before, you know, I get tons of random encounters, I see a bunch of different areas, because I have to, like, avoid fucking, you know, tears in the ground, whatever the fuck they call it, fissures, so I don't have to deal with Scorch Beasts, you know, like, it's, it's really good. It's fun. Keeps me going, because it's, uh, not a lot to be streaming otherwise. Go solo the Equinox, you got this? Uh, I couldn't solo the Equinox if I wanted to, I don't have Fallout first, which means, uh, Every server I'm on, it, there's gonna be people. Oh, I'm not far from the Equinox. I can totally get up there. Oh shit! It only oh, eight minutes ago. There's no way I can make it there in time. Fuck! If I can make it there in time, though, I'm gonna do it. I need fucking more materials. I didn't realize how close we were. I did not realize how close we were on this character. If I can get there in time. That would be huge. Cause uh, getting some fucking fresh legendaries on this character would be good. And some fucking cores built up and shit. I did not realize it was close. Fuck! Eight minutes ago, you could have told me, chat. Fuck, Equinox is actually good to be running right now. I don't care if I could potentially die. Like, if I can get there in time, we're good. Fuck. Oh, man. Yeah, no, definitely tough to solo. But what I'm saying is, like, I literally can't even do that because I'm not I'm not buying Fall first, so every server is going to have people on it. And then I realized, oh, it's, it's, it's in progress. There's no way. It's nine minutes already after it started. Well, I say after it started. It's possible they waited. I do know, it, I, the previous time I did this, I was able to get kind of close uh, within like the AOE and I, it dropped me within credit, you know? So, we might get lucky. We're going. Man, I fuck it. this character has even less AP than the last one though. Fuck. <sighs> killing you, bro, it's killing me, all right? I fucking lost my other character because I fucking was AFK, alt tabbed out. Now I was looking forward to doing a fucking chainsaw build. Now it's like, uh. like don't get me wrong. I'm interested in doing an alien blaster pistol build because I haven't done that yet, you know. But uh, still, it's a little disappointing. Come on, come on, come on! Still going, still going. And, oh, I hate this so much. I need to fucking stop by some people's bases. I can totally scrounge from people's bases as well. If they have, like, unlocked fucking doors and shit, and they have, like, coffee containers or, like, fucking water or shit, I can yoink all that shit. Like I said, I can raccoon my way through stuff. I just can't take actual, like, handout handouts, you know? Like, uh, for instance, um, the overseer's chest in the Flatwoods church that we were just in, right? Where the responders have set up. Uh, I've been there before, and I looted, like, a, a 
some kind of explosive, I think it might have been a quad explosive, like super low level pipe pistol, pipe rifle or some shit that was fully pimped out. I was like, what the fuck? Um, and I was like, I've never seen legendaries ever in these boxes. They're always like, just starter supplies and a hollow tape, you know? And so I had to have somebody come and test it. Uh, and yeah, you can like slide an item into the box and then the next person who opens it's gonna see that. Uh, oh my god, we might make a chat. And so as a result of that, I that le weapon wasn't legit, so I put it back in the box. For the next random new player. This was months ago, obviously, but yeah. Oh, we made it, baby! Let's go! Yes! Defend the final wave. Oh man, we made it even, even more time than the last fucking character. We made it, what, with like five, six seconds remaining? Oh, we got this. We might even get a kill, chat. We might even get some XP. ground just some coffee that's the idea coffee's real good i think i don't know if i can build that i think i have the coffee machine but the problem is i have to like build an outdoor base you know i'm gonna laugh i get killed from the ship we got a hit on somebody wait they all disappeared What the fuck? Oh, he's only level eight. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, he's lagging out. Oh my god, what the fuck? Also, my frame rate's tanking right now. Cause I guess that's to be fair. That's fucking this area in general. Okay, this is not good. I don't like this lag. But don't worry, I will be the defender of the fucking shore one. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, bud. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. We're fine. Yeah, go me! Woo, I did that, chat. That was me. Definitely. I'm glad I'm still in the thing, but it definitely bugged out, so I can't see the players now either. We must invite him to us. Like, okay, that person should be in the group. The, like, public group, you know? Dance, sing, this is what you get. Only I can wear the ghillie suit, you fucks. You didn't earn it in Nuke the Winter, I did. You hear us, wise one? Come unto us. That expansion you feel in your mind. That growing sense of wisdom and foresight. Come on, give me some good loot. I wanted to get a good legendary after this bitch. Oh wow, a pitchfork. Amazing. On a non-melee character. Love it. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Bask. Bask in his infinite wisdom. That was a lot of XP. That was a lot of XP. Hold up, I saw the level 10 pop up. Yeah, I, I was at level 8 prior. I leveled up twice from doing that shit. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh shit, we unboxing the stream. Oh baby. You any serialized cards? Nope. Oh, we actually got one, technically. Born Survivor. Actually a useful card too on this character. I need to get out of here, this music's awful. Also, I don't know if it's going to get claimed on YouTube. Convenient. Okay. Well, we're kind of close to Black Mountain Ordinance. Do we get that now? We kind of might do that, honestly. Um, Fusion Magazine. Okay. Uh, the Okay, it's a mod, okay, but we need to plan for it. How do we get that? Not a thing. Black Mountain Ordinance. 
Uh, plans to convert the weapon to shoot fusion cells are located. So here's the real question, chat. Uh, anybody, is it worth actually, like, because I can't craft alien blaster cells yet, you know? Like, do I think I'm going to get enough contextual ammo from the blaster? Like, how much? I don't know, man. We can get the plan whenever we want. You know, the plan will be there. We'll, we can get it whenever we want. Let's not bother. We are kind I mean, the, the thing is, the alien blaster is, like, right there. It's kind of far. I think we just continue on our quest line for now. I think we just need to try and get ourselves to 20 today. Just so we can get that thing unlocked, you know? Alright. Did I really get a one star off of that? is really a one star. What a slap in the face. Alright. Well, you we have some levels. Let's get some points going. Um, your hike is probably good as well. I guess I'm more gunslinger, honestly. But... Hey, how are we doing this? How do we do this? What is, like, a pistol build look like? Crack shot. We can actually get that already. Let's get that. Boom. Uh, let me see what a pistol build looks like. Let's just look up a YouTuber's fucking gunslinger build, and we'll see what they fucking pull, and we'll just look at their cards and steal that shit. Uh, Fallout 76 gunslinger build. Okay, cool. Five months ago, fucking Angry Turtle video, good enough for me. Mute that shit, skip in. Where's the cards at, buddy? Yeah, he's using a Crusader. Cool, I don't have a Crusader, but show me your cards, buddy. Where's the cards at? Okay. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, tank killer. Really? Tank killer's pistols, huh? Okay. Maxed out concentrated fire. Maxed out grenadier. Uh, okay. Okay, so we need 11 perception, huh? Fuck is modern renegade? Okay, what the fuck? Nukes and dragons. What the fuck is modern renegade? What the hell is that card? Pistols gain accuracy, hip fire accuracy, and chance to cripple limbs. Oh, I don't know if uh, that's really worth it. Um, master gunslinger, gunslinger expert, born survivor, survivor. Okay, okay. So that's mostly this is stealth vats pistol. Okay, so I don't even need all the cards. Um. But going max crack shot seems to be actually not bad. And concentrated is, is it concentrated fire as well. Okay, yeah, both of them are pretty good. Uh, we have four levels, huh? So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna need the pistol, the base one upgraded first off. Agility, slinger. We definitely need through hiker, I think, but. thinking we have the other ones already right so we don't really need those as much just yet let's get through hiker because we need this early on another one huh uh sure fuck it down damage 18 oh wow baby uh. could you not could, could you not
So chat, you doing anything uh, fun this weekend so far? You got any plans coming up? Nobody? All right. It happens. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with just chilling. Hello. Last weekend for heading back to work. Ah, uh, enjoy while I can. Checking email, I was like, "Oh wow, did I get one? Like, who's emailing me on Saturday?" <laughs> My hey, getting into the fucking gray zone warfare stuff? Nope. All right. I need more meat because I uh, think I cooked up all my stuff earlier. Honestly, I think I might just burn through the Wastelanders quest line even more, like, right now. There's really no point in, uh, holding off. Let me look up the rewards for that shit. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see here. Um, we don't need a mirror of his list. Let's see, uh, I'll have a look at the Wastelanders quest line. Okay, I guess we could look up Wayward. Let's just look up Wayward. Actually, let's look up the quest that was Hunter for Hire now. Okay, we'll just follow that quest chain. Hunter for Hire. Okay, let's see here. Um, Next up, Strength in Numbers. Crane. Okay, so what's the rewards? Okay, uh, Pistol is a 44 with two shot and blast bash i mean it'd be something energy is a laser pistol with furious and damage while aiming Ooh, okay um 
that'd be something to have. Honestly, I think I'd rather have that over a two shot 44 because the two shot 44 is probably going to be meh. Plus, I can get the uh, Somerset special anyways. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go for the energy option. Easy enough. We're just going to power through that quest line, I think. We'll skip going north for now. Um, let's go get my camp shit set up real quick here. What up, defensive? How's it going? I'd say something that had anything in strength. Yeah, okay, so you're just chilling. There ain't nothing wrong with chilling. The question is, what are you doing? Like, what are you chilling with this weekend? You playing any games? Watching any shows or movies? Because, uh, I need some suggestions, because I'm going to run out of stuff to watch shortly. Besides rewatching Heroes, which I'm not doing yet. Uh, I started up, uh, Tokyo Vice again. Only got, like, a few episodes left, I think. Season 2 is real good. Real good. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely running out. They're all inside. Oh, there we go. Reverend Delbert Winter. Ooh, finally, a first other 10 mil we can break down. Lit my own church to the responders for their outpost here. I like how that just suddenly starts playing because I leveled up. The responders are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again and take us all up, anyways. How did he survive that first headshot? That's all I like most, it was time. This was the end, but but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake. Did you see the rebooting heroes? Stopped. You mean again? Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even the Reverend Delbert went. New business established. Because they've already rebooted it once. It was like a soft reboot. That wasn't a full reboot. It was like, it was called, I think it was like Heroes Reborn or some shit. I don't remember. It was a, a series that technically took place like 10 or 15 years after uh, the original show. And it was not that long. And it was not that good either. It was like, it was a show about how, uh, I don't know. There, there was time travel shit. And it was really weird. I think there was, there was like, Two people from the main cast carried over to that one. It was like Hero and uh, HRG, and I was just like, uh, it was it was something. It was a show. I can't say it was good because it wasn't. It was something. Um, at this rate, they're probably quicker to list the things that are not being rebooted. True. From what I could tell, Twitter, this is a full reboot. Interesting. Whoa. Well, you're not crying. Crazy, man. Get the fuck out of here. Crane! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Ukraine? This it? Yeah. 
Hey, you better run. Oof, that frame dropped there for a second. Oh, God. Frames are actually not looking great right now, in general. They're like, early 60. Something fucked up in this town. Someone's got like a weird base that's definitely fucking up shit. I think I'm just gonna relog right here. Actually, hang on, does this guy have serums? I don't have money for serums, do I? Eh, I technically do. No meds on any of these vendors. Oh, there's hardly anybody with the fucking vendors in this. Dude, is this a server? It's just all new people? Seven. Veteran. Low level. Low level. Veteran. Low level. There? Low level. <sighs> Veteran. Okay. There's 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 a decent amount still. Man, this is getting kinda crazy. Who knew like a a like boom in popularity to the game could actually have a detrimental effect on permadeath kit runs. Because that means the camps and the servers that are, like, filling up, they're not filled with fucking people who could have stims. There's just a bunch of fucking people without camps yet. <laughs> Fuck. Funny. Oh, look at that frame rate. 100? Oh, yeah. There was definitely something weird with that instance, for sure. Alrighty. Any meds? No meds. Any meds? No meds. Meds? No meds. Meds? No meds. Meds? No meds. Meds? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't know if I'll get out there anytime soon. But, uh, I'm honestly kind of tempted to walk straight there to check. But, to be fair, we don't really need marsupial as badly now that we're on a pistol character. Like, we need a marsupial big time on a melee character, but... I think I'm honestly just, you know, I'll, I'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, you know? Full reboot, huh? Alright, let's see. Tabbed out, but hey, nothing could really kill him in this area. Heroes Reboot, huh? Heroes Reborn, yeah, see? I type up Heroes Reboot, it comes up with default with Heroes Reborn in 2015. Oh, hang on. Heroes Reboot in the works from series creator Tim Kring. Really? So they got Tim back for this. Okay, that's interesting. That's actually interesting. If they got the fucking original dude behind it. Uh, Tim Kring's Heroes is eyeing a second encore with Heroes Eclipsed, a new incarnation of the popular 2006 superhero drama. Okay, buddy. I don't know. I mean, listen, I like the original show, despite its shortcomings, which there are many. Uh, it mostly died after the second season because of the fucking writer's strike, you know, then trying to, like, that was a short season. And then, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, 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 new characters, uh, okay, heroes, okay, they, where have they said this? This is eyeing a second season. A perfectly project is being pitched to buyers now, the week of the solar eclipse. Okay, so we don't actually know if it's been picked up yet. Okay, so the dude behind it wants to do it. Doesn't mean someone's gonna pick it up. Because if anyone actually looks into what happened previously, <laughs> it was not great. It was not great. A lot of garbage to sell off. I can hit a vendor anytime soon. Yeah, she's cheap. I can trade with her. I can just sell her all my garbage. I mean, listen, I like I said, I enjoyed it, you know? Uh, I'm eventually gonna use it as a filler show, you know? But, uh, mm, mm, we'll see. We'll see.
Probably should have crunched those down, but oh well. Lawful pistol tour, huh? Interesting. All right. Well, fantastic. Hello, so that was one. You've seen them. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't go in. Could try them, but there was this. There was also. Wouldn't be a bad. Idea. You put it there. Yeah, there's really no Found point not doing this quest line early but because I don't care about the higher level stuff. Share what he learned. If you have yeah, enough, I think that'll be good because it'll, honestly, it'll give me a lot of XP straight away as well, which will be nice. Because we need the the ideal part for this this character is trying to rush to level twenty so we can start using an alien blaster. Like we're probably gonna have to do some server hopping to get multiple of them. Um, but yeah, like you know, it might not be a terrible idea. Let's fucking swap this over. I don't use the armor bench because I need to use that. Look at that, another level fucking five. Like so many new people are playing this game now. I love it. To be fair, it is a free weekend. I don't know how many people are actually going to stick with it. Um, obviously super service coming out. Quad sedge. All right. I guess you could craft a higher level version. I don't know why I didn't. Let's see. Oop, there we go. Okay, I'll dump off the Garbaggio. Continue onwards, northward. With great haste. Do you know if they're gonna have a server boost for XP? Uh, there's double XP going on right now. That's why my character's flying up level wise. Uh, it's going on for, I think it might be going on for the entirety of the free event. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure when it, it shuts off, but yeah, they do, uh, oh man, your Indian Fever would be so nice to run. Uh, they do run it occasionally. Um, it's not that many times. It's probably like f maybe five, six times a year, but they do randomly do uh, double XP weekends. They usually end up doing it like midway or like most of the way through a season. It's rare they do them this close to the start of a season, but I'm probably okay with it, obviously, because I died. And we don't have our fucking other character that was. We died twice recently. Fuck. It's so annoying. Anyways. <sighs> I guess we are heading up this way. We could go to the Black Mountain Ordnance Works and figure that out. How do we get this one? Uh, huh, 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 huh. How do you get the cryo receiver? Real question. Cryo. Doesn't say. Fallout 76, Alien Blaster Cryomag. How do you get that? Uh, swap mod plan from the Alien Invaders Beyond. Oh man, that's not happening. Okay, how about the poison one? That gonna be also from the Invaders Beyond? It really, they both are. Son of a bitch. So there's really no way to get those, huh? That's annoying. I wonder if it can be good without it, because apparently if you put on the poison or the cryo onto the alien blaster, it makes the impact the projectiles explode. And that's why um, the two shot is good on that thing. I don't know if the default one is good. If it's like good without it. We'll find out. Double XP and Gold Rush, there you go. Appreciate you, Dingus.
the melee guy died. Uh, no, I just felt like using a pistol and starting over. <laughs> yeah. Some bullshit, too. Some chuckle fucking chat was like, the game runs terribly, and then I'm like, bro, he's like, it doesn't even run good on fucking high performance PCs. I'm like, bro, my PC is by no means high performance. I'm only on a 3060 Ti, which is a fairly old card. It's not that old, but it's still old, er, you know? And I'm on like three or four series behind now on the CPU. Like, two or three actually. I don't know if there's a 5 series yet for, or 15 for the Intel, but like, you know, it's not great. And I still run it, I was showing a good frame rate and everything, and then was, someone chats like, hey, the i9 swaps do this thing. And I was like, oh yeah, I wonder if I've done that. I opened it up and I die while I'm fucking AFK because I had fucking swapped servers while I was checking that shit. And the load-in spot dropped me next to three raiders. So, uh, good stuff. But we're on a pistol character now. Because we got the, another, uh, uh, archetype build. And we got, uh, fucking shitty pipe revolver as our first legendary from up at the farm up here when I was getting the shelter. So, uh, we got a new plan. We're trying to go for an alien blaster on this character, so we do have something. Fourteen's the highest? Fourteen's the highest for what? What are you talking about? Intel? Okay. Fuck off, robots. Fucking eye bots. Not eye bots, uh, Tommy bots. I have the stuff to fix him up. I 
don't have much time, so oh, oh. Okay, I should probably quit breaking his dialogue. Do something very important for me. It's a matter of life and death. I can't say for sure, but I seem to be showing signs of a catastrophic malfunction that may lead to an explosion. Look, you can repair me. I know you can save me. Oh, we had it. There you go. Uh, Pay me. What's this? I no longer feel the impending doom of self-destruction lingering please. over me. Thanks to you. Please reward. accept this as a reward. Thank you. Here you. Oh look, the doors are open. I wonder if they'll get angry if I just walk right through. Whoa, whoa. You checked in yet? No one's allowed any of the bosses say so. Who's the What? Oh, yeah. I'm glad there's temptation to just massacre the camp on the way in. But we'll do it the normal way. Inside out. Gen pop. I smell? Washed these clothes like three times. Still think they reek of mutant blood. What the hell are you looking at? A dead man. Oh, that's a lot of energy. Um, I'd rather have the kinetic, honestly. I think there's more up here. No, I guess there's not. Whatever. Man, I really need to get a fucking life-saving piece on one of these characters. Considering how many legendaries I can find around due to the Mothman Cultist event, like, I, you'd think I would have found, like, no a single life-saving piece across the last couple characters. Like, I didn't get one on my fucking... Or I guess I couldn't use them on my no legendary character, so it doesn't matter. Fucking... Not that little one I have, I don't think. Fucking didn't get one on, a uh, melee character. Haven't got one yet on this guy yet. Like, bro. Honestly, you know, I don't really feel like fucking with y'all, so, uh, have fun. What? No. You need to 
Interesting how this guy got pissed. This guy didn't. Listen, there's no point in using the dialogue, okay? We're, we're just gonna kill him anyways afterwards. Sell off the shot here, I can't use it. So sad, yep. Yep, it was a good character. Well, no, I guess I didn't really have anything good on it. I had the the hammer was nice. We had gotten a chainsaw, but chainsaws are just like literally go to the spawn, you know. We gotten lucky with some uh whatchamacallit? A flamer mod. We didn't get lucky. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, we're fine. We didn't get lucky with the flamer mod though. Let's quit throwing mollies, Jesus. Oh, okay, they're still going, huh? Wait, you can just walk down that? That's funny. everything sell off all the crappy pipe weapons
HP that fucker have? Realistically, none of these guys have any good loot, so I'm not gonna bother like running around for the guys up top or the turrets. So we're here for XP and finishing the quest. We got it. I'm bouncing. Oh, guard at the front. Ooh, 10 mil auto. Actually, I think I'm gonna lose damage a ton if I use that. We can use this to break down, I guess. That's fine. Came out with a lot of autos. So actually, that's good. I'll take that. I guess we got a full set finally, so that's nice. Alright, back down south we go. Long trip. Long trip. Honestly, you might as well hit the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. How do we get the key for that shit? Actually, we might have to go through like a whole convoluted thing to get the key. I don't remember if we do. Number two. Where's it at? Where's it at? Black Mountains Order Works. Two. How do you open number two? Alright, the key. Pleasant Valley Cabins. Okay, too far. Don't care about it. the fuck somebody I've never even seen play extraction shooters just fucking tweeted that fucking they're doing the whole graze on war bear shit dude it totally is just big streamers man fucking annoying dude like I get it you gotta do the whole hey let's you know get the big people on so we can you know showcase the game but like <laughs> oh god I hate fucking streaming, man. Holy shit. I get cucked over for so many fucking things all the goddamn time, dude. Bro, I'm, it's not even like they're fucking doing sponsored deals. So it's not even like, oh, hey, you're not a big streamer, Shizzle. You don't deserve the fucking money. I get that. I don't get the sponsored deals often. That's fine, you know? Like... Literally just generating a new Steam key, like, <laughs> doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, why would you not, like, get as many in as you could for that, you know? Like, it just... Uh, that's so annoying, man.
decent scope. Yeah, that's a 44. It can have some okay scopes on it. It's just a short scope. It's not like amazing, but it gets the job done when I don't have any snipers. Someone's got My god, it was a fucking legendary one? Jesus Christ, I almost died to another fucking bot. Bro. What the fuck? That was not a legendary that I shot. Why did it nuke? Body even around here? The body flopped off, who knows. Come over here, fucker. I need you to die where the bot did so I can find the body. Yeah, it's not a legendary. Look at that. Not a legendary. And it nuked itself. Bro. The game is just really wanting to fuck me up right now. Can't even aim for shit either. Oh. <coughs> fucking annoyed. Is that a high level fucking 10 mil at least? Not even a level fucking 15 one or 10, whatever it is. Whatever the next one is. <sighs> what up, Joe? How's it going?
I just hear a shot as I step inside. Is there a robot out there chilling or something? All right, sell off some Garbo. We'll scrap those, because we got to keep those, obviously. Um, rifle, rifle, rifle. Don't care about pipe weapons. We're never going to use one. Shit, was that sturdy one actually good? Not really, actually. You're back. Well, no, but you did, maybe. But they're there too. You track music to my missing person. Find them for the fine. Oops. My bad. <laughs> I just leveled up twice from that? I feel like I did. Oh, that's a nice looking camp. He's not new. Do they have meds? No. Meds. No. Oh, yes. 30 meds. Out. They have serums, but we can go check. There's meds down there as well. Shit. Okay. Let's go have a look see. So, no. How much? Uh, we have enough for like one. We don't need that many stims or meds. I should say serums. Serums. I should say on this character. We need marsupial and speed demon. That's pretty much it. Speed demon is just like quality of life as well. Since we're using a pistol, it's not really a huge deal. Well, I guess no for movement speed. It's nice, but yeah, it's just quality of life. Marsupial would be nice. Love watching weekend streams. Hey, well, I'm here every day. No, no, I'm not. I'm here Friday through Tuesday. You know, but, yeah. The VODs are here when I'm not. Now, someone who's got their base all the way over here next to 76, you would think it's be one of those people who's been playing a while. They're selling shit to players. Hopefully at a reasonable cost, but we'll see. The vendor. It is Fucking right away. God damn it, man. Master user, 666. He's pretty high level. Um, Jane from Maine is really low level, okay. Oh, we missed another Equinox a little bit ago? Damn it, man. What was I doing? Did I really... Did I get it on this character? I guess I did, didn't I? I guess that was only 15 minutes ago. I guess I did do... Well, no, I... Mm, that feels like it was a lot more than 15 minutes ago. 
Yeah, I guess I was, you know, I know 15 minutes ago I was up north. I could have gotten there. I was up north at the fucking, whatchamacallit. I was up north at the uh, logging place doing that quest line. Bomber, I should have been paying attention because I should be stopping by there to get some of that shit. That's fine. Hello. We wandered ourselves into a, uh... Ooh, a legendary weak feral ghoul, huh? He probably doesn't have anything. No, he did not. But, I mean, they're red, so they should, you know. No? Cultist? Was he just red for shit's gate? Ghoul's like, what was that? Where, where's the cultist? The fuck was that noise? Hello? Random ass screams? Oh, it's cause this cabin. Okay, I feel like that's like a everything here. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done this. I feel like I've heard the hear this theory before though. Yeah, maybe it's because the area's haunted, I don't know. Hey, Rita. So, uh, right now, you're asleep, enjoying your last peaceful night's rest for God knows how long. And I thought I'd record something for you to remember me by while you're locked away inside Charleston Fire Department. Training for the prestigious opportunity to dive face first into a bunch of live fires with, uh, with fire breather nut jobs. Honestly. Hi, this is Gabe Ramses, and I'm leaving this message to inform the Parks and Rec Department of the horrible experience my family and I had this week at the Alpine River Cabin. We were all looking forward to a nice weekend getaway in the wilderness, but between the constant shaking in the cabin, rodent swarms, and blood-curdling screams, I'm more stressed than I was before. My boys were so upset they swore they saw the picture frame spinning on the walls. My tax dollars pay your salaries, so I demand recompense, or you can bet I'll do my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next election. And one more thing, maybe you can get off your lazy butt to pick up some garbage here. I but that doesn't mean the place has to look like it's just hit with a nuclear bomb! In the area. This notice required by law. Of success. Twenty percent. Yeah, I just gotta stay away from robots now. Like this it's annoying how they just randomly fucking explode. Like that fucking uh Kami bot earlier. Only fucking blew up, wasn't a legendary. Feel fucking annoying. Time to eat. All right, come on, dude. You like a level hundred plus or some shit? He's gotta have fucking serums, right? Right? Ooh, he's got goodies out. He's got candy. He's got both candies. Okay, okay. Come on, buddy. Serums. Oh, me serums. Fucking goddamn it. Came all the way out here for nothing. Love it. 
reflex light circle. True receiver. Forceful grip. Aligned grip. Vigorous receiver. Sadly, none of these are really worthwhile. Wait, didn't I just get- oh, Vigorous is for the other thing, okay. Get a long barrel on this thing. Oh yeah, we could just craft the level 20 one, huh? Forgot we can do that. We can do the uh, circuit breaker. Circuit breaker have any good loadouts? I'm all tabbed down the wiki, okay? Don't judge me. Let's see if there's anything like good I can do to pimp out the thing. Guess not. Oh, Grenadier increases the size of the last explosion, but doesn't increase the radius from, from 50 feet. Demo expert does not help it. Oh, it uses fusion cell. Okay, so we gotta start saving up ammo for that thing. Don't hop servers all logged out yet? Or seriously, dude? Like, ugh. Y'all been enjoying the stream, though, uh, and you haven't done it yet. Uh, hit that follow button. I'm here Friday through Tuesday doing something. We do lots of different stuff here, but, uh,. Fallout shenanigans is usually the uh, the fallback game here most of the time, so if you've been enjoying it, come on back. I'll be going for a while today, so you don't have to worry. But if you have been enjoying it and you're new, you know, why not give me a follow? Check out the YouTube if you're into that stuff. I stream over there technically at the same time, but uh, so VODs will last forever over there. I do occasionally put out shorts or edited stuff as well, so if you're into the, the short form content, that's what YouTube's for as well. have meds in the map? Probably not. Honestly, considering I'm in this area, I think I might server hop when we get fucking, uh, back to the, uh, whatchamacallit? A word. Well, uh, you know what? I don't know. No, it's, we don't need to server hop for fucking serums yet. We're only, like, not even level 20 yet, man. We'll find serums when we find them. Need to focus on keep leveling right now.
I guess I could just mine coal. I don't know how much it wants me to mine. Not, no, they are not us. Where are the rest of them? What? There's only one dude here? This doesn't make any sense. Where? Really only two here, huh? Real weird, but okay. How do you get mutations? Well, there's a couple different ways. The first way is how they're naturally supposed to happen is you get a lot of rads. So you could hang out next to like an irradiated source of like, you know, a barrel or some shit, you know? Or uh, eat a ton of non-cooked food or just eat a ton of irradiated food in general. Um, Essentially, mutations happen because of one of two reasons. One, uh, naturally, which is you mutate because you have too many rads, right? So you develop a random mutation when that happens, right? So you see how I just got a little bit of rads right there? It's gonna get cured because I have a card that slowly cures that. But if you have a- if the higher your rads get, after a certain point, you'll have a, a higher chance of getting one, you know? And then it'll show up on your effects menu, right? It'll show a little DNA icon. And you can remove them by uh, using like a rat away or whatever. Um, or you could get a card that'll let you keep whatever you have. So say there are some good mutations that you want to keep, you can keep them easily by just, eventually once you get high enough level, you can equip a certain perk card, which will lock in whatever the currently equipped mutations that you have. That way you can go back to healing your rads with right away and not potentially losing them. Now that's the first way you can get them, right? Or you could just get a serum. Serums are an item that are made from a bunch of mutated materials, etc. It's like an end game crafting item, basically. So you can buy the recipe for a lot of money from a certain location, I'll say, in the game. Um, to avoid spoilers if you haven't played it, you know? And then there are end game activities to gather the components to craft them. But once you know the recipe, you can just craft it for yourself whenever you want. Obviously, you only really need to do a one time crafting as well, right? You don't need to keep crafting all the time because you'll most likely have the card that'll keep it locked in. But you could then, if you wanted to, you could farm the materials to keep crafting serums and then you can put them on your vendor and other people could buy them. So that's what I do when I'm on permadeath because I can't go all the, <laughs> through that work to, uh, actually unlock the serum recipe because that's a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of stuff that I don't want to be doing I'll just buy it from somebody else so that's what you could do as well instead of trying to hunt down a mutation by getting a ton of rads and hoping it's one of the ones you want and then hoping the subsequent ones are ones you want you could just get serums and then you'll be good to go can you not see me or something Tell me you got it. Oh, so, uh, much as I appreciate it, me and my but, but a couple, I heard some fight, and not.
potato ammo right now, buddy. Yeah, I'll just grab them all. Fuck it. Take uh, the guns and sell them. Early game, just getting the mutations works pretty well. Later, when you know what you build one, you can focus on getting more picky. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, a lot of the ones, though, if you just randomly get mutations on purpose at a low level, a lot of them aren't hey. good. Hey! You know? Someone there? I could use a lift. You are a. Th you have. He's a. What do you say? You get me back to the wayward. That's. <sighs> Come on, darling. Let's make sure these things never bother the wayward again. So long. so fucking awful. At least it's better in third person than first, though. Because this is what you're aiming otherwise, you know? Like... Like that, huh? Dude booked it. Look how far he went. God damn, dude. Corroded. Wet cave really did a number on it. I'm not going to be much help now. He at least got a lot of ammo out of that. That's nice. What level are we at right now? 14. Got a little bit still. Mods reinstall. One of them is hiding my quest tracker on screen. It's annoying me. You talking about for four or seventy six? Because I don't, I, I don't fuck with seventy six mods. Seventy six, really? Well, you can hide your quest tracker by just disabling quests. You know that, right? Like strength in numbers. Oh no, I, I don't want it there. Just... Boop. Gone. Now, I'm assuming you mean it's a mod that's removing the quest tracker? That's a little weird. I don't know what the one that is. But, I mean, there's, you shouldn't need a mod that does that, unless it's, like, built in as part of other stuff, because... Yeah, you can just manually call that stuff. Uh, I don't want them hidden, but something is blocking them from showing. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, 
those little shitters. Sure, any quests are tracked? Have you tried actually tracking them? Guys, maybe they're not getting tracked right now. You can just do a fresh reinstall. Because uh, when you uninstall or reinstall the game, it doesn't, like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't wipe your preferences in your INI file because that's, like, not where the game's located, right? So you could just do a complete reinstall. What does serums usually go for? Uh, it depends. Um, averaging, like, I'd say if you're starting fresh, 200 is a pretty solid deal. 100 or, like, uh, under 200 is a pretty good deal. 300, I think, is, like, the tops that I would buy them for. Some people try and sell them for like five or whatever, and sometimes like if I'm on a perma character, which is pretty much all I play, if I'm really desperate, I'll buy them for that much, but usually I'll try and buy them for cheaper. Um, but yeah. I'd say 300 is about average. One is like a good deal. Under that's great. 500 is like, nah, it's definitely the top end. I'm not buying that, you know? Back at long last. Because realistically, it doesn't take the whoever's like selling them. It doesn't take them much work to get it. Did you find Polly? Give those degenerates hell. God, Polly? Whoa, you're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Um, Jug should do the trick. This is real snow. That's not... Oh, this... Uh, Did I? Duchess, Duchess, it's all right. Oh, Solomon. Look, I can. Please. Ah, oh, radiation rumble will be so good here. to get to for this character, and man. Here. I need the XP. And make sure. And at the risk. Of... I'm not really close though. There's no way I could get there in time. Well, actually, actually, we're doing it. I'm gonna run over there. I'm gonna try it, cause I know there's a safe spot I can get to. I'm gonna try it. I don't care. I'm gonna try and get there. If I can get there in time, oh man, reshade your textures, perk loadout manager, clothing mods, damn, that's a lot of stuff. <sighs> it's gonna be a long run, but if they wait, if they wait, because you, you can wait a fair bit before they start it, if they're nice, I can make it there in time. I mean, I have to go across the valley anyways towards the questing area so if i get most of the way there and then it deactivates i'm still like you know on the return trip i can get the quest done so it's not gonna be terrible if i get fucked out of it Well, you don't really, you, you get two loadout slots by default, Dingus, so you don't really need more than those. Personally, I don't trust, like, the loadout manager, because I'm pretty sure it, ch it like, connects to, like, an external server, which I'm just like, nah, I don't, I don't ever want to mod that it connects to an external server. Um, but it's, it's probably perfectly safe. I just don't personally, like, want to get into that shit, you know? That said, uh, I totally get it, because the thing is, people probably were using that before the perk manager thing came in, you know? So, 
the perk uh, loadout changer. On top of that, like it's possible they have cards and gear that they want to swap, but instead of, but they don't want to do like actual like perk point allocation. Right? It's possible uh, it, they people use the like a mod for managing that shit instead of buying extra slots, right? That way you could just be like you go up and you use a terminal, and then you have the mod that has saves your kit, so that way you could respec all your special points on the fly, but automate it all for you. So I can totally get why people use that. Personally, I don't need it, but I get why people could use that, you know? If it works that way. I have no idea if it works that way, but, um, since you only get two loadouts by default, it's possible people use that to, like, use the mod to save, like, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh loadout, whatever, and then they just use the two defaults, and then they just walk up to the machine, and then they press the mod button, and then it goes, and it swaps whatever they wanted, you know? How many players on the server? I don't know. Uh, pretty sure the game maxes out like 24 people per server. I have no idea how many are on right now. There's no, like, this. the game never tells you. It doesn't, like, count. Yeah, you can look at the map and see them, but... Back in the day, I'm pretty sure you would disappear on the map if you're crouched. So if you're stealth and whatnot, I'll, I won't know. I'm gonna climb this mountain. This is why I hate not having marsupial. Bro, don't fucking do me like this. There we go. It's a death claw. Hey, death claw. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you once and you once and then keep running. That way, if they kill them, I'll get XP. It probably won't, though, since it's just a single sentry, but you never know. Oh, he's chasing me. Oh, well, this is good. Guess that one bullet aggroed him, huh? We'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine, right? I'm definitely not out of AP as it is right now. I just wanted some quick XP, man. It's still going? It's still going. Come on, baby. Hope there's still a lot of time in it so I can get some good XP out of it, you know? These candies definitely helped out, though. They're not perfect like canned coffee, but they can get some job done. Seems like I lose AP when I pop the second one.
bees. Please don't attack me. I'm kind of busy. I'm a busy bee. Ah. This game dead or people still play it? No. The game's never been dead. People have played it the entire time. Uh, the game's been getting tons and tons and tons of updates over the years. All the content updates are completely free as well. Like how they added Atlantic City areas slash questing last month? A couple weeks ago? Yeah, it's like the end of last month. Um, it's got five and a half years of quality of life updates and like content, you know? So no. The game wasn't dead before the Fallout show. And now that the Fallout show happened, a lot of people are playing it because it's free for a week. But on top of that, it's also free with Amazon Prime. And keep in mind, I only play on PC and I never find an empty server. Like, servers are only emptied out when it's about to restart and I see like a fucking countdown saying, hey, it's gonna restart in a half hour. And at that point I realize, oh yeah, I'm the only person left on the server. <laughs> like, there's always people, all those yellow arrows right there, those are all the people at the event. The name tags, those are all people's here that's the event. So yeah. Uh, game's not empty by any stretch. On top of this, it can. Ooh. I don't have enough AP. My AP bugged out, dude. Well, that's annoying. There we go, now we can shoot. I hope I get some legendaries here. I don't know if I will, though. I'm not a fan of all these fuckers using too much damage to the low levels under the XP. Ooh, he's low level. Guns just stuck aiming down sights now. This is interesting. Cool, I can't let side. Let go of the mouse now. Never had this happen, but okay, this is interesting. Yeah. Notice how there's a crosshair still filling up? A little weird. Oh, 
Okay, they got broken. Good. Fixed. Ooh, I saw one legendary. Used up like 160 plus rounds right now. Ooh, hello. That's not fight him. Right, we loot. Oh, there we go. Ooh, two legendaries. Okay. Ooh, 200 rounds too. Beautiful. out here we got three though we got some levels out of it I'd say it's definitely worth it we made it we didn't definitely Ooh, look. Oh, we we got four less okay sure I'll take that <laughs> Good. We're good. Oh yeah. Very good. How? What level we come out of this at? 18. Yeah, that's a nice little boost. Nice little boost. I don't know how many we got there. I wasn't paying attention to what we were previously. Saw our first five-digit level play the other day. Blue mine. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a six. I've seen some fives though. Here's what I'm playing now. I saw the dumpster fire when it launched, uh, but a lot of the game much better over time. Yeah, it definitely had an issue on launch. Uh, a lot of people had like performance issues. It was a lot of fucking afterwards. bugs. There was people complaining about it because it wasn't the game they wanted. There was uh, fucking all kinds of issues with like the collector's edition because they were supposed to get like a canvas bag, but they got like a nylon bag, and apparently that's a big deal because you know they bought it because it was supposed to be a nice quality canvas bag, and instead they got a mediocre quality nylon. Eventually, they sent out fucking canvas bags to the people who were supposed to have them, and so it's like, whatever, they righted that wrong, and slowly over time, they fixed up all the goodies uh, with the game, added tons of content and shit, so... The thing is, like, on launch, it had issues. I'm not gonna pretend it didn't, um, but man, it was more than playable for me. And I've streamed this the shit out of it all this destruction. for a long time. How could that war the whole crew as well. It wasn't, like, just me, man. It was fun as fuck. It may not be pretty, but Emmett Mountain has a lot to offer. Hazmat suits don't grow on trees. But it's just gotten Forever better and better over the years. I'm like Destiny, which is just going downhill. Fast. <laughs> Fucking, uh, they just showed off, like, some Final Shape stuff the other day, and apparently people were, like, losing their shit over that, but I still, uh, I'm not giving them any money. I refuse.
It's 35, so those could be some good XP if I can kill them. I don't know if I can. Some damage. Oh, you know what? We're not gonna fight them. Run. You know, we're just gonna keep running. We are out of diluted, so we gotta make some. We gotta find a chem bench. Is there a player base down there on the other side? Mm, no player base here. You fuck off, mate. Oh, shit, man. They just keep rushing me. I can't get the grenade. Good hit. Good hit. Any more grenades? Probably not. Mines. I think those are a good idea, but we're using them. Come on, buddies. We got one with that. It's not what we wanted, though. Whoop. A little bit. Schmollies, there we go. Oh, how'd that not get you? Like, they're XP, sure, but I don't know if they're that much XP. Like, I don't know if they're worth this much ammo and shit. I don't have anything else to really hit them with, you know? Still got Schmollies, I guess. Where's the weak part on these motherfuckers, you know? Guess the tail? Says the tail. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I've seen the merchant legend very well. I had it on the stream the other day. Or not the other day, a couple months back. Okay, cool. Don't want to use that anymore anyways. Bro. He just keeps shitting out fucking bees. We need to kill him. Oh my god, there's still another one? Jesus. <laughs> oh good, that's gonna blow up. Let's go around that. What happened to the death claws out here? Ooh, it's actually a good chest. Ah, oh, it's too high level. Econ, 10 mil auto. Damn. Not bad. I could save it to have a max level one down the road if I make it that far on this character. I want to swap the receiver output. 
could be worthwhile. Cool Slayer's chest, huh? Do we have a metal chest already, I guess? I guess it's just better, sure. Do need to do some weapon repairs. These are busted. Couldn't get a higher level one, but I don't know how we're gonna do that. Um, I guess we could just wait for the late the alien blaster. We'll make a level twenty uh, circuit breaker immediately when we hit that. Yeah, I'll be fine. pistol for now. What we need to do is go inside and get some fucking uh, stims made though. Sadly there's no player base. Turn 40. There's no way those are stims, right? Oh my god damn it man. Another fucking Mothman shit and it's all the way across the goddamn map. I'm not gonna get there in time. Missed out on so many today. I guess they're gonna be over here, so let's see, what level are they? Their base is out there, they gotta be at least somewhat. 199, they probably... ...high enough to be making them, so let's go check. Because if I can get a serum, I would like it. Plus they, uh, they got a base which means they can do my... ...stim creating up there, so there we go. This way? I think we gotta go around. Uh, oh, the vendors are down here. Okay. Gee! Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, it's the weather storm fucking machine. The thunderstorm machine. It's scared the crap out of me, dude. No serums. God, why did I even come here, man? Holy shit, that's fucking loud, dude. Man, laser? Laser? Laser on blasters? Blaster? Alien blasters?
Alien blasters, okay. Well. Ah, so happy I came all the way down here for nothing. Bro, how are you gonna lock your house? You have like one thing for tools down here. What a fucking asshole. I wanted to get some goddamn stims made, man. Watching the show makes you want to install this again. It's, it's doing that for a lot of people. Between uh, the free week as well as the game being just free if you have Amazon Prime. Prime Gaming, I should say. Uh, yeah. Been a lot of people playing. <clears throat> All right, anyways. <clears throat> yep. Definitely a lot of people who are playing this again because of the show. Can't really blame them. Oh, hello, uh, fellas. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, it's a suicide rat. Oh, he's right on me. Please, no. Please, no. I don't want to lose another character today, man. Fuck off, rat. Oh, thank God. Now listen, all right? I don't know if I've ever actually had one of those hit a perma character. I don't know how much damage they do. I'm not really here to test it out. Oh, God. Please, robots, don't kill me. Kill him. Oh, the light beams are scary. Did you just hit your friend? Uh, level 35. Jesus, help me, robots. Robots, I want to live. Eh? Okay. <gasps> oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. We're fine. It's fine. <clears throat> We're fine. Like one step forward, and I would have been dead. Good Lord. 
Okay, so the robots did not have them. Okay. Well, the robots had the, the, the fucking mole miners, but they got destroyed by the ghouls. God. Yeah, considering my uh, my previous character a few days ago, or last week, no, Tuesday, my no legendary character, which was a stealth commando, <clears throat> yeah, that character got killed because of a, a robot nuke going off. I didn't realize I, I killed a legendary. Today, another one, the same robot type, the Commibot, tried to kill me again. It wasn't even legendary though, it just randomly went off. Luckily I wasn't on top of it. And then of course I didn't realize that guy was already dead, so. Oh yeah. I'm getting sloppy, man. I really am. Seven Smurf, how's it going? Uh, sorry, I didn't see your comment. I don't really look at YouTube chat very much because it's pretty dead, and I don't really streaming <laughs> on YouTube isn't my priority. I'll say I'm not a Twitch streamer, but yeah, having a good weekend. Hope everyone's having a good weekend, regardless if you're chatting or not, or which Twitch chat or YouTube chat you're hanging out in. Appreciate you hanging out with me, regardless. Why is it hot today? Man, my AC kicked on a little bit ago, and then the sun's not even up, so I feel you on that one. I fucking hate it, dude. I hate, I hate everything. I hate life, dude. Like, it's not even halfway through April yet, and I'm and the AC's already like, it's not on 24/7 like the summer, but it's it shouldn't it shouldn't be like, uh. and it's like spring, isn't it? Right? Winter's over, I think, of, like, as of, like, a month or so ago, so ago or so. Like, come on, man. I hate it, dude. I guess to be fair, this is a shitty random level 5 I had from the start. So the fact that it did that much I should be happy with. Ooh. That damage fall off. Stopped me from killing that guy earlier, but we got that one. Motherfucker. Well, this is all we have left. We gotta <laughs> we gotta get some <laughs> enough kills with this thing to uh carry us level twenty. Cause then we can craft uh the circuit breaker and we'll be good. Actually I don't know if I can. I might need weaponsmith for level that. Uh, circuit breaker, crafting, gunsmith level two. Okay. Oh, hey, what up? Thanks for being patient and not shooting me in the face while I was AFK. You have going AFK again. good cards. Okay, so we need weapon. Shit, what level? Oh, gunsmith. Okay, there we go. 
We need guns break slower anyway, so I guess we do need to start pumping some of those cards. Because we are we are a pistol character. We're not on melee anymore, so we need this card anyways. So I guess it makes sense. How many uh, points do we have in it? We actually don't have enough for that? We don't. Okay, that's not good. Um, hmm. Put a point in it, but then we swap over to something else. We'll see. What do we have extra points in? I guess we could get a strength card. Uh oh. Where are you at? I heard you. Okay, so we put a point in, but then we go over here and we grab a farm. Traveling pharmacy. There we go. Okay, so boom. Boom, and now we get level 5 gunsmith. There we go. That'll help out a ton. So we weren't running any gunsmith. Oh, we have another one, huh? Uh, we start demo? I don't know if demo is actually going to help. Does demo help with this? I don't think demo helps. No. I don't know if there's any point in pushing demo if we're not going to actually get an explosive pistol or something, you know? So, I think we'll hold off on that. Expert Gunslinger, extra 10 points of damage. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? Well, no, we need to clear the town because we need the XP. We only just turned 19, right? Yeah, we need to get 20. Ideally. If we can get 20 before we do the final part of this quest line, we can hope... I'm well, no. Lasers drop in increments of 15, actually. So I don't think the quest reward actually would be... So I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, she just fucking just nuked half my HP with that full auto. Holy shit. Been a year since, uh, ah, since I played uh, all this new content making me want to hop on again. Good. You can do that. I need to find a goddamn chem bench, man. It's a rifle is not what we want. We have an automatic blazer pistol. We could use that. It's not amazing, but it's something. Although it's an auto, so I don't think I'm actually gonna get credit for using uh, my card because it's uh, considered like a gorilla card, I think. Where did I put those cans? Oh, it's a weapon bench. I could just repair my fucking revolver. No, there's no point, man. I'm gonna fucking make new stuff in a little bit here. You need a chem bench still. I've been saying that for like a half hour, probably. I should have stopped off at White Springs. Who else was throwing fucking mollies at me? I don't want to fall off this. I'll probably die. Okay, you know, I'm going to disarm this stuff from up here. From the relative safety of not down there. That's, that's weird. That's supposed to fall through the gap? You know, let's not test it. I'm good. <sighs> okay, listen, I probably would have lived from that, but... It sketches me out a little bit. the one that's up here.
Boop. Yeah. Boop. <gasps> I didn't know if it was gonna blow those up next to me. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, is that a better snub nose? Scope, whatever. Silence, I am the ghost of Appalachia Future, and I have a demand. I understand. Now. The spirit requires a host when and a Saltron body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip, 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 skip. Uh, but here. You. But it was. Bile. I heard some screaming outside the window. Do the ghosts rule the outside world as well? Um, oh, you know what? They gave me the uh, the radiant quest for the jukeboxes. Why not? We can run that real quick. Ooh, stim packs. Ah, thank you. Man, I wish YouTube and uh, Twitch weren't so fucking stupid. I'd love to actually listen to the radio while playing this game, but... Oh, can't have that. Mutant or Twitch VOD and... Getting... Videos claimed on YouTube. Never gotten to Fallout game. Uh, which one is the most fun to play and why? Uh, depends. Depends. Uh, it really depends. Like, what you're, what you're looking for. Personally, I think if you get into the franchise, you should probably play them all. As far as at least everything since that Bethesda is done. Okay, he's got way too much HP. No, we're good. <laughs> he's level thirty. Fuck off. Uh. I recently just played through New Vegas the entire way through because I didn't play it back in the day. I played like a smidge right before Fallout 4, but uh, New Vegas is amazing, but you got to keep in mind, Fallout 3 and New Vegas are very old. They're going to be mechanically just not smooth to play. I think the story is probably... I don't know if the story is the best. They definitely have the best DLCs and the best side quests, I think, in New Vegas. I don't know about the main story, but New Vegas has some really good writing in it. Um, three is a classic. Um, four is really good. I'd say you could probably enjoy four just fine and enjoy it, right? I think you should, as much as I would say, hey, play 76 because it's free right now, you know, for like a week. And then on top of that, if you have Amazon Prime, if you watch the show, you probably have Twitch Prime, in which case, you know, Twitch, if you got the free sub, no. But uh, 76 is free for Prime Gaming right now, so you can grab the... Xbox and or the Microsoft Store edition of the PC version for 76 to play. Could you fuck off? Um, 
as much as I do enjoy 76 and it's my go-to right now, it's my go-to because, you know, I've done the single player games enough, you know, I'm waiting for more mod content. Like Fallout 4 is getting a big mod uh, story thing from uh, community modders uh, at the end of the month, so London's going to be fun to play. But for your first experience, as much as 76 is fun, you should probably experience what normal Fallout games are, which is not 76. 76 is fun, and it's a it's a, but it's a multiplayer game, which is a, still a very experimental, like it's a new Fallout format for the developers, right? Which they haven't fucked with before. So, I would say probably Fallout 4. It's probably the easiest to approach, and then if you enjoy Fallout 4, uh, and you want more of that, you could be like, yes, I'll play 76, because 76 is basically for, but a larger map in multiplayer, you know? Uh, so you can play it with friends, or random people, or just you use it as, like, your, your live service game, like Destiny, or whatever, you know? Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. But if you're inter interested in the main story of, like, Fallouts and whatnot, you definitely need to go back and play 3 New Vegas, but you should probably play those after 4. Just because, again, you should probably ease into the franchise with something that's a little more playable. As much as 4 does have a lot of issues with, like, you know, character choice and whatnot, people will gripe about those, it's still definitely, I think, the easy, easiest accessible Fallout game, probably. But yeah, as for most fun to play, I mean, I've got the most hours in 76, but that doesn't mean it's the most fun. 4 is good, too. I love playing through New Vegas, but it's also really clunky, because... Three New Vegas are they're very old games. They're from the late 2000s, you know. The shooting is very much like it's an RPG at its core, with a little bit of shooter, you know, gravy lathered on top. Versus the shooters, a lot more pronounced and it's not great. It's not Call of Duty, you know, or like Apex or whatever, you know. But it's a functional shooter that feels decent in 4 and 76, right? You know. So, uh, hopefully, that's a good enough answer for you. Android New Vegas more than these newer broken games. <laughs> I like how you're pretending New Vegas wasn't broken at launch as well. Hey, you got one. Signals coming through loud and clear. You know, this I don't throw the word hero around a lot. The door, Come over here right? and let's discuss, huh? Now, now that's it's what true. I like to hear. But Crane, Seriously, thank you for you sticking ready your to... neck out for me. Hell, even with patches, Follow me. even with patches, so I was I just did a New I've Vegas playthrough like a is. month or two ago, right? Full on one, and I but couldn't even finish well, a fucking quest because it's a known issue and it has been since it came out, and it still hasn't been fixed even by modders to get the Golden Pit Boy. I had to console command it in after I did everything, but the quest just wasn't let me, letting me complete it because it wouldn't advance the next stage and shit. <laughs> like, yeah. So, like, don't get me wrong, New Vegas is amazing, but don't pretend like it's suddenly like a, a Honey, flawless Fallout game awake? that is bug-free oh. compared to the rest. Sorry, you wanna give them a little they're all nudge? just as buggy. <laughs> they all got a great universe, man. I love New Vegas, but I'm not gonna pretend it's not what it is, you know? Boy. You shouldn't either. Boy. <sighs> Come on. Jesus, oh, we'll still wait for him. Okay, come on. There you go. That thing's been up here the whole time? That thing. I don't... Re you agree? Exactly, God. Duchess. Of course. You want to... Sorry, <gasps> He's fine. Just a shoulder hit. If anything, it, we may have missed. Oh, sorry, honey. Oh, I, uh, <sighs> determine his fate. Yeah, I did it. Oh my god, did this bug out again? Just let him do it. All right, good According talk. To that map. Golly, oh, she's not even mad. Perfect. Solomon. Sorry. Now. You're all ready. Skip, so, these skip, skip. I will let Done you. Done this too many I'm... times to so listen to your dialogue. Good. Now. No. Good luck. Uh, 
Ever played Star Citizen, the most fun game in history? Yes, I have. Games come out unfinished and don't work. At least New Vegas works. Okay. Fallout 3 came out and it worked. Fallout 4 came out and it worked. 76 came out and it worked. So again, the whole like, ah, I much prefer New Vegas over these new and broken games. Sorry, buddy. I've got plenty of clips of me playing the game right when it came out. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think you're you're getting what I'm putting down, buddy. And that's fine. But uh yeah. Like you're you're just throwing out a fucking red her herring at that point. God my fucking throat's coming me some water. <clears throat> like uh, my point of contention was that you called the other games broken and New Vegas is not. And then suddenly you're talking about Star Citizen? Like, bro. Hmm? Huh? I didn't say that. Why'd you bring up Star Citizen then? And you did though. The first thing you ever said in chat is avoid New Vegas more than these newer broken games. You can avoid enjoy New Vegas new, more than the newer games. That's perfectly fine. But calling them newer broken games implies New Vegas wasn't broken. Which it was. It's just follow games are broken because they're on the creation engine. That's just that's just how they are. Yeah, you're just, you're circling back and trying to go to a different route, like, uh, you're, I mean, I'm sorry, man, like, listen, you could have just been like, hey, I enjoy New Vegas more than the newer games. Easy, no problem, but you double down and you're like, buggy new games, and I'm like, okay, and now you're not, like, and I proved that, like, or pointed out how fucking, you know, New Vegas is not bug free, you know, and you're like, oh shit, you're right, my bad. Easy, but now you're talking about like, but all these other games are broken and blah blah. blah. Okay, sure, plenty of games come out. Okay, do we, we want to go on a half hour rant about how the state of modern gaming sucks, Dick? Spoiler alert: that's what I talk about like every other fucking day here because I don't have a lot to talk about because I just regurgitate the same talk but over and over. Like, <laughs> I've been here and I I know about that, man. Like, you don't have to talk about Star Citizen to me. I know how crappy it is. Spoiler alert: I spent twenty five bucks on that shit back in twenty twelve. Because I was still one of the handful, I think it was like day one kickstart backer. I got like one of the early packages for only 25 bucks. That gave me like all of the game as well as a decent package that they ended up raising the price like 30 or 35 bucks. Like after those sold out and this like within a couple days of kickstarter. You don't have to tell me about that. I'm disappointed in that. And that's not even to talk about a whole different topic of the whole kickstarter games coming out and being just absolutely shit or taking years to come out or just like being terrible. Like... <laughs> You don't have to tell me all that shit. And I'm not saying you couldn't enjoy New Vegas on its own, but like, come on, man. You're just bringing up other stuff at that point. Like, you know? How about we start fresh? Hi, I'm Shizzle. I know a lot about games. You enjoy New Vegas more than new ones. Cool. I will say, hey, guess what? I played it recently. I liked it a lot, too. It's got some really good story. All right, common ground. Hey, all right, cool. Sit down, have a seat, get a snack maybe. I'm gonna be going for a while today. We're doing permadeath. If 76 isn't your cup of tea though, might I suggest fucking right off? Because that's what we're playing today. <laughs> Sorry, not trying to be a dick, but like, you're not really bringing up any good points here. So, hopefully we're on the same page now. We are fantastic. How the rest of y'all doing? How starts in these days? I don't know. I've been waiting. I haven't played it in at least a couple years, probably. 
I brought with Star Citizen as much as like it launched initially and it was literally a fucking hangar module, which don't get me started on how shitty that was back in the day. Like <laughs> literally the first playable th they thing they had for backers was like, hey guys, you know all those fancy ships you may have spent a lot of money on? Uh, you can walk around the hangar and look at them and like climb inside. You can't fly them yet. Like that was the first iteration of Star Citizen, right? It's come a long way. You know, there's like a supposed like playable worlds, you know, and like quote universe, but they still don't have server meshing implemented yet. Apparently, I check like every two or three weeks the subreddit to see if there's any actual news. There's not big news really, but apparently they are testing out server arch server meshing now. So the, I think the last thing I saw was they had like 800 people in a server, which is pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's not there yet. And it's, that's still on the fucking test server as well. So who knows when that's actually coming out? I don't know. There's a lot of people who play Star Citizen as like their main game. And it's like, good for you, man. But <laughs> I'm not touching that until there's actually, oh, Halo. I'm not touching that until there's actually stuff to do. Hey, Trinidad, 109 months. God damn, it's a long time, dude. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I want to like Star Citizen. Uh, and to be fair, of the handful of times I have fucked with the game, I've got more than my $25 worth, considering how many times I've bought shittier fucking Steam games in the past for the same amount or more less money. Like, Detroit Become Human. Sure, you can be like, ah, but Joe, that's a great game. Yeah, you didn't buy it on release for $60 fucking dollars on a PS4, did you? I did. It was not... Listen, it is not worth $60, okay? Now, it's not to say I agree with fucking Star Citizen's bullshit. Because, uh... Boy. Let me tell you, their initial fucking target for release dates have been pushed out. Hell, I didn't even... The version of the game that I backed didn't even have FPS combat. I had to have someone in chat tell me that that was a thing. Because... Star Citizen was going so slow early on uh, that I just quit paying attention to it. So like, after one year, what they had a Citizen Con, which is like their big like you know, conference for Star Citizen, they revealed that they're working on an FPS component for the game. I was like, oh, well that's cool. That's not what I backed though. I backed a space MMO where you could get out of your ship and like walk around stations and shit. You know, like bridging the gap. Okay, I love that. Don't get me wrong, but like the feature creep with that game is ridiculous. For those who don't know what feature creep is, feature creep is when you are developing a game and you're just like, oh, wouldn't that be cool to add that? Wouldn't that be cool to add that? And they just do that ad infinitum for fucking it forever. And they just keep adding more and more and more. And that's what Star Citizen does. The problem is there's a bunch of whales that are funding Star Citizen with their multi hundred dollar ships, multi thousand dollar ships crazy packages and whatnot so the devs can just keep getting bigger and bigger teams and making crazier shit and it's like we still don't have the actual MMO that I backed uh, 12 years ago now you know it's like it's a real bummer Elite Dangerous was uh will have lived and died before Star Citizen released yeah don't get me started on Elite Dangerous as well Elite Elite's in an okay space the problem is Elite space combat is boring it's NASCAR in space. And the problem is I also backed that for like 80 or 90 bucks to play it early back in the day. Uh, and that was not great. The thing is, Elite Dangerous is interesting because while it's not an MMO, it kind of is, but kind of isn't. They have at least the spaceship flight and like space trucking flying between planet to planet and station to station, you know, that's dope. Like, I did that back in the day for, like, a couple weeks. I just slapped on Netflix, and I just did space trucking off stream, and it was fun as hell, man. But the combat is boring. Now that they added the component where you can get out of your ship and walk around, that's cool, but guess what? When that came out, terrible frame rate. And the FPS combat on planets, not good. Really laggy. Uh, I've heard it's got a little bit better, but I feel like the last time I brought it up, like, a year ago, or maybe five or six months ago, someone said it was still shit, like, frame rate wise, which is, like... It's a real fucking bummer, man, because that could be, like, the go-to, you know? Because if Elite Dangerous gets good into a point where, like, it's pulling off a lot of the stuff Star Citizen wants to do, it's like, oh, look, Star Citizen needs to get their shit together. But right now, there's no, like, there's no competition in that space whatsoever. Whereas stuff like, you know, Tarkov has com competition. It's starting to brew up, you know? There's a lot of games that are coming out there at least trying to do similar things. I don't know, man. Anyways, I got a lot to shoot a bit to be there, okay? <laughs> don't come to me and... Think you know, bitch me. All right, I will. 
Listen, all right, anyways. All right, new laser pistol, huzzah. Oh. Nope. There we go. All right, well, quest done, moving on. I doubt lead damage will get better. There if yes. Update was dog shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I had a, uh, I'm not sure if I did two of them. I, th I did at least one though. Cause uh, there's like a integrated Twitch like sponsor system where I can just be like, hey, here's a, th they, they push out things and say, hey, if you stream this game for an hour, you know, we'll pay you a certain amount. If you get over this amount of viewership, if you get like up to like 50% of that viewership, you'll still get paid whatever of the half of the amount or some shit, right? It's called the Twitch bounty system. I had one for that and I felt real bad doing it for that because like, don't get me wrong. I wanted, like, I got it for a lot of those stuff. You get a free key through the system for like the DLC or the game, whatever. Sometimes it's free to play games. So it's like, whatever for that one, I got the DLC key and I was like playing it. I was like, Oh man, I'm streaming this and I'm like sponsored and it's like 15 to like 20 FPS. It was really bad, man. It was a bummer. <sighs> It was like, I wanted to like it too, you know? It seems like they have a lot of cool systems in there, but man, it was just, it was not a good landing, dude. It was not, and it's a bummer. <laughs> Cause I love sci-fi. That's my favorite genre, man. I love me some Fallout, and it's amazing, but like, if I have to pick general genre, like apocalyptic stuff, eh, yeah, sci-fi wins, just barely. Fantasy's below, below, below that, you know? But uh, now we don't have any good sci-fi MMOs, man, so like, Elite Dangerous being good is like, I want it to be good. It's just not. Meanwhile, Star Citizen just keeps fucking circle jerking every fucking other month about like, ah, new milestone of backing. Oh, it's like, dude, fuck off. Like, holy shit. Like, I get it. You keep selling crazy shit packages and keep making your money to keep paying your employees. Awesome. Make that sick game. But how about you give us something substantial to play in the meantime? Like, I, I'm pretty sure they've got like, 15 planets max and I, this is just a random guess right i'm pretty sure they only have like one actual like solar system in the game thus far and they're supposed to be like a couple hundred planets i think in the final thing i don't remember the number it's nowhere near like what uh star fields number has but star citizen is still like back in the day was like oh shit that's gonna be awesome dude one seamless fucking server between all that it's gonna be crazy nope still don't know yet like yeah <laughs> Like, you can keep your, you know, giant teams making crazy ships all you want and, like, work on the back end, but, like, I, I gotta hope, and again, I don't think it's the case. Oh, Jesus Christ. Talking to chat, fuck off. I gotta loot this thing before he blows up, if he blows up again like he did one earlier. No? I gotta hope that they have a lot of planets finished in their back pocket, like, ready to go. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What is this little horde? What is this, beta? Oh. Hang on. Okay, this isn't as big as the other one in that clip from a long time ago, but still. The fuck was that? So random. There's not even like. I guess there's a player base up the road, but he's not getting attacked. He's also across the river, so this isn't a swarm spawning in for a player base. It was just a random ass horde. On top of that, two more were already went over there and got killed by the fucking Moobot. What the fuck? Oh yeah, no, I don't think you're gonna get any argument from me, Dallas. I'm real. I didn't read most of that text. I don't think you're, gonna, you're not getting any argument at me. At me. Uh, like I will completely agree. Like, oh my god, what are they doing to these cows? What is that bot doing? It's supposed to protect them. That's why you're fucking have the goddamn camo, dude. Uh oh, I just killed. Oh no. It was the zombies that did it, chat. It wasn't me. Come on, Bessie. Bessie, get him. Is it literally just not even gonna attack? I thought it was supposed to be protecting the fucking cows, man. Bessie's useless. What are you doing? 
Yeah, I don't think you're getting any argument out of anybody about Star Citizen, man. Maybe the hardcore player base are gonna be like... <laughs> I don't know. It's I'm just, I'm so pissed about Star Citizen, man. Why you gotta bring it up? <laughs> like, I want that game to be good, because it's like the dream MMO. The only, I guess the only thing that would be better than like a Star Wars Galaxies 2 would be Star Citizen, but with the Star Wars lathering of fucking, you know, lore and vehicles that set on top, man. The fact that that game has been... <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna go on that rant again. I've, I've done it too many times on the stream, right? <laughs> Gaming sucks. I have nothing to look forward to. The only thing that I look forward to in the next few months is fucking Star Wars Outlaws. Oh wait, they just gave us a release date. It's fucking September! the fuck am I gonna do for the next four months, man? Oh, Grey Zone Warfare? Nope, didn't get picked for that fucking streamer week. <sighs> Let's finish this fucking quest up. The Hello, one level 20, please. Well, what I will... Oh, come on, that is not enough for 20? Oh, we are 20. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's see here. Gunslinger. I already have one of those, so that's useless. Actually, is that level two or three? I can't tell. Is that a two or three? That's a three. That's a useless card. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um. Do we start going? Vats? I don't remember. Let's look at this build. Hey, we're in safety. We can do this inside. Uh, Psychopath. Any kills if I have a chance to refill your crit meter. Um, crit savvy. Uh, curator. That's useless. I don't care about that. We could grab that. We could grab that. Because Curator... What is Curator? Now i got to pull up nukes and fucking dragons. Let's see. What's Curator? Curator. Benefits of bobbleheads. Yeah, we don't use that. Okay, cool. So... Crit Savvy Max, Starch Jeans, obviously. Class Freak, don't need that either. Okay, we have a lot of points we can actually slap around stuff. So yeah, I think we do grab Psychopath, because I do enjoy Psychopath. It's a good perk, right? Any kill in Vats is a 5% chance to refill your, refill your crit meter. That's not bad. I do like that. That's not bad. Okay, now that we're 20, though, chat, we can make ourselves a Circuit Breaker. Yeah, like, the thing is, the problem is, like, with stuff... So, Star Citizen is, like, a whole different debate. Like, you can... The problem with modern gaming in general, everyone's too keen on, like, doing early access. And if you want to blame anybody, blame Rocket for Daisy, Because <laughs> that was, like, the game, I think, that really pioneered the early access genre. And the, the problem is, I guess, you could you could really, if you wanted, go back and blame Daisy for being popular and all the streamers who play Daisy like me. But I feel like... Even back in the early 2010s, there were still plenty of mediocre games coming out that just weren't ready. Um, that it started honestly with the advent of like Xbox Live and like the ability for developers to push out patches for stuff. So if it's like, oh, you know, the game's got a lot of fucking issues right now, we should definitely fix those up. Ah, but we can patch it, you know? We like we can just make them connect to the game online, even if it's a single player game. Like, so really, just blame the internet if you want to think about it. You can really just blame the internet why games suck these days. Because think about it. Original Xbox, before Xbox Live shit, Halo, Combat Evolve, Masterpiece, all the old N64 stuff, you know? Like, sure, they probably had stuff, but you know what they did? If there were bugs, they put them in the manual as a fucking Easter egg. <laughs> uh... Even when Steam had the green light feature, there were still tons of bad games coming through. Oh, for sure. Well, the problem is, it's like I can I can deal with bad small games, you know, from small developers. But when you when it's like you're constantly hit with these big games from big developers and big publishers with massive budgets coming out, it's like you better fucking nail that shit, you know. And now in the last what couple years a lot of these games are coming out $70 base price tag like bro I get it inflation okay sure if you go back and look at those old fucking you know Sears fucking catalog the JC Penny fucking leaflets inside of a newspaper or whatever of like hey get these games for like the N64 shit or PlayStation or whatever some of them were still like 60 bucks or 70 bucks back then okay 
But the thing is, there was like a weird range range for prices back then. So if you could be like, oh yeah, just take the average price from back then with 60 bucks. With inflation, we should be paying a lot more than $70. Sure. But it's, uh, we're not getting in the value for with the inflation, man. If you're going to suddenly jump it up without like the actual amount for inflation, like where's the value coming? All these big fucking titles for like PlayStation 5 always launching at 70 bucks. Like where's the value? You know? <sighs> Anyways, I don't know. Game not going to be started Kickstarter either. Wages were higher back then. Yeef. Don't even, bro, don't even get me started, man. Like, all the fucking parents back then had that shit easy, dude. It's like, oh, the housing market. Oh, no. It might take me a year or two to pay off my house or some shit. It's like, fuck out of here, man. Purveyor. Okay, we don't care about that. Cool. Finally, we can head up to Morgantown, chat. Because we haven't been up there yet. But I think we gotta crank out this, uh... Circuit Breaker, if I have the materials. I don't actually know if I do. Oh, we do, baby. Let's go. 36? I mean, hell, even if we don't actually care about the actual benefits, 36 is pretty solid base damage. 50 spent armor pen is nice. The reload speed, okay. The successful final shot, I don't know about that one. So... Swap now. Circuit Breaker. Ooh. That has all the mods straight away. Fantastic. Um, we go with Dot, obviously. Magazine. We, I think you don't go with Large Mag, because you want to get the, the final shot off faster. Yep. Uh, that's Accuracy. Plus three. We want minus AP, if anything, so forceful, probably. Oh, there you go, aligned. Minus, there you go. Okay, long barrel, obviously. Are there anything better than long barrels? Extra accuracy, I like that. Anything for cost? Probably not. 76 true short, no, we want uh, long. True long is plus two. Stabilized long is plus two. Sighted accuracy, 25, 25 recoil versus... Oh, this is way better. Aim speed and hip fire and sighted and 50% oh, recoil. Hmm. I don't think recoil matters. I think we go too long. Receivers. No hardened on this bitch? Maybe there's not. Hmm. This AP cost would be nice. Ooh, 100% crit damage? Oh, we gotta go for that, right? Yeah. 100% crit? Yeah, you have to go for that. Alright, cool. I think this thing's pimped out fully. Well, regular 10. Oh, I guess that's a different ammo to type, though, so I guess we do have to keep this thing. We'll have to get a new one. Let's see here. Um, honestly, the Furious Laser can kind of beat a dick. 34? Rate of fire, 40. Versus... 36, rate of fire, 43. Yeah. It's just better, because it's the same ammo type, so... We'll toss that when we get to a vendor. Favorite you, and we're good. Nope. Swap in order. Uh, boom. There we go. Alright. Nice. Alright, zap some shit. Cool. Uh, secrets is not necessary. It's all in pursuit of big numbers and share homeless. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Did you hear the comments from Larian's boss about that recently? Yeah, uh, about him talking about the layoffs. I mean, he ain't wrong, though. Uh, there's been a ton of articles that talk about how, uh, all, like, the insane amount of layoffs at the start of this year or the end of last year, bleeding into the start of this year, all of those, like, massive layoffs were purely because they exploded during COVID times, you know? Like, they're like, hey, hire the shit out of people, you know? That's what they did. So, I mean, he ain't wrong. It's weird going to Morgantown already at level 20. So I usually go up there straight away after doing the Wayward, uh, like, the, the opening quest. I never actually go all the way through with that shit. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, roll of the D. Uh, I don't look at YouTube chat much, so my bad. New Vegas was the fall game that you could level up by beating a corpse at one point. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. That's uh, that sounds about sounds about right for uh, Creation Engine. Ooh, a cultist two star. Ooh, okay. One. Goodies for me, buddy. Here you. Now. This thing sounds sick. I love it. I am very happy I earned this uh, multiple seasons back. Because, uh, it was a bit of a slog to remember to log on every day and to, like, fucking do the dailies and the weeklies and shit, you know? It was worth it, though. I didn't know it would be worth it because of a perma character, but it was worth it. Yeah, KG, so if you're not aware, this thing is, like, uh, it was available at least, uh, I think, a couple seasons ago. You had to get it from the scoreboard, so eventually it'll come back around and be available via, like, the Atom Shop or via, like, Minerva and shit. Like how the Crusader pistol, I think, eventually comes up on her thing. Um, but essentially what it does is, you can't roll it Legendary at all, but it comes with 50% armor pen, which is, I think, I think it's default 40 pen for anti-armor? Maybe it's 50 for the anti-armor mod. Reload speed, and then... Uh, successful final round shot will create an energy blast that deals damage and stuns enemies within 50 feet. Stunned enemies will be immune to being stunned for 10 seconds. So, the final shot of this thing will do an AoE stun. Which is cool. Mothman? Oh shit, you're right. Oh, that's close too. Oh, and it's right on time. Thank you for pointing that out, buddy. Because I can do some work with this thing over there. E Boeing's problem. So what the fuck is up with Boeing? Has it, has it been following that shit? All I know is I remember seeing a thing a while back about how uh, a fucking door popped off. As I guess this was months ago because I remember telling somebody about it. Like, the door fucking popped off. Oh, and like, everyone else was fine, but a door popped off mid-flight, and like, I think someone's phone also got like sucked out. And uh, I remember seeing like a Reddit post of the phone was found on the ground, uh, like a side of a road, and the grass just perfectly fine. And it was like set to airplane mode and like was set like a, there was like itinerary for the plane and shit on it. What else has happened beyond that? Because I see everyone memeing on Boeing and shit. I'm like, aren't most airliners Boeings, like 747s and so on? Like, aren't like the like the only like big plane manufacturer or other other ones? Because I don't pay attention because I haven't flown fucking in a long time. Oh my god, this guy's got some HP on him. Okay. Like, I haven't flown since, like... Someone's funeral in, like, 2008, 2009? Like... Oh, okay. Let's say. Ooh, auto stem. That's not what I want, but I'll take it. Unyielding left arm. Uh, unyielding is useless. All those stems not bad, though. Like, what the fuck's going on with Boeing? I haven't been paying attention, like I said, but has, it, has there been multiple incidents beyond that one where the door just flopped off, or was that it? Stems, huh? Alright, whatever. Airbus? What is Airbus a different... Airbus is a different manufacturer? Okay, sure. I mean, I've heard it, but I thought Airbus was just, like, the super big fucking planes, you know? <laughs> I guess not. Door popped off, then the whistleblower shot himself in the head a day before giving testimony. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little weird. But was he giving testimony about the door? Or has there been multiple incidents beyond, like, actual, like, stuff, like, going on in the air? Allegedly? Well, yeah. You know. Allegedly shot himself. Who knows? Safety violations? Okay, so, uh huh. Hmm. Using parts on planes they didn't pass inspections? Okay, so like, normal fucking capitalism bullshit. People doing stupid shit, okay. So were they like... <laughs> I'm just curious, like, if, if it was like... The, I don't know, like, yeah, I, I, I thought there, I thought there would have been multiple, like, in-air incidents, you know? Besides the door popping off. 
I'm not saying, you know, they don't deserve to be looked into, because fucking most companies do, probably. But, uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm reloading. I should not be reloading with this gun. The problem with using this gun is it's going to really fuck my brain up. Also, I need to go up north after. Oh, we need to be rushing. What am I doing? I quit walking slow. She's like, goddamn, dude. We're trying to get to the fucking, the goddamn Mothman ship before it gets fucking over. I need to get some XP out of that bitch. Uh, was something about an engine on fire on takeoff? Oh, you know what? I feel like I read about that a long time ago. Was that before the door popped off? Yeah, I feel like it didn't take off, right? Maybe not. The wheel popping off? Either landing or launch? What the fuck? It smashed a car? Okay. There were enough instances for us to ground all Boeing 737s. Wait, what? Also, I'm assuming... What, are you... You work at the airport or some shit? Man. They grounded all of a certain fucking plane type? Okay, that's actually some big fucking issues. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, hmm, okay. Now, now I, oh, is it over already? What? 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 I'm server hopping, I'm server hopping. I'm, g I'm going there, I'm server hopping. Fuck, come on, hustle, 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 hustle. Where did the thing go? Did no one go there? No one went there on the server to start, I think. I need to get to a fucking waypoint and then fucking relog ASAP. POI. Come on, man. I ran all the way out here for fucking no reason otherwise. No. Oh. Oh. We're fine. We're fine. No fall damage. We're good. Potentially tens of billions of dollars of liability. Oof. Didn't capitalize appropriately for the US to ground the planes temporarily. Yeesh. Come on. Come on. Pop up already. Bro, I'm in this POI. What have you been up to? Hello? Wait, Afternoon. It's not giving me the POI credit. Is this server fucking down? Like, what's going on? This. There it is. It never seems to end. Come on, give me a good server. Give me a server that has one. Bro, how are they not gonna fuck? Like, no one went out and started it? It's Mothman Equinox, man. It's free stuff. How was no one here? Aw, oh, dude, I think I'm gonna get cucked out of this. Bro! Is it over? I guess I can hit Leo the pack. I'm gonna head over there and keep checking. Damn it, dude, come on. What is this bullshit? Striking the airplanes? You did. I'm blaming you. We're gonna go with that one. Definitely not me if I can just walking way too slow. I think that server just got fucked. Like, I think no one went there and started it within the few minutes that, like, the timer is there, you know? So I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's like, once the event pops, you have, like, three to five minutes, I think, where somebody has to, like, talk to the dude to start it. If it doesn't, then it just disappears. So I guess no one did on that server, which is really weird. I've only, like, died off a cliff, like, twice, okay? Thank you very much, that I can recall. I've definitely got knocked out quite a few times falling off cliffs, but life-saving pieces saved me. So, actual deaths, I think I've only had, like, two, okay? Thank you very much. Not really much of a montage. I'm like a recap. Yeah, I don't think this one's starting, man. I can hop to a different server again. Like, it's 8.08, okay, sure, but, like, still, at 8.04, it, well, like, it wasn't there. What is it? Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna server hop again. Now that we're in town. We'll find a server that's, like, underway. I can hope.
Yeah, he said falling deaths, so not like just my deaths in general. If you're making a death, uh, a montage of all my deaths, that's gonna be a long one. Especially since like I've been playing permadeath for years, so like not all of them are clipped. So good luck finding those. How the fuck do I get the Fallout TV show stuff on Steam version of seventy six? Uh, depends. Damn. Yeah, nothing on the server. What are you trying to get? Are you trying to get like the? So there's a bunch of different stuff from the show. Some of it's free, some of it's not. Like the ghouls outfit you can see in the top right, that one's Fallout first. But the Brotherhood Companion is free, I'm pretty sure, in a camp. You gotta like build the the, the ally thing to get him to show up. You can get a Vault 33 jumpsuit for free. Uh, you just gotta go in the Adam's store and claim it. Uh, there's a Vault 33 backpack, but you have to subscribe to me. Or gift a sub. Uh, in general. Uh, it's to su subscribe to anybody, really, who's playing 76 in the category. Alright, you know, that's good. Oh, he's gonna get up there in time? He might not. I need to go up there. But yeah, the, the Vault 33 backpack is, um... Actually, uh... It's just a skin for the backpack. But, if you want that, you have to, like, I think it's subscribe or gift a sub. I don't know 100% how it works. Uh, you look at the top of the chat. There's a pin that I put up that has a link to the thing. You scroll all the way to the bottom, it says. Or the exclamation point, uh, pack command. Which takes you to the tweet. Which then just takes you back to the Twitch category, but still. Is the game good now? The game's been good for a while. I think, you know, honestly, the game was good when it came out, but it had issues. It had a lot of issues. Uh, but it's been great for a while because they keep updating it. They've For the last five and a half years since it came out, they've just kept doing quality life fixes, bug fixes, content for free as well. Like, they don't make you pay for all the new stuff. Like, Atlantic City update came out. Uh, fucking brain fart because that sub. Uh, Atlantic City update came out a few weeks ago. And that was all free as well, you know? Hey, Pajama Jack with that fresh prime. Appreciate you. I don't know if Prime subs work for that backpack. I should have said that, but I, you know, I guess I, I mean, there is the pin thing at the top of chat. I did say go click at that. I don't know if, yeah. But. Either way, appreciate you, Pajama Jack. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Appreciate y'all chilling with me. Has this person started it? They haven't yet. Well, they may have started it, but we'll, who knows? We'll see. I want to get some fucking legendaries, man, because three one-stars could be a life-saving piece, and I need a life-saving piece, man. Like, we're already back to about where my fucking melee character died at the start of today. We've made some good progress burning through quest lines, all right? I don't want to lose this character. Not that I have anything good on it, obviously, but, like, you know, I would like to not lose progress for a fucking single day, at least, you know? The darn pack on Microsoft Store is great. I think that's the Xbox version for the Game Pass. I don't know. I have to, like, look that up. They, like, the thing is, man, I, I follow, like, the Fallout TV show and the like, Bethesda account and the Fallout accounts. There's been a lot of fucking Fallout shit in my feed recently, so I can't 100% like, point out all, like, what's all going on for shit, you know? Did they update Fallout 4? Not yet. They are going to. The next gen update is hitting uh, on the 25th, I want to say. Um, it's going to come with some stuff. Like, the biggest thing is, it's going to bring 60 FPS as well as quality or performance options to the consoles, you know, the newer ones, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series SX. Um, but uh, a PC is obviously going to get an update as well. So it'll hopefully run a little bit better for us. Oh. Started? It hasn't started yet. Um, but there's also going to be, like, a new quest line. It's probably not going to be that big, but, like, basically a, a bunch of previously, like, paid-for Creation Club content is now free. So they put in, like, the Heavy Incinerator from New Vegas, a, a couple of New Vegas Power Armor sets, um, some other New Vegas, like, weapon, I think, some other stuff. Basically, they're adding a bunch of, like, cosmetics or some new weapons and shit to... Responders, priority alert! Second, like oh no, they're all, they already did kill the last one. Are they up there? Right? 
Oh, man. I'm going to be too slow to get there. Bro, am I just getting cucked out of everything today? This person's going to kill it. There's no way I'm going to make it there in time. Like, I got cucked out of two out of the three legendaries for this fucking event. I got cucked out of the Mothman event because no one did it on the previous server. Like, bro. Yeah, if you're going to post a random YouTube link, you got to, like, ask permission to do so. Otherwise, Nightbot's going to hit you. And on top of that, you didn't even, like, tell us what it is. What is it? Like, hey, can I post a link for this? Ah, yes. Thank you for letting me know and asking permission. Sure, why not? But I don't. I'm not. I don't know what that is. I'm not clicking on that. <laughs> Nor do I expect anybody in chat to click on a random YouTube link either. What up, Drifter? How's it going? The train's been going good. Uh, the train's been going. I don't know about good. I died earlier. To bullshit. Ah, uh, well, doesn't say they're dead. I think they killed it though. I think they killed it. It's not on the map anymore. There it is. Hey, well, we got money. Cool, whatever. I'm gonna relog. I'm gonna relog and hope that I can fucking get a server that has it right here. Because, man, I got cucked out of two events, alright? I'm gonna give myself a free hop. Okay. What up, uh, Talvin? How's it going? First message link is on the last. I don't know if that was his first thing. I didn't get his first message warning. Ooh, an account created only a couple days ago as well. Not following the channel. Posting random link. Yeah, I'm not clicking on that YouTube link. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. <laughs> I don't think so. Eds? It's okay. We'll do one more hop. I don't want to spend too much time up here doing this bullshit, but... I deserve a couple hops, at least, considering I got cucked out of both fucking Mothman and Leo the Pack. Like, I need some goddamn legendaries, you know? Just ran that. No. Oh, they got a lot of meds. I don't know if that's gonna be what we want though. Well, hang on, what's what you got up here, bud? Hey, farm guy, gift us up. Appreciate you. And last time. Come on, be good. Sat and binge the show last night. It's good, man. It's good. I loved it. I'm not going to talk about it for spoiler reasons. Uh, I might accidentally tiptoe around stuff and I want to. Uh, I tried not to do that yesterday. I put a whole video about it. It's only like six minutes, though. I guess I talked about it on stream, but then I cut it into YouTube videos. So if you want to, you want my general thoughts on that exclamation point show. TLDR. I loved it. I want more. Uh, I saw somewhere that someone. Someone said on thing on Reddit or somewhere, maybe it was on Twitter. I don't remember where I was. Ooh, more meds, huh? Sinister. Uh, I saw someone saying they're already starting filming up for season two in September, which is like, wait, they, so season two's actually been confirmed? Confirmed? Like, I mean, we already soft new. Oh, he's level eighty. He doesn't have stims or serums. Um. Yeah, we already kind of knew season two was soft confirmed, considering they had like a tax credit to like move shooting to California. But mm -hmm. cool. I mean, I'm down. You know. Come on, man. Just give me something close. Ah, oh, there we go. Leave the pack, baby. Let's go. I'm going to have to walk all the way down there to trigger it. Then I'm going to have to walk all the way back up. But that's fine. If I can get all three of these myself, hopefully. Oh, we're joining it right now. All the way up here. Dude, what a fucking 
Size, that's great. That's what she said. Carnage, appreciate that prime, dude. Ooh. Look at that proc. Love it. Boom. This thing's fun. I like it. It's a silly weapon. Uh, but yeah, appreciate that one, uh, Carnage, and uh, Farm Guy as well. Need the backpack scan? Yeah, I don't know how that works. If you, uh, if you, if you, I don't know if it's gonna be like an email thing or like a pop up or what, or like gonna be in your drops thing. If you uh, figure that out soon, uh, let me know so I can pass that on because it's gonna be active for a while. So I would like to be able to tell people how that functions. Yeah, it should have. I mean, it should have worked. I mean, he gifted this up, so I mean, it should have worked. I don't know how. Cause the thing is, I've never done any of the whole like supporters streamer shit like I've done it as like being one of the streamers on the receiving end but I've never like gifted a sub to like get one of the things for like the cyberpunk or like the Diablo stuff that I've done so I don't know like how those are like given to you you know I'm assuming maybe if you already have like your twitch account connected to your Bethesda account for like twitch drops and shit or whatever like maybe that would already give it to you or maybe it just kind of I, I have no idea you redeemed a Bethesda? Oh, okay. It popped up uh, in your code in your inbox. Ah, cool. Hey, Sudo, appreciate 200 bitties, dude. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's useful to know for sure, though. Uh oh. All right, Pete. Lester, gift now sub as well. I oh, thank you, Lester. Appreciate you, dude. Enjoy your backpack skin. Assuming that's what you're doing it for. If you're not, I mean, you know, thanks to the gift sub, I guess. I mean, I could use that. Left arm. Ah, uh, auto stem. No, you can't replace left arm. You can't replace auto stem. Mm -hmm. All right, well. What was the first drop? Is this this thing? Leather left leg, fall damage? Ooh, you like that. Like that. Yeah, minus fall damage on a leg? Wait, no, it's not. Wait. Well, it's just a regular piece of shit. Oh, I guess we got the cloaking left arm. Okay, that's with melee shit. We don't care about that. So, yeah, so, for, so far we've got garbage. Two out of three have been shite. Hopefully the third one isn't. We'll find out shortly. Oh, hey, look at that. I didn't even see the hype train going on. Oh, you man gifting us up, too. Well, thanks, dudes. Just chugging right along. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, I realize uh, a lot of people are probably here because uh, they've been enjoying the TV show, maybe, or whatever. Or whatever reason you find your way here. Appreciate you hanging, whether you're chatting or lurking or whatever y'all doing. There's a lot of stuff you could be doing on your weekend, so thanks for spending it with a little bit with me. We're going to be going for a bit today, so uh, get a snack if you're hungry, you know? Make something to eat. I ain't going nowhere. Unless my internet dies. Which would be really weird, because it doesn't really do that anymore. If the internet dies, it's usually like, while I'm not streaming. Redeem went to your Twitch notification inventory. Ah. Well, thank you. Appreciate you letting me know as well. OAP sucks, dude. Second, I just got two. Oh, I think one of them was a random legendary. Sweet. I mean, okay. 
So we got a fourth one. Even though we technically only should have got three. I'll take that, you know? Plus the actual boss is right here so we can actually get the completion XP. Sure. Oh man, saving up the crit for when the final shot's about to go off is really nice. Oh, why did I stop? Ah, oh, I reloaded. Try not to fucking break the reload sequence. Oh well. That said, though, I do need to go up and get the alien blaster. So I think we're going to take a bit of a detour. It's like right below the, the butterfly, if I recall. It's been a long time since I looted this. I know, I know the flooded house I got to go to. I just remember, like, I don't know if it's, like, on the road below it or, like, just below the actual butterfly. I just remember it's one of those two. Dude, the disintegration effect for this thing looks sick. Ooh. It is satisfying to use this. Look at that. He didn't even disintegrate. But, oh, no, he did. Okay, never mind. This thing does look mean. <laughs> it's so cool. You know what? I'm okay with the death earlier today. It sucked losing the melee character to such bullshit like I did, but you know... Pistol character's not bad. Pistol character's not bad. Okay, could you actually make this stuff? There we go. I'm gonna hit spacebar to make it and this is like, what I'm going. Twenty-nine wolf ribs? Jesus, okay. Calm down, game. Did I get the dog food thing done for the daily? We didn't. We still need to find one more thing of dog food. Uh canned dog food. We haven't gotten any. Attention, patriotic citizens. This is Sergeant. Exiting A Wall Armaments, bro. Game's so broken, dude. <laughs> I love how the fucking public events are just so busted still. Like, AWOL Armaments is an event that takes place over here at fucking the Robco factory. Look at that, right there. And I just got an exit notification. Not only did it get an exit notification that I was outside the radius of it, it played the audio like I walked into the radius. <laughs> oh boy. How heavy are we? Oh, we got plenty. We can stop off at Grafton, honestly, along the way. But yeah, we can stop off at Grafton. We'll hit up uh, the fucking whatchamacallit. Script machine. Drop off some Garbo. So, um, what do we need? Uh, you know what? We're AFKing the forest. We'll be fine. We're not going to get killed at all. Scrapper. Demo expert. Really? I don't know if demo experts really needed. That's a this is a crusader pistol build. Um maybe. I don't know if we need that. Let's get uh let's see, how many gunslinger? Expert gunslinger. Two points in expert? Okay. We should probably honestly push fucking fuck more than anything right now. No, we should probably get uh, crack shot finished because we get the extra range from this one, I think. Right? Do we have concentrated fire finished? We don't. Actually, let's get concentrated fire first. X that out for the vats. Shot. There we go. Good enough. Next time they're gonna give you a daily on the other side of the map. I mean that happens. That's called Papa Squatter. 
So the if you're not sure what that is, there's a phrase where it's like, oh hey, come sit down, aka you say, hey, come pop a squat, because squatting is when you sit down. I pop a squat and come sit down, you know. So and a squatter is also another term for like people who like show up at a house and like just kind of like take it over, you know. So pop a squatter is to go and shoot a squatter, right? So that's what that daily quest is. It's a, it takes place somewhere in the lower right corner in the cranberry bog. I think it's like there's I don't remember exactly where it's somewhere along this stretch here But there's like essentially they want uh, a robot wants you to go and clear out a place of like a bunch of ghouls probably right? Um, that quest will randomly just complete itself all the time when someone on the server does it And so you'll see like you'll hear the dialogue of like you finishing it and you'll get the XP pop up and the, the, the caps will pop up like that happens all the fucking time and that has been going on since like day one and honestly those kind of bugs are fucking hilarious. They don't really need to fix those. Because <laughs> it just randomly gives people in the server caps when somebody else does it. It's like, oh, okay, sure. It, there was something else similar to that back in the day. It was, uh, was it the Feed the People event right here? Mama Dolce's uh, food factory. They make the canned meat stew. Usually what used to happen is once that because that's a larger event That's not a small like small like a small group event. It's like a group. It's a server-side event, you know So like it gets the glowing pop-up and notifies everybody But once somebody back in the day completed feed the people Everyone on the server would get a can uh, uh, or maybe five cans of the canned meat stew Which gives you like a 5% XP boost for like an hour or two, which was really nice um, you actually were feeding the people because one person would complete it and then the entire server would get the cans of food. It was nice. They took that out, I think, a while back. It's kind of annoying. It was cool, though, for a while. Wait, how- didn't- the last shot didn't explode. I was bamboozled. There it is. That shit shouldn't always go off, no? Isn't that 100% chance? Yeah. Maybe I missed the final shot previously? I don't know. Yeah, there's a 10 second cooldown on the stun. You could technically spam out the explosion shots though, because they explode after like 150 points of damage or some shit, it says. 50 feet, I guess it doesn't say the damage, but it does a decent amount of damage. Yeah, it's just a, there's a cooldown on being the stun, but the energy blast that does damage, there's no cooldown on it, which is nice. But if you do want to spam shots, you could do it. Oh, it's an armor piece too, huh? Okay. 
get the unyielding out of there. If you guys are new to the game, anytime you're in any kind of train station or anywhere where you see a map like that, walk up to it, look for the little thumbtacks. You can hit E on those or whatever the interact button is and it will mark all the stuff that you see on the map for you. As you can see now, I can see a bunch of train stations up and down the map. Anyways, moving on. Oh, hang on. Let's, uh... Scrap first. Oh, I guess what he did. Alright, whatever. Oh, the pistol as well. Huh, okay. Sure. Definitely not using this thing anymore. Distracted on the way to what I'm doing, but uh, double XP man, that's some good XP for the doing the event as well. <laughs> Just the the fucking sudden collapse. It is funny though with this weapon seeing how wide your shots go because there's an actual like tracer with the laser you can see like exactly how much your fucking vat shots miss you can just watch the giant yellow beams go fuck off it's like nah i don't think so man i'm not hitting that one uh, it was nothing oh well, where's the rest of the protesters Never played this Fallout. Uh, I know it was horrible. Did it get better? Uh, the game had issues on launch. It was still fun to be played, honestly, if you didn't have those issues or you could look past them. I didn't have many issues. It was fun. It's gotten great over the years because it has dialogue that's talking over me so you can't hear me right now. Uh, the game's got years and years of quality life fixes as well as... Uh, content updates so it definitely can be enjoyed but I liked it when it came out it was not good though like it had issues it was definitely fun to be had but it had a lot of issues like I'm pretty sure I recall seeing articles like it was like soft bricking ps4s back then, you know some of them obviously they managed to fix that shit you know it didn't fully brick them but it's still not good you know? The game definitely had issues. Oh my god, okay. Could you stop, please, sir? Stop, 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 stop! Ah, keep reloading, damn it, man. But yeah, the, the devs haven't stopped working on it, you know? Like, they've put out tons of content for free. Uh, they've put out tons of good quality life fixes, bug fixes, you know? Like, the fact that you can just, like, walk up to anybody and just hit AOE loot. Like, that that alone is fucking, like, so goddamn needed, you know? So, yeah. Uh, the game's definitely good. If you enjoy Fallout, you'll probably enjoy this. Fallout 4 is still the goat, right? I don't know if it was ever the goat. There's definitely a lot of people who are like, fuck no, it wasn't. New Vegas is the goat. Uh, I enjoyed Fallout 4. It definitely wasn't perfect, though. Fallout 4 is great. 
I think if you have to like just label, if you have to slap a label on something, Fallout 4 is the greatest because of modding capabilities. It is so much more moddable than New Vegas. Now, it's not to say people don't mod the shit out of New Vegas and whatnot, but because of like the modding tools available, you get full like overhaul mods. Like people are remaking New Vegas in 3 in 4's engine. Just in a couple weeks, we're going to get a giant mod pack made by community for Fallout 4 called Fallout London, which is going to be fucking cool, and I'm going to be streaming that probably. So, like, there's, you know, if you have to label something, sure, you can do that, but that not because the game is, like, the best. It's, you know, it's the best, like, moddable game, therefore it has the longest longevity, and it actually plays like a modern Fallout. Story-wise and a lot of this stuff, a lot of people find stuff. Hey, the dog food I needed. Beautiful for the, the daily. The Boom, there it is. System, and it's gone completely mad. Still trying to run the town. Even holds elections for itself. We built these machines to do things without us. And they have. Hey, Rick, appreciate you, dude. I will hit you up. I will get you added uh, as soon as my stream's over. Uh, don't worry about... Uh, Messaging me, whatever. Just hit me up. Appreciate you, dude. <sighs> what, Cliff? What are you posting in response to? Pseudo said something. What did Pseudo say? I'm curious. True story. A we lose. Oh, ha, 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 ha. you know, I actually, I did actually put that on YouTube with like the actual music synced up for you, Cliff. I'm not sure if you ever saw that one. I did that for you, right? <laughs> it didn't get any views <laughs> compared to most of my fucking shorts. It was, it was like four or five hundred. Now I'm curious. I did it though for you. I did. Let's, I want to see. I'm curious now, cause that's actually like one of like the most like <laughs> it's most of them get like 1k. That was actually not great. Let's see. Uh, it was before day before. Let's see. I need to start making more shorts again. The problem is it's a lot of like I gotta spend a lot of my off days doing that. I don't like doing that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't remember when that one was. Yeah, only 392 views. I'm not... <laughs> you know, whatever. Algorithm didn't like it, man. But hey, it's a good experiment. Because apparently, even though if it does pick up the the music, uh, unlike YouTube videos where it's like, hey, we're going to take your monetization or disable it, you know? For YouTube shorts, it's like, uh, you know what? That song has a license where you can use it in shorts. And I can still get paid. Which is like, all right, cool. Not that YouTube shorts are good for money, because they're not. Um... I get fuck off from shorts, but uh, what was I saying? Oh my god, I totally fucking brain farted there. I don't know. Anyways, it's weird. What's your take on the Fallout show? Exclamation point show. Oh god, complex coming with the command. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, I talked about it yesterday. I don't want to talk about it more for spoilers. I liked it a lot. If you like Fallout, you're probably gonna fucking love it. If you don't like Fallout, you're probably gonna like it. I don't know. I don't have the perspective of someone who hasn't, like, watched Fallout. Um, but I loved it. You might see some discourse online. This is going to be very spoiler-free, so don't worry. You might see some on discourse online of people being like, Rabble, 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 how dare you un uncanonize stuff. Uh, it's not. That's all I'll say. Um, God damn it. Always NPCs talking over me, man. Fuck off. Done? There you go. All right. Uh, I, I, I've been checking out the subreddit, seeing if other people have caught in, like, Easter eggs and shit that I missed. So, I, I like, you know, once a day or so, I'll check out the subreddit for the TV show. And uh, I, apparently, people have been getting mad about, like, some stuff not being canon now or something. I'm like, well, hold up. No, the show is very specifically canon. Uh, no, they haven't, like, uncanonized games and other shit, you know? Uh, I, so, I think a lot of, like, some people are just, like... Ooh, hey! Wait, he wasn't legendary? Wait, what? 
He didn't have a legendary. What is this shit? Bro. Uh, people think some stuff's not canon now in old games, which is not the case. We don't have full timeline pictures. So, I don't worry about it. If you're like a Fallout purist, some people have been jumping the gun and like freaking out. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. That's all I'll say. Like, the show, cre the, the creator of like Fallout, not talking about Todd Howard, I'm talking about Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, was it Tim Kane? I watched a video from him the other day. Uh, his impressions on it. And uh, he liked it, man. And uh, he had the same thing. He's like, I don't know why people are freaking out. Like, stuff's like... Because they, they didn't work with him a ton on the show. Like, they had Todd. But he still had a little bit involved with it, you know? It's like, I don't know. It's just the same old internet bullshit. Someone find, trying to find a reason to be angry about something, you know? The show is great, in my opinion. You should watch it. Pretty simple as... Me a second here, folks. All right, carrying on here. Uh, really happy they didn't make it all serious. No, man, it's Fallout, it's good. Like, it has. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's wacky, it's goofy fun, it's not all wacky though, like there's there's definitely plenty of wacky moments, it's good, it's Fallout man, it's it's very, very Fallout. I loved it. A customer. I don't Those like the wait for season 2 now, <laughs> that's all there is really. They really don't hold up to the wind and rain. Not to mention the radioactive fallout, unfortunately, my programming demands... 10 minutes, okay, so we gotta rush a little bit for this one. We'll be fine. Can we have a spoiler conversation about sometime? Yes. When? I don't know. I might have to reserve that for a YouTube video. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I prefer the discourse to be had with some people in chat. I don't know. It might be a long time before that happens. Because I don't want someone to like walk into the stream and suddenly be spoiled. But I also want to talk about it with y'all, besides just me talking to just into the microphone without having chat, you know? So, like, I don't know when or how I'm going to do that, but I do want to do that eventually. But I'm not going to, like, accidentally slip something in while I'm streaming, so don't worry about that. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I do want to talk about it eventually. I don't know when. I might do, like, an unlisted stream. Because I think there... Okay, hang on. So now the gasters can fuck my shit up. Uh, I think there's a way I can, like, set, like, no category for my stream. Jesus. Yeah, I thought that was one sneaking behind me. I don't know how it's done. Uh, I have to look into that, honestly. Um, I want to do it. I don't know when, though. Or how. Because my worst fear is like, just even if I do that, if someone finds my stream via like the following list while I'm doing that, and they don't read the title, which plenty of people don't read the title of the streams, uh, I don't want someone to just like walk into my stream and just have like a lot of shit spoiled for the show, because that'd be a really fucking dick move. So I'll probably reserve, make a channel in Discord. I mean, I could make a spoiler channel in Discord, sure, if you want me to. Um, I don't know, man. Like, maybe I'll do like maybe I'll do my dailies one of these days. Like, I'll maybe no my off stream days. I'll uh, go in on that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just like record myself one of these days off stream, fucking doing my dailies, and that'll be the B roll while I talk about it. I don't know. If I talk about it on stream, it's going to be at least a few months. At least. As far as, like, openly talking about spoilers. Does that Smashing Pumpkins music to YouTube and the short guaranteed no one walking in on it? <laughs> okay, wrong on that one. 
Yeah, no, so what I was saying about that earlier clip, though, I was surprised out there I could just, like, use that for the, the, uh, the short and not get in trouble. Like, it's specifically like, hey, we detected some copyrighted stuff, but that particular song has a license where you can use it in shorts and not have issues. Because it's not like I get paid per, I get paid, I get paid per view on shorts, but it's obviously terrible. But it's like ads don't play before shorts, they only play on, like, if you're in TikTok mode, I guess, on the YouTube app or on the website where you're, like, non-stop scrolling then it's like the ad plays between those sometimes, you know? I don't 100% know. I haven't really done that, but apparently that's how that works. I don't know. But, uh, I will say it was a little interesting how when I did experiment with that, I was just able to slap that in. I was like, huh, I wonder how many songs are like that. But that requires creative juices enough to want to slap music in all my shorts, and I don't like making shorts to begin with, because that requires off work, you know? And that's like, uh ah. You guys want to hold still for s- oh, they're aggroing. They're aggroing? They definitely look like they're aggroing right now. I want to hold still. Real quick here. Um, hmm. A psychopath, maybe? I only have one of these. Let me check that fucking build guide I was using. Expert. Yeah, you know, we have room for it. Yeah, we can slide that in there. Why not? 5%. I don't know. What do y'all want? Do y'all want me to make. I can make a spoiler channel on Discord. For sure. But. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to talk about it on the stream for a while if I do. If I ever do like spoilers by that, I'll definitely make like an overlay as well. I should probably just make a spoiler warning overlay finally. You know what I need to do? I need to get paid by Twitch. So I can buy that uh, fucking stream. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, my HP! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Stun yourself! There we go. Hold still for me. What I need to do is, uh, get- I want to get that- I want to get a stream deck, finally. Because I can do all kinds of extra fancy shit with the stream if I get one of those. I want to get the fucking Fallout version of that. I want the whole set, but I'm not spending 500 bucks on extra mic equipment and shit. <laughs> making sure it doesn't like it's worth money? No, unless you're making them viral, it's not. Uh, I can tell you how much I made for one of mine. Like, let's see- oh, hang on. Whoop. Oh, there's a lot of them there. Hang on, let me, uh... It's not much. It's not much. Shorts. Let's see. Um, highest popular one. I'm not sure if I posted this one after I started. I don't really know. Yes, this one was posted after I started ad revenue. It looks like for shorts. My most viewed short, 18.6k views, made two dollars and sixty-two cents. Fuck yeah, buddy. I can get um, a couple candy bars for that much. Can't even get a soda at fast food. Can't even get a burger at fast food because the prices are nutty. You know, but I got plus 16 subs off of it, you know? So, uh, about converting people to watch the YouTube and then hopefully they watch the Twitch off of that. You know, it works. Kind of, not really. Fuck TikTok, though. Starting TikTok from fresh uh, would not be fun. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Oh boy. Um, please don't kill me. Oh, this is, oh, you know what we do? We can save this stun. We can use the stun. Okay, he's aggroed. He's aggroed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, last shot. We have a stun saved. We can run. We'll be fine. Oh, hey dudes. How's it going? Let me just slap this stuff in here real quick. Get it in there. Okay, bag of fertilizer removed. Oh, he's gonna fight them. Yes! All right. What I need you to do is AoE. All right, cool. Give me the max P. I'm leaving. Bye. Okay, we got lucky that all the Meyer looks and bees were there. We got two minutes to run all the way to this, across the map. I don't think it's happening. I'm real. I don't think this is happening. 
Hey, self saboteur. Appreciate that fresh sub, dude. Yeah, I'll make a spoiler channel after the uh, stream if I remember. You can just remind me if you want. In Discord, I'll, I'll slap the one together. But uh, as for talking about on stream, uh, not for a long time. I might make a YouTube video about it if I remember. One of my off days. I don't know. We'll see. Because I do want to talk about it. Actually talk about it, you know? But at the same time, it's like, yeah, like I don't want someone to stumble into it, you know? There's no way I can make this in the last minute 50 all the way over here. Nah, we, we fucked up. I spent too long derping around. Oh well, we're out here for the alien pistol anyways. Let's grab it. Sorry, all tabbing out, dealing with stuff. I gotta remember to download uh, 76 later. But shows you're playing 76. Yeah, I'm talking about the um, the free copy I got from Amazon. I'm mean, gonna use it as my mule account. But I need to download the Microsoft version. I gotta remember to do that because the Microsoft Store is staring me in the face every time I alt tab out, which I don't use to begin with. I think it's actually the first time I've ever actually opened up the Microsoft Store, just full stop, because I've never used it. Do people actually use that, chat? I'm sure some people do, but like, does anyone here actually use that? Whoop, hell. God, this thing does a lot of damage, I like it. My HP. We're fine. <laughs> Copy sending some of the games I have through Game Pass. Really? Okay. Yeah, I've never fucked with it. No, actually, hang on. I maybe I actually did. I actually think I did a couple years ago. I think that was the uh, depressed Christmas stream. I didn't know what to fucking do for Christmas, so I said, fuck it, we'll play Halo Infinite. I think I actually may have used it for that. Because I think I'd subbed to the game. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I did. Because that was the, the, the one free use of Game Pass I had. Because remember, if you've never signed up for Game Pass, it was like, it's free. The first month is this, or like it's like a dollar or some shit. That's what it was. I remember signing up for that. Where is this? Sir. Because of those fuckers? I gotta alt tab and look at the wiki. Kinda got pissed and stopped playing Minecraft a long time ago. I mean, you don't have to play Minecraft through the Microsoft Store. You can just play, keep using the Java version. You just have to connect your account to like your Minecraft account a while back. That's all I did. I still play the Java version. I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of Minecraft, I have had a massive fucking Minecraft itch for a while. For like at least a month. I I really want to do like a modded run. But I don't know what to do. That and I, I, it's not really a good time for it. Like I'm gonna use that as like a filler when I need something. What was that tabbing for? The blaster. I gotta find this. Um... Northwest of the Butterfly on the map. Okay, really? Northwest. Toxic Pond and Gringage. Okay. Okay, so it's that spot. Okay, so we still have to head this direction. Looking for a. Ah, oh, it's right there, I think. Because we're looking for like a, a house that's like sunk into the water. Because it's kind of safe in there, if I recall. Got the same feeling with Minecraft. What, you mean like an itch for it? Yeah, I haven't played that in a bit. 
I might have to hit up Therm and tell him to fucking set up a server for us again. You there? It's not there. Oh, rusted key. Wait. Well, that's not what I wanted. Oh, alien blaster. Huzzah! Please tell me it came with ammo. It probably didn't, did it? Level 50? Br <sighs> Can you not find a low level version of this? Okay, we're taking. Well, I guess we're healing. We, uh, we, ha we auto healed it, my rounds. Really? Can I not get a low level version of this? Huh. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, I got it, so I guess that's cool, but. I'm pretty sure this is the only spawn of it. That's a bummer. There goes the plans. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't get the actual plans for the alien blaster because we have to find it during the event. Uh, which is gonna be like a month away or some shit. Like, it's the end of the month. Well, when did I say it was? It was the end of... It's the end of April. It's like the 30th, I think it starts, right? So it's like weeks away. So I'll be... I don't know if I'll still be doing perma right there. I don't even... This there's no way this character's gonna be alive for two weeks. That's not happening. So, huh. Sorry, I was responding to somebody. Um, hmm. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? How? Because the thing is, if you look at the wiki for the alien That's blaster. Hey, uh, I don't even know how to say the name. I'm gonna say it. It's gonna get fucked up, so don't get mad at me, okay? Iki Biokami? <laughs> I don't. I probably fucked that up. Appreciate the sub though, regardless. Um. What was it saying? The alien blaster. It says that you can get it at level 20. I, uh, I, I don't know. I guess you can craft a low level version? Like, how are you supposed to get a low level alien blaster otherwise? I guess I can get the vats unknown. I guess we gotta do that. Right? Because this is the... Can you re-roll the vats unknown? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Okay, so we could we could do that quest to get it. Fallout 76, can you re-roll that's unknown? That's the thing. You can I uh... No. Can you re-roll it? I guess we can do that quest to get a low level version of it, but the thing is, do I save that for getting a higher level? So I feel like that's still the high end one. Yeah, I don't know. I can save this one to reroll randomly, obviously. We should be saving that. I'm just trying to figure out if I. If I did I just get bad RNG? Because I feel like. It, I feel like it should work at like chainsaws, no? Or is it the only one that drops a level 50? I don't know. Either way, we can't do anything with it. Oh, look! Another Mothman Equinox I'm all the way across the map for and I can't get. God damn it, man. 
<sighs> Whatever. Hey, you know what? The circuit breaker is uh, good enough for now, and I can keep crafting this every 10 levels, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Having a level 50 version is like, it'll be the, uh, what's the word? The item we aspire to be able to use on this character, you know? We can get 50 in the next couple streams, for sure, with uh, the double XP going on, 100%. It just turns into, like, you know... I live long enough. It's, uh, Eki's fine, thank you. Oh, thank God. Because, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it a second ago, and I don't know how I'm going to... I'm pretty sure I would have done a completely different one the second time. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Appreciate y'all chilling with me. Sorry I've been in a mediocre mood at points throughout the day, but losing my character to essentially being AFK trying to troubleshoot for somebody is kind of annoying. But hey... I'm chilling now. We're good. Hope y'all having a good weekend as well so far. I'm gonna do something I shouldn't normally do though. And I'm gonna ask y'all chat, what are you munching on right now? Cause I'm fucking starving. And uh, I'm probably gonna be going for a bit today still. So I need y'all to tell me what you're munching on. Or what you had for breakfast or lunch or whatever. Cause uh, I need to uh, live vicariously through y'all right now. I'll cook cookies. Ooh. Ooh, now what kind of cookies? Are they just like chocolate chip, like the regular, you know? Good old tried and true, or is it a different type? Turkey sandwich? Ooh, what you got on it? Barbacoa tacos with avocado? You had me until you said avocado. <laughs> I don't judge you though. You know, some people like avocado, and that's fine. I, to be fair, to be fair, I haven't tried it in like at least 10 years, if not more. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll enjoy it, you know? But, uh, back in the day, I was never an avocado person. Roasted almonds? Ooh. Ain't nothing wrong with some roasted nuts. Almonds are good. Almonds are good. I had the... Uh, listen, these are gonna... I mean, listen, they're gonna sound like fat person snacks, and it's probably... They are, you know? But, uh, when I used to work at a fucking grocery store, you know, decades ago, uh... Fucking, they had this thing in like the bulk foods aisle where like you could go and take like a scooper and like get take a plastic bag and you know scoop whatever you want like bran, oatmeal, all kinds of crap, right? But in one section they had like a bunch of various nuts, whatever for like cooking purposes. But one of them had chocolate. Oh no, actually no, toffee, chocolate covered almonds. So it was like an almond that had a thin layer of like toffee coating on it and then chocolate and then powdered sugar. So that way it wasn't like getting messy. Holy shit, those things were fucking amazing, dude. Honestly, it was kind of crazy considering back then as well. They weren't that heavy. Like, and I weren't that pricey per pound. It was kind of nuts. I would never get a full pound because that's a lot of fucking snacks, but like, yeah. Fine, fine. I Always getting interrupted while I'm talking to chat, dude. Great wow, gold pocket watch. Amazing. Anyways. Um, eating foe. Nice. Nice. Just basic ones. Hey, nothing wrong with basic uh, chocolate cookie, you know? You have some milk to go with is a real question. Noodles with meatballs and a ton of cheese. Ooh, hell yeah. Korean pork and rice. Nice. I could really go for some, uh... Fried rice right now, man. Need to get a good avocado. They're tricky to pick out. Been lucky to do the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could, that could very well be it. It's just like fucking uh, pears, man. I love pears, dude. That's probably one of my favorite fruits, honestly. The problem with pears, though, is you gotta like, <laughs> you gotta wait for them, cause. There's like a very slim window for pears where it goes from way too fucking firm and it's just like, it's like eating a bite, by taking a bite of apple, it's also not very sweet, to it's now mush. It's a very slim window and I fucking hate it. Haven't had a really good one? Oh, pff, bro, you're missing out. Pears are amazing. You know what's great, chat? If you ever get like a food dehydrator, is uh, sliced up pears, man. 
I don't have a food dehydrator, but my mom did. Uh, it was jank as shit. It was probably from like the 70s or the fucking 80s or some shit. But I remember growing up because uh, they'd have it in the garage and like she'd cut up a bunch of pears, put them on the drying sheet, and man, dried pears, the shit. Dried apple's pretty good, don't get me wrong. But dried pear, ooh. So good. Obviously, you know, the easy to make thing would be like banana chips if you ever had those, you know? Which is slap some banana slices on that and it's fine, but like, nah, man, dried pears where it's at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. It's like, there's like a day for uh, pears, dude. It's like, come on, man. Why, why you do me like that? Give me a little bit of time. Let's not sell that. Let's, or not break it down. Let's sell it off because we can get some caps out of now, it. Now trading for supplies, ammunition, and gear. Ronco food hydrator, probably. Probably. It was a piece of shit. I remember it had like the plastic like mesh on top of like the grill on top of it. It was very jank and like <laughs> not fun. To deal with because occasionally uh like a batch would finish and you'd be like hey go you know open it up and like put them in a bag or whatever isn't that player why do i have so much random emotes over here hello weird it's like those so. so we can be hopeful for gray zone yeah maybe maybe i don't know we'll find out after stream no idea. Be kind of weird uh, for them to want to add me on Discord if they're just going to say, yeah, no, fuck off. <laughs> but I don't know. Hopefully. I've been waiting for that game for a bit. Because I've been waiting for a good extraction shooter for a bit. Because I've been saying it for years, if you've been watching the stream. Anytime I'm talking about new games, man, like, we still haven't hit it, man. Because if y'all paid attention to when Battle Royales started coming out, man, once PUBG came out, they started flooding. Hell, H1Z1 kind of really started it because it was like an actual like built-in mode for an actual game besides like a mod for Armor 3 BR. As much as Armor 3 BR and Armor 2 DayZ BR were cool, they were very small by comparison. It feels weird to be such high level going through the airport, by the way. This is surreal for me. I always come here at mega low levels. Anyways... Oh wow, the, the blast has like a delay on the damage. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I've been saying it for a while, man. Like, it's only a matter of time before we start getting a ton of extraction shooters. Tarkov blew up that genre. I don't know if it necessarily pioneered the genre, but it is like the PUBG to make that genre take off. It really is. Because right now, if you think about it, what's coming out right now, as far as, like, stuff that I'm looking forward to, Grey Zone Warfare, which looks like it's doing stuff that uh, Cycle Frontier tried to do, but failed because of whatever reason they closed down, you know, but it's doing the extraction shooter style, but without a timer, which in my opinion has been my biggest gripe with that, because you're forced to play rushed, even if, it, even if it's, like, a 45 minute, you know, hour long timer, you're still rushed to not take your time, you know, and play it how you want. And, uh, you know, having, oh god, excuse me, I got hiccups going on right now. Having that extra time is, it changes the way you play it a lot, which is really huge. So the cycle I loved because it had the sci-fi elements, it was easy access and it had the timer, but it had a lot of missing components, you know? Um, and maybe those are part of why it failed. Probably, honestly, it was realistically like cheaters, probably, that they didn't really like, get them under control with anti cheat, probably, from when I remember watching Shroud dying to them all the time. It was not good. Like, I was like, him, Secretion, and Anthony, like, I recall, like, yeah, it was, they, because they, what, yeah, I don't know, anyways. But, uh, upcoming right now for extraction shooters, we've got Grey Zone, we've got uh, Pioneer, which is like a stalker hybrid extraction shooter. We've got Division Heartland, uh, if assuming that is actually going to be 
a traction shooter, which it looks like it's going to be, but who knows, because they've been quiet for ages. Um, I think there's another one I'm not thinking of, like Beautiful Light, I think. Uh, honestly, I could probably come to my wish list and see if I can pop open Steam and not die real quick here. Like, there's a fair bit that are trying it, so like, Seeing Or, Nakwon, that's gonna be cool, because it's like a zombie infested extraction shooter, but less on the shooter, more melee, but shooter's still a thing. Um, there's uh, Dungeonborn, which is Dark and Darker, which is the medieval fantasy extraction stuff. Like, that genre's gonna blow up, man. I don't know, like... And I want it to, because that means Tarkov isn't gonna be the de facto leader. That means Tarkov's gotta get their shit together. Because the fact that I had to upgrade my rig... No, don't get me wrong, it was, up, it was time I did, but still. Like... The fact that I upgraded my rig as much as it did, and then the following wipe, it went downhill again, it's like... It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. So... Hopefully, uh, we'll see. I don't know. Have I played Darker and Darker? I did. I actually loved it, but it just wasn't doing well on stream, so I didn't get it. I played the beta when it was still on stream, before the whole, like, mess with the developers and shit, you know? Because if you're not aware, like, there's, like, a whole thing with, uh, Nexon claiming they stole code for the game before they went off, uh, to make Dark and Dark on their own, so supposedly it's part of that. I don't actually know. Again, it's all alleged, but there's, like, a whole court process going on over, I think, in Korea, I think, where the devs are at and shit, so it's, it's a kind of a bummer. So, it got taken off of Steam, but I played a couple of the betas. I streamed them. They were very fun, but, uh... Yeah, I didn't really play with anybody else, so it was very much just like, just me, and I could enjoy that. I think more with people, obviously, but I could enjoy it solo if it wasn't like, in the back of my head, I'm like, well, this isn't going to work out for the stream right now. So, I don't know. Uh, they put it out on Epic Games after they already put it out like a while back. Sometime last year, they put it out on their own launcher, which is cool, but I... I think Dark and Darker is doing cool stuff. I like that there's an alternative to just the normal, you know, extraction shooter part of the extraction genre, you know? But that said, uh, it didn't pull me enough to try and force it on the channel and try and make it work, you know? So, I don't know. Hey, you know, legendary. Actual legendary showed up in here. Nice. I'll take it. Do I need 45 on this character? I don't think I do. We're good. Man, we're flying up with energy for this weapon. We're getting so many fucking rounds. I love it. Starting right now. So it was pretty hard. I liked it, man. I have... I don't think I got too many people making clips for um, Dark and Darker when I was playing it, but I had some... Uh, I had some moments where I took out, like, duos or multiple duos or some teams, you know? Like, I, I pulled some shit off. Barbarian shiz, man. Ooh, that was fun. It was good stuff. Dark and Darker isn't complex enough for me yet to hold my attention too long. Yeah, um, it definitely wasn't back then. I haven't watched a ton of it recently, but I do recall um, of the streamers I follow, uh, I know like Anthony and Sequisha, like play a lot of it still, which is great because I occasionally drop in there for a smidge. Uh, I saw one of them tweet out, I think recently, or somebody did, that uh, there's actually a decent amount of like questing to be done, which is good. It needs it, because that's part of what, you know, helps out with Tarkov's, you know, adding different stuff to start, you know, aiming or progression towards, you know? I used to love coming here on weekends. I like that. Before the war, the world was just too loud. I think we gotta go dip back to the uh, station and sell off some, uh, pipe bombs. They have their own launcher for Dark and Darker? Yeah, they have their own launcher, but it's also on the Epic Game Store now as well. I don't know if 
they're going to transition to only Epic Games eventually, but... Uh, I hope it comes to Steam eventually, just because Steam is, like, the de facto PC platform, obviously, right? And so, by just being on Steam, they'll get a ton of extra eyes on it. Because, I mean, sure, you know, some people probably open up the Epic Games store to launch games. But how many people can say they just open up Steam... Or... <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. How many people can say they open up Epic Games and just like browse for games? Unless you're one of those people who claims like the weekly free game, or whatever. Like, can you really say you do that? Because uh, I bet not many people do that. Versus Steam is very much like, oh hey, I'm just gonna go browse shit on Steam and hope I can find something cool, you know? Like, yeah. Only up for free games, and there, so there you go. The wasteland without the proper supplies. Break down that auto, sell off. Now Break down that, trading sell for off, supplies, sell off, and munition, and off. Gear. Oh, we'll break that down actually. And Steam doesn't require me to constantly log back in. True. God, it's so fucking annoying. Like, I play League of Legends occasionally off stream, and I swear to God, there's a fucking option to I set Remember Me. It's useless. I swear to God, it's like every three or four times I boot up League, it asks me to fucking log back in. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Why have a Remember Me thing if it's not going to just work? Like... <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Unless you're updating your launcher all the goddamn time. Like, what's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, Sea Drum, 122 months. God damn, that's a long time. Appreciate you, dude. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope everybody is. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Oh, hey, you haven't started up Epic in 24 hours? Need two factor again? I know, right? It's one thing if it's like, hey, just log back in and, yeah, it's... But the thing is, like, all the passwords are, like, crazy long and, like, bro, stop, stop, stop. And then it's like, oh, hey, let me go grab my phone. If it's not my desk, though, I gotta go fucking walk to my bedroom and fucking pull off the charging thing and bring it in. It's like, uh <sighs> Just waking up? Hey, there you go. Sounds like you got a decent weekend if you're sleeping in. Um, so, so. Okay, so, number two. Perfect. We need to make some fucking deluded, man. Oh, thank God it is a chem bench. Oh, yes, okay. I, <laughs> it wasn't like five hours ago I said I was going to make some deluded sims. Oops, my bad. Have I even looted a super stim yet? I have not. Okay. It's unfortunate. At least we have the survival stims for like the big oh shit ones. First time I slept in since May last year. Bro, I wish I could do that. I am fucking jealous of you. Like I literally can't sleep in. On my days off, like I get like maybe an extra half hour if that. Like my body is just broken. Like I will not have an alarm set up and I will wake up like Pretty much on, like 10, 15 minutes before my alarm every day on for the stream, typically. Uh, and then on my off days, I still wake up that time. Maybe I'll sleep a half hour in. Ooh, but my body's like, whoa, dude, you're sleeping past your alarm. What the fuck? Get up. Like, I'm just, I, I can't, I'm, I'm broken. I just, I just, I might as well just fucking reroll. Can I reroll? <laughs> Play. Uh, I hate it, dude. The worst part is as well, though, like, I've been watching a lot of the fucking, uh, league matches and shit, and, like, the problem is, like, the- Ooh, hello. Motherfucker just threw a goddamn molly at me. Fuck you. Uh, like, LCK matches are starting at, like, 11pm. It's like, bro, fuck off, man. I've watched so many of your, like, season 
at like 3 a.m. It's like, okay, I wake up early. Perfect. I can slap on some league matches. But now they're starting at like 11 p.m. Like, bro, I'm not staying up to watch that. And I'm not waking up that early to watch that either. Like, God damn it. So I don't know who won today between, uh, was it uh, HE and fucking T1? I don't know. Uh, I gotta be work at 7 for the last 35 years. I'm um, point now, um, it's 5.30 every, every day. Yup. Now, don't get me wrong. I might be broken. I can still fix myself if I want to. Very easily. I've done it in the past, alright? Like, I've... I can flip my schedule around pretty easily. It might take me a day or two, but it, it's not that bad. I still got that going for me, which is nice. I haven't done it in a bit. But I just, you know, it, it's still possible, okay? Alright, now the question is... Is, uh, um... Oh my god, what's the name of this fucking pistol? It's Sunset something, wasn't it? Oh god, what's the fucking pistol called? No, it's 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 some Sunset something. I'll, I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, is this gonna be good, though? What level am I? Ah, oh, we're one shot. We can do that other quest and maybe it'll make it a 25. Are those increments of... Tw oh, I destroyed it. Huh, I don't know. Eh, we can just get a 20 version, whatever. We'll turn it in. Because turning this in gets me the quest, uh, the pistol. Uh, the problem is, like, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I'm gonna feel like a fucking idiot the second I turn this in and I see the name pop up. Somerset Special. God damn. Damn it. <sighs> Whatever. Is it a 25? No, it's a 15. Oh, I should have waited for 25. Ah, I thought it was a 20 increment. I was right. It was a 25. It's still not bad, though. 72 damage ain't bad. Plus the armor pen. Like, you know, it's, it's not bad. It'll get used. Honestly, oh, hey, hang on. We got a plasma pistol already? Yo, okay. Okay, <laughs> sweet. I'll take that. <laughs> I actually didn't realize we'd got that a second ago. Um, let's see. We don't care about the regular 10 mil. Let's do plasma, Somerset, then that feller, because you're higher level. I don't think there's any real point in pimping out this 10 mil, but... Because technically it's a different ammo type versus my... Whatchamacallit? My circuit breaker, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I can fix my schedule, stupid dogs that'll never change. Uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. A oh, muzzle? Nope. Honestly, I don't even think it's worth it. I'm just gonna break it down. Uh, I'll keep it equipped. Put a skin on it so I know it's... We can get a 25 actually pretty soon. Let's not even bother. Let's just continue. Responder Survivors Volunteer Program. Advanced Training. Camping. By Miguel Caldera. What was that Robot pistol? What was that pistol? Extraordinaire. Part 1. Finding the... Stop! I didn't double click it, man. I'm trying to turn it off. Uh, what pistol? You're talking about the one that I looted from the quest? That's Somerset Special. It's just a uh, 44 that comes with a scope and a armor pen. It's nice because it has like a hardened receiver, so it's like kind of upgraded. You have to update the, the barrel to get a little extra range on it, but it's a solid little pistol. Uh. <laughs> Lucky break. Um, honestly, luck of the draw wouldn't be terrible. Maybe we'll go with some more psychopath, probably. We have expert at two. I don't think we want to go higher than that just yet. Let's see. Action boy wouldn't be terrible. If I have this maxed out. We have both those maxed out. What else do I get in that tab? Tank killer. That's pretty high level, if I recall. Grenadier as well. Um, okay, so we hold off on those for a bit. 
Anything I need in strength? Not really. Bandolier would actually probably not be terrible. Let's pick up a bandolier point. That'll help me out a little bit. No, the plasma? Ah, it's uh, it's just a plasma pistol. More damage if their target flows 40 health. So it's not gets it particularly like a great roll. And it doesn't have any real mods on it, but it's technically considered a pistol because it doesn't have a stock, right? So it technically like can get uh, a little bit of damage synergy off of my perk cards. Well, I don't have a lot of perk cards for pistols. I still have like an extra 25, no, 45% damage boost, right? Yeah. No, 35, sorry, maths. Miguel, I told you, don't make that chili nearby. It smells too good. I could detect it from the airfield. Why didn't you listen? Miguel, handsome. God, it looks so derpy. But it slapped pretty good. I guess that was the most of the stealth damage that did that. Uh, if you get a good legendary rifle, does modifying it to a pistol make it legal for the challenge? Yeah. I just can't use, like, well, hmm. Yeah, 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 because the thing is, if a, if a weapon could be a pistol or a rifle, then that means it's one of those archetypes that's not going to be broken. Like, it'd be broken if I could take, like, an LMG and make it into a pistol, but you can't do that. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Okay, it's not much damage, we're fine. Yeah, the, uh, the rule is more so, like... It forces me into a build, right? So I, I need to adapt the weapon for the build. But RNG is what determines the build at the start, right? I would be... Yeah, no. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, it's mostly so that I can, like... It forces, like, what I need to be hunting for, you know? So if I were to find, like, a good legendary laser rifle, I can just take the stock off and it's a pistol, you know? But something like a heavy weapon, I just straight up can't use, you know? Something like an LMG, which is a heavy weapon, or launchers, you know, melee weapons. All those things I can't use. There aren't that many weapon types in the game that can be adjusted between a rifle and a pistol, right? Like, there's laser weapons slash ultrasight, the base, you know, laser weapons. And then there's, like, some pipe weapons, and then... That's it. That's really it. Handmaid's always a rifle. Hunting rifle is always a rifle. Um, like, there's not many. There's really not that many weapons that can be ad adapted between them. So it'd be kind of weird to rule those out, you know? It's like, ah, oh, well, yeah, you know, I could technically rip the stock off and it'd work. So, no, it's mostly just for, like, determining the build of the character. There might be some other weapons that can, like, swap between, but I can't recall off the top of my head. Shotgun pistol, we need one. That'd be, you're not gonna lie, that'd be kind of cool. You know, I could do that actually. I could do that with a, uh, a laser pistol. You can slap on the uh, scattered barrel. It wouldn't be that good. <laughs> not with that other legacy. Uh, it could be okay.
But I could do that. Miguel, you should have followed your own advice and built turrets and walls and all those things. Why and all those things. You demonstrate your damn expertise and build a generator to power electric devices such as lights. Remember, to now did I get his pocketed silver lining? With a wire. No, we just got a random ass heavy chest that doesn't even have pocketed on it. Wow, bro. I mean. It has a lot of energy resist. I don't feel like I'd rather take the cool, the cool stuff though. Eh. Hate it, man. You gotta be under a certain level to get silver lining. It's so annoying. Because usually silver lining comes. Well. I don't know if silver lining actually drops pocketed. Well, maybe I have to usually think about me modding it into a pocketed one. Eh, whatever. But hey, if you guys have been enjoying the stream today, uh, hit that follow button. I'll be live tomorrow with the same uh, same stuff. I got nothing better to do. And I've been enjoying 76 Perma, and I hope you all have been as well. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be going for a bit today, but you know. I got to do my streamer due diligence to remind you all to come back. Or don't. I mean, I'm not your boss. You, you know, you do you. Be cool if you did. Whether you're lurking or chat, I don't like it. You know, it's up to you. You know, I'm just gonna shut up now. Responders. Do you come back or else? Listen, I am not saying that at all. Good work, volunteer. This thing's fun, man. I wish it was suppressed, though. Like, it has a suppressor on the gun, but it's not a normal 10 mil, right? It's a, it's just a 10 mil form factor for a laser pistol, right? So it's actually like a, a, a like a, a the, the fucking laser, like, charger thing, whatever, you know? So it's not actually suppressed, so the enemies do hear it, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if the alien blaster counts as stealth. pretty quick so the responder database doesn't lock you out we use the hmm free demo I'll take it uh, I mean, any cards we're chilling on that would be useful not particularly Well, what do we work on? I think we start pumping some luck, I think. I don't think we have... Covert Ops is still a bit of ways, I think. And with Master Gunslinger. Could get some more Lone Wanderer. That wouldn't be terrible. Oh, you know what? We need batteries not included. Level's that. Cause yeah, we're using a bunch of energy weapon ammo for this shit. So we definitely need that. Um, let's get the second point of bandolier out of the way. Getting the plus one strength will help out with a little bit of carry weight and dropping most of my regular ammo to nothing. Weight will be good as well. Yeah, 148, we're looking better now.
Want a good laugh? Let's take a look at the modifiers of daily up. Reflective skin scav savage trike. Oh yeah, let's reflect armor piercing blast back at us. No thanks. <laughs> Fucking fuck off with that shit. Uh uh. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I actually want this character to live. To be fair, I wanted the melee character to live, so yeah, it's still gonna work out. But nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Fuck that. I don't know if I want to do dailies anytime soon as well. As much as I'm getting to the point where this character like can definitely start flourishing because I can make good pistols straight away so every 10 levels I can have like a solid pistol and the build's coming together nicely. The fuck? Oh, it's a player. Weird. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is lurking up there? It's just a random player with a fucking beer hat. While you're here, ask the doctors if they have any... But yeah, as much as uh, I could start doing that, I mean, I don't know if I, I definitely not doing that today. Look at that, yeah. Dude's got one of those hats where you hook up all the beer cans to it, and you can just fucking drink. By the modifiers, reflective skin, so they're gonna reflect damage back to you. So like the, as far as I'm aware, that way that mod works is there's like a. 10 seconds where they'll be glowing and any damage you do to them will be reflected back at to you and then 10 seconds they, it'll be off so you basically have to pay attention because if you accidentally hit a bunch of mobs and a bunch of them are reflective it's gonna hurt you a lot oh and they have armor pierce as well yeah fuck all that shit Hey, this character's been flying though. We're up to what? 25 and we died today on stream? Like, that's pretty good, you know, we're making progress. We're making progress. All right, down south. I kind of want to hit up, uh. Here's what we do. I think we. Mm, mm, we're here. Let's hit it up right now. We'll hit up Collision Course and then we'll go sell off and sell, get rid of the legendary if we get one. And then we'll hit up town and see if back on the beat procs. I haven't done that in a bit, and back on the beat could be fun. Uh, was the previous build for rifles? The previous build uh, was a melee build that died today because I was AFK, because I was looking at a fucking I and I file. And someone was complaining about the game performing terribly, so I was checking some, what something somebody else said was that uh, it might be a certain file set up or a config thing. And it was, but I went server hopping between checking and I logged on. I guess the next server was next to a bunch of raiders and they shot me and killed me. the run without an AFK death? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, I was looking forward to doing another chainsaw run because it's been a few months since I've done one of those, but on the flip side, uh, a pistol run, I'm kind of okay with right now, you know? I got lucky that I got another themed run essentially straight away. Tag stuff so he doesn't get tucked out of every bit of XP, you know? Come on, bud, I believe in you. I'm gonna give him all my 10 mil because I'm not really using it. 
I'm in all of it. We'll give him a couple hundred rounds. I really wish your character actually did a proper animation for a thumbs up in first person. That's still annoying. His primary death round? Well, he can throw away those 350 rounds. There's no way he's playing primary death, though, with that outfit. That's definitely a new player. Which I ain't know the model being a new player. I like seeing new people in the game. Oh, damn. He just fucking sprayed those dudes down. I don't think I hit them all. Pretty sure he just clapped one of them on his own. Hey, uh, Sinistar. Hawk. 33. With that fresh, uh, fresh gift set. Appreciate you. Buddy, I believe in you. It's quiet. Too quiet. Come on, bud. I need you to get the XP. Uh, uh, all you. He's looking around like there. <laughs> he needs to walk over the edge. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, he's hitting the table. You gotta, you gotta jump over. I think you figured it out. No, his shots are hitting the... You gotta walk around, buddy. You gotta walk around. You gotta... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stand up. He's trying to throw knives now. There we go. Yeah! Alright, got him. Good job, Slugger. <laughs> Here we have a wild noob in his habitat. <laughs> Going through the collision course. Wasting rounds into the wood. <laughs> oh no, he's actually hitting shots. Maybe? He might not actually be doing so. This particular noob has decided to go with the beer stein adornment for his head. Typically worn by frat boys. Partying. The beer stein offers easy access to, what, four beer cans? 300 rounds to the wall? Listen, I gave him 350, okay? He's got like at least another 50 still. You know, he's fine. <laughs> This pistol's actually been really fun. For a permanent character, the fucking circuit breaker's great. For an actual, because the thing is, I got this pistol because, and I was wanting it because I already have a, at least my one of my alts was a Vats bloodied pistol character. The fuck is that? Oh, it's one of the bodies that I fucking zap midair. Okay, that's funny. Um, 
But yeah, like on that character, it's not that great. It's a novelty. But on a perma character where I don't have crazy gear, like this is great. This is a fantastic weapon. No serum for sale? No, I still haven't found any yet. Um, there aren't, there, have, there haven't been that many. Okay, this one, we could check this way. 2G females. What level are you? 410. She could have some. He, she, whatever. I'm not going to assume. But they could have some. We're going to head south after this anyway, so... If they stay on the server, then we could get lucky. But yeah, um... Serums, I think, aren't as important on this character because I can actually use uh, ranged, right? It'll definitely be useful, don't get me wrong. Like, Marsupial is still huge, quality of life. Not also, but survival. But Marsupial is, like, even more so needed when I'm on a melee character because I gotta be able to jump away from, like, death claws and whatnot, you know? Question, how are you getting 90 frames? I'm running a i9-11 series and a 3080, getting 37 frames. Um, good question. I can show you my settings if you want to clip them. Uh, I don't know if these are going to help you. Keep in mind, I did some i9 tweaks back in the day, and I don't know if those are going to help you. I can dig out my i9 stuff as well, because I'm in a relatively safe zone. But here you go. 1080p, I'm also not crazy quality. Ultra, high, high, ultra, medium... Nothing. There you go. Yep. There you go. Yep. Just, just clip this. That way you can have that. Obviously, all this stuff doesn't matter. But there you go. There's my graphic settings. I'm only on a 3060 Ti. If those don't do it for you, because you should definitely be having be like good as the same, if not better, frame rate. Like technically, my CPU is like a newer series, but it's only i7. Here's an i9. Like, yours is, like, mine's well, a series newer, but you have a 3080, which should still, I think, outpace the 3060Ti by a little bit. So you should have comparable frames, if not better. And you can see mine in the top right. So, and it rarely ever drops below 60. If it does, I usually gotta relog, because I'm busted. So, yeah. Yeah, my game's on a, uh, I don't know if this is SSD or NVMe. I don't know if I ever moved it to an NVMe after, uh, I did the rebuild and started last year. But at minimum, it's on SSD, so there is that. Ooh, a 25. garbage to sell. Stock up now while supply are available. Ammunition and other Supplies available here. If you have supplies to trade, I can be up right now twenty one by nine. Oh, so you're widescreen. Okay. But I've not tried to not get much better frames. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome. So citizen. where are you at is a real question. Because I, I could stand in the same spot and supply. tell you like how much my performance changes, you know? Or I could go to the spot where yours is and so you can see how much mine dips or doesn't dip from the area. Just out the vault? Okay, yeah. I get like 100 plus frames out there. 
Yeah, keep in mind, I'm only on 16 by 9 ratio because obviously it's a streaming ratio and also I don't have a widescreen monitor, but I'm also only on 1080p. So I don't know how that is. Um, oh, 76 widescreen support. Does. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that might be something you're going to have to solve by going to the subreddit. I don't know. Let's see. The frame screen, poor frame rate. Let's see what shows up. Hmm. You definitely should be able to solve that. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like the game just hates widescreen, which I feel like I would have heard about over the years. Not that I play on it, but like I figured somebody else would complain about it in chat. Um, or it's possible using the eye tweak to fix it. Yeah, you definitely might want to also look up just like performance tweaks for the game. Because I definitely know back in the day there was some stuff that I did that helped me out. Back when I was on like my 980 Ti or my 1080 uh, founders, you know, like that was again back when the game launched, right? So the game's made progress, you know, optimization wise since then, but uh, I don't know, I don't really know. Sell off all the garbo. Ooh. Yeah, worst case, like, I could dig up my, my, uh, preference file and see if there's anything in particular that might be out of the norm, because I think I could probably see what the default of that is by looking on, like, there's some P, I think it's PC Gaming Wiki, actually, but there's, like, a, I think a website that keeps track of a lot of PC games, like, what their default, you know, configs are. I don't know, 100% though. Like right there, my frame rate just dropped a fair bit. I just felt it drop below 60. It was slim, but it does. Now you can see right now, I'm going to town. I'm only, I'm only 70 FPS right now. It is dipping a little bit, 66, you know, but it's still good enough, right? So the game is not optimized by your stretch. So it's possible playing on widescreen is what's getting you. But I mean, with a 3080, I mean, I don't know how much better a 3080 is versus a 3060 Ti, but it should still be a good chunk. Let's see, um, GPU benchmark, let's see. Benchmark. High-end video cards. All right, let's see. 3080 sits at... It's a 12 gig. It's at 26.7K, and if it's a regular, it's 25K. Okay. Versus 3060 Ti is at 20K. You should be a fair bit above my performance. Obviously, the benchmark score doesn't mean everything, but it's generally speaking an okay performance. On the beat? No? That's not triggering. I think we're. All right. Recharging. Okay. That's fine. South we go. We will go check out this player's camp and hope they have some serums. Resolution tanking your FPS. I run the game on a i9 3938 and getting mid 70s. Really? Right, well. Doesn't mean you couldn't buff it up uh, in some areas. Right there. Yeah, 
Yes, you, you were killed. Soda? Yes. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be armed. There's also an NVIDIA inspector tweak, so you can use G-Sync if your monitor has that. Not sure if the frame freezing though. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about those. I uh, I don't have any fancy monitors like that. I'm just lucky I have enough for a 144 hertz monitor, and I bought ages ago. Good enough for me. Mothman Equinox! I can make it! I can make this one! I can make this one! Let's go! We gotta run. Forget the serums, I can get those another time. I can make this one, it just popped up. We just gotta hope somebody gets over there and starts it before the timer. But hopefully they start it right at the end of the timer. Let's see, we gotta run. Candies are gone. We need some water. That's what we need. That back up. And bonus. Change it to full screen instead of borderless. I'm getting 90, which is why I have it. What I have it capped at. Hey, there you go. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't think borderless versus full screen really hurts me, but if it's a solution for you and you can live without being borderless, by all means, fuck yeah, dude. 90 is great. If you have your yours capped at 90 and you're hitting the cap, psh, hell yeah, dude. That's that. I mean, that seems like an improvement to me. What ended up? Uh... Oh, you bitch! Broke my fucking armor. What ended up being the? Uh... No, 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 no! Don't prepare. Don't reload. Uh, what ended up being the uh, the culprit? Oh no, you said it. I'm a fucking idiot. Board list versus full screen. Okay, cool. Are you still at the same higher res as well, or did you lower the res while still being widescreen? That's the real thing, because if you're still at, uh, like, the higher res widescreen, then that'll be useful if anyone ever asks again, I guess, which, you know, considering how many people are playing the game now, eh, it's a possibility. I've definitely had to troubleshoot a couple different things today. I think this might be the th at least the third issue, because, <laughs> yeah, anyways. Same res? Okay, yeah, so you're on the higher res widescreen. Okay, that's cool. One thing I wish they'd done with this game is I just wish they'd made it actually snow. You know? Like, come on, man. It's Appalachia, right? We should have some snow during the winter, right? Like, it'd be so nice. I know there's mods for that, but it's not the same. It's not the same, man. Like, that's what made The Division 1, like, so great. Beyond so many other, like, actual, like, gameplay stuff. Is it had an amazing, like, Christmas snowy atmosphere. The Christmas part was just kind of okay. But the snowy atmosphere was fucking immaculate, dude. Like, I'm not expecting snow falling off of trees when I bump into them, like, in... <laughs> The division, you know, and you bump into a car door, the snow slides off the window and shit, like... But man, just some snow in here, you know, it'd be cool. It'd be cool occasionally. That's all, you know? 
think it'd be nice. Uh, I've always run boreless window. Let me see if it improves your frames. Oh, hey. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? They do have snow. They do. They do have snow. I know it looks like I said, I, there's a mod for it, I'm pretty sure. Someone told me about it a while back. I think it was last year sometime. Someone said uh, there's actually snow mod. And I looked it up. It looked okay. It didn't look terrible at all. But uh, it's just still not something I want to run. As a streamer in general, like, for an online game like this, like, I realize they've said, like, hey, you know, some mods are okay, kind of, because you can't really interfere with, like, the online multiplayer stuff, right? So everything you do is going to be client-side. Even then, though, I still just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> like, I'm just, you know, I put too much time in this game. I don't really feel like just something weird getting caught for some stupid shit, you know? Not like that they'd catch me doing stuff, but like the automated systems behind it, you know, because there's always errors that go on. It's like, no, nah, I'm good. But you're right, they did do uh, Skyrim. They, they, you know, snow season with this would be sick. I think that would be amazing. Because, like, I love the map, don't get me wrong, but even with permadeath and having to walk everywhere, I've seen a lot of it, you know? Even just a nice layer of snow does refresh and revitalize it a fair bit because the uh, i've played uh modded versions of the daisy standalone uh and seeing like snowy trinaris it's real fucking cool man seeing the same area but covered in snow it changes shit it's nice oh shit i need to keep running i need to keep running oh we're gonna make it in time oh, we're gonna make it in time let's go maybe we can actually get some kills and some xp too That'd be nice. What level are we? We are 25-ish? I don't know. We'll check in a second. I can't stop running because I'm trying to, like, get to a quest thing. Once we actually hop inside it, then you stop and check. 26. Pretty good considering I died today, at, like, an hour or so into the stream. But... To be fair, that's also, like, all of it is due to, um, the double XP. Because it's a double XP weekend. So I'd be significantly further behind. Still nice, though. Ooh, we're even on the first phase. We can actually fight the waves. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get some loot. Some XP. Oh, hello. I see you. Oh, people write down the blood. Well, I didn't need to pick it up. God damn it. Drop it off at least? We cannot. Okay. Ow! Prick. Still give me XP at least. So kill profits, destroy totems. Where are the yonder totems? Is that totem behind it? No. That is the collection area. There's one right there. Mark the totems or they mark the Ah, it's a cultist, okay. Scoped radium rifle. Hmm, too bad you can't make a pistol version of that. Oh, what? Oh, oh. No! No! Bro, Fallout never crashes. No, come on, I gotta get back into the, a, a, just a server. I need to get this event before it's over. Come on. Oh my god, it's not stopping. The game isn't, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, man. It better drop me into a server that's in progress. I ran all the way across the map for this fucking event. If I just got cucked by a goddamn server crash, I'm gonna rage quit. <laughs> come on, man. Please, don't do this to me. Come on, get in, get in. Yeah, I'm more a dingus.
that's more helpful definitely for people in chat for sure hopefully uh we have probably got some new people definitely in chat so if you are doing the event you definitely want to do that anytime you see a wise mothman you interact with it and you get an xp buff it's really nice because it's either this one or the one at the lighthouse oh no no come on man bro did it drop me on a server without it oh my god Fuck. dude the other server has more than enough time also, daily just reset. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Fuck, come on, man. Server hop? Yeah, that's what I'm doing! Dude, I think I just got cucked out of that event. That's so fucking annoying, man. How did I land on Like, how is everyone, not, or at least somebody, not going for it on every server? There's no way they finish it up in eight minutes, unless the entire server piles there and starts it, like, on the time. Bro. What, what is going on? How is no one here? <sighs> Dude. It's all these servers that are loaded with like fresh players. They don't like, they don't have big events like showing up on the map yet. Cause they're not high enough level. Fuck dude. I think we just got fucked. I don't even need the fast travel, Adam. Like, I'm at the location, so I'll know the second I log in if it auto, like, joins me. But it's not doing it. Bro, come on, man. Okay, social, recent. Uh, uh, can I, like, join off these people? No, you have to add them as friends. Maybe I'll see if Cliff's in one right now. All we can hope for. Maybe Cliff's on a server has it. Missing game crash? It's pretty rare for me. It's pretty rare. I will say, I'm not that surprised. I've definitely noticed during the Mothman Equinox, I've had a very, uh, a very substantial performance decrease in this town because of all the extra added like stuff there. Bro, come on, man. Nope, damn it. Okay. I, I I ran all the way across the map for it, man. If I didn't run all the way across the map, I could have run to that other player's camp and checked her vendor. And she was high level. She was four or something. She probably had serums. Bro. Come on, game, please. Give me a server that has it going. <gasps> yes, we got one. Oh, we got it. Are we the same server? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're here. Defend the rituals. The heretics approaching the bridge pyre. Okay. Uh, okay. We lost out on some XP because we didn't defend the first wave, but we're here for the second wave. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. Man or beast, these twisted shadows all serve yeah, the frame rate's definitely not amazing in this one. town, for sure, though, because of the update. Tag him for XP, let's go. <gasps> um, Deathclaw, please no. <laughs> Why are you coming after me down here, dude? I really aggroed him from that far away? Bro, it's a level 97 you could have hit. It kited kind of over to that guy. Okay, y'all, I need some XP, okay? Don't be killing them all that fast. You must protect it. You must protect it. Die? Did he get killed by the, the death claw? He's not moving. Okay, he's jumping. He may be left. That's usually what happens when you get down there. You hit spacebar. So someone can pick you up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Belly? Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Oh, 
Jesus. Fucking Mothman. Fuck off. <gasps> hey, Deathclaw. How's it going? Take that many hits. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We must invite him to us to show him our love and all gratitude. Dance, sing, shout, expel bile from the That one took me a second, Adam. Show emotion. Show you hear us rise I don't, I've never seen fuck around and find out. Um, it's not abbreviated, but you know. Why, all right. Mothman. You have accepted our invitation. Please, sir, can I have a buff? Thank you. Come, children. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Stand right away and purify baseball robes. Bask in his infinite wisdom. Infinite wisdom. What I get? Egg. We got XP out of it. Neurotoxin dust? Oh, it's because we looted the thing. It's useless. Breaks down the oil. Heavy combat leg. Eh. Meh. All right. Whatever. Sadly, we did not end up on the same server that had the uh, the stuff. Hey, hang on. I'm over encumbered. Is there a stash here? There's got to be a stash on the rooftop, right? There's got to be. They do that for every big event, right? These days. They would know if there is a stash here. If so, where? I'm assuming they do that because they do that for most of big events now where they put like a player stash to use, you know? Okay. Maybe? Maybe not? No? Maybe not. There is. Well, bollocks. Uh, we're not that over encumbered. We can just drop the crossbow, I guess. We can actually probably just pop a buff tat. So I probably have one. Buff out? Yeah, there you go. Easy enough. Oh, it's gonna be a long run, though. Could go hit leader of the pack. Um. Do I want a bunch of one stars? We could get life saving pieces. Uh, I think I'm just gonna head south instead. I think we're gonna head south. We're gonna hit the train station. Uh, we'll sell off there and get everything taken care of that I need to. Yeah, we got lucky with them server hopping, that's for sure. That on my inventory. Um, I own nade, sure, why not? So apparently, at least from what I was seeing earlier when I was like looking through some of the discussions while I was tabbed out, might be that some of the alien blaster plans um, are tradable. So I find it unlikely considering it's from like a couple times a year, like a weekly event, but I might get like ultra lucky on this character while vendor shopping. So I guess we could check for those. Um, finding the actual alien blaster plan would be nice, but not needed, but the we want the cryo plan or the poison plan because both of those changes to the projectiles proc and AOE Which apparently is crazy for damage So if we can get that that would be nice I don't know if we'll be able to though Hey, you're stunned. Oh, he is stunned. He's running in place. Hey, oh, hey, rude! Don't be throw a fucking molly at me, bastard. Okay, that stun is not very long.
but we do have some stuff we could hunt for, so that's okay. We have we have something to set the targets for. No. What are the new dailies? Good question. Freebie first. Codes. Shit. I'm so sorry. Somebody, I just realized like, like an hour plus ago, someone asked how to get all the free... No, I, I just said that. I guess I was going to show up to shop. No, I, I, I explained all the, the Fallout TV show stuff. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I'm fucking scatterbrained today. Um, dailies. Anyways. Nope. Oh. Yo. Already almost done. What? Oh, it must have reset an hour ago. Okay. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Deal crit hits to enemies and vats. Done easy. Critical heads, yep. Scrap stuff, yep. Holotape, yep. <laughs> like, it's... Wow, man, these dailies are so rough. <laughs> they just auto-completed them all, except for a fucking one. That's funny. Well, I think it's safe to say, uh, if I don't get the rest of the dailies while I'm streaming today, I'll definitely get them tomorrow. I'm all out of water. Yo, nice vault suit. Vault suit? What vault suit? Bitch, you are high. I'm wearing a ghillie suit. Does this look like a vault suit to you? Oh, I have a vault suit underneath. Never mind, carry on. How could she see underneath my ghillie suit? <gasps> She's Superman. She's got the x-ray vision. Vision. I can't speak. She's not er, uh, Superman. She just has x-ray vision. I guess she just mutated to have x-ray vision. Can I have that? I mean, I'd rather have like superhuman strength or like the capability to fly, you know? Because flying would be insane. But, I mean, you know, I guess if I'm going to get a mutation, I'll take x-ray vision. I don't know. I mean, you could probably do something with that, right? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be that practical, though, you know? Like, oh, but I can look through walls. It's like, okay, you, you're going to give people cancer, though. If you do it too much. So, like, uh, you know? I guess maybe you could, like be like a police officer or like special forces maybe you know and that way you could be like you know just just give them binoculars and the x-ray vision right and then you just like look at a building like, oh yeah there's five people in there because like if the thermal can't penetrate the fucking building whatever there you go i guess i don't know no show spoilers i'm only on the second episode yeah we don't we don't talk about the show spoilers spoiler stuff here. Do not worry. Did my buff fucking buff out war off already? What the hell, man? Not cool, dude. Yeah, okay. You know what? We should probably have some cooked fucking rad stag. No? Real rad stag. Boom. Carry weight 20. Let's go. <coughs> So when are we allowed to talk about spoilers? Uh, I don't know, like a month at least. At least. Uh, I'm gonna, if I remember later today, I'm gonna make a spoiler channel in the Discord so you can chat about it there, but talk about it in stream chat or I'm talking about it? Nah. I don't want somebody accidentally stepping on a landmine of a spoiler, you know? Any camp vendors on this map? There are some. Some are good though. Plans. There aren't many. Down here. Ed's 19 by G Pappy. G Pappy, where are you? What level are you, bud? Ed's. Don't care where you are. What level are you, G Pappy? He's got meds. It's level 133. He could be making serums. Too far for me to go right now, though. Pappy, where are you, buddy? 2,000? Okay, he's got serums. We're heading down there immediately. We're heading down there immediately. <laughs> Bros in the four digit levels, he's got serums for sale. There's no fucking way. If he's got meds on his fucking vendor, 19 of them, 
that aren't serums, I'm going to question what he's doing with his life in Fallout 76. Bro, he's level 2000. Like, how are you not putting serums up for sale? Can I have a red tank? Red tank. Is that supposed to mean? Uh, but yeah, what serums are you looking for? Mostly looking for Marsupial as like the big one, and then Speed Demon's a quality life one. There might be like a third one I could grab, but as a range build, I don't really need like those two really. Watch them have serums, but they're extremely overpriced. Shh. Bro, I'll pay it. I got 1300 caps for this character on the first day. I want it. I need a serum at this point, man. I don't need them, but it would be a great quality life to have them. Oh, I need to loot these guys and get out, because these can blow up Rainwick earlier. I don't trust fucking robots at all anymore, man. Got PTSD from those fuckers. Have you got started with the gene cards yet? No, they require level 30. I, you don't, it doesn't matter anyways. I have a legendary card that heals my rads automatically. So, starch genes isn't like really required. Obviously, I grab them anyways in case I accidentally walk through someone's rad shower at their camp or, you know, I need, like, if I just suddenly take a ton of rads from some event or whatever, you know? There aren't a whole lot of sources of, like, sudden rads in this game. Even, like, a glowing one smacking you, it'll show a lot. It doesn't actually give you that many in the long term, though. It'll be like a little chunkier bar, you know? But it's nothing like panic worthy. The only real panic worthy stuff that I can think about is if I were to log into a rad zone, which I would probably just get instantly melted. No, no, if I was there for the nuke impact, I would get melted. If I logged into a rad zone from a nuke, it would suck, but I could potentially rad, rad wave my way out of it. It would be a harrowing couple of minutes as I ran to the border and kept spamming it, but. It could be doable. Um, the only real, like, giant sudden sources would be uh, the eviction notice fucking public event that I've had to happen before. That was sketchy. Um, there might be a couple other ones, but they're pretty infrequent that worrying about the starch genes, like, having to protect sudden radaways is pretty slim because sudden radaways aren't really needed for the most part. I guess technically you could run into a mob that has, uh, whatchamacallit. Don't you do it. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's running away. Okay. Um, words. Uh, a mob that has like a rad no, radium? No, gamma pistol. I guess radium rifle as well. But I think the gamma ones does like all radiation damage pretty much. So, higher level mobs, I guess, could really fuck me up with that. Ooh, a handmade. Too bad we can't use it. Grab it to sell, I guess. For the most part, though, I'm not really worried about it. Let's see, which way are we heading? To the left, because we gotta go sell shit off. Yeah, the actual vendors over here, we can't sell it. They're purveyor. I think it's level 2000 still have stuff to do. Some people play WoW forever on the same character, you know? They just keep finding stuff to do. They keep hunting trans mobs. They keep doing stuff. You know? Same thing here. There's a lot of cosmetics, except for I'm getting talked over by the fucking AI again, you fuckers. Um. the thing? Yeah, just like how some people main an MMO, you know, they always keep finding stuff to do. Same thing for this. Now, I'm not saying this is an MMO, but some people, this, oh, hello, I see legendaries. Some people, this game is their MMO, though, you know? They'll try and get all the collectibles, they'll try and collect all the plans, they'll try and get, like, all the oh, characters min maxed out. Not just one character. Try and, uh, you know. Hello. Two star, hey, I'll take it. You know, like, there's a lot of different seasonal stuff to do. 
and like they like do base building. Maybe they like having multiple bases because you can have you can swap like which is your active base, you know. So some people might just like get into that stuff, you know. Oh, another one. Let's go. I'll take two. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, some people just like the gameplay, so maybe they just keep playing it so I have something to do, you know? I don't know, man. My main's only like level 300, so I don't know. Uh, my way to keep playing the game is doing Perma, because it's like a, a decent stream game for me, you know? And I also enjoy... Ooh, the water. I don't think the water was needed, but yeah, I enjoy it as well, obviously, but... Uh... the only real way to keep me playing the game without a PvP mode, you know, or, uh, a lot of, like, story and shit, so, that's how I find my way, you know, you know, it is what it is. I'm almost level 600, I still don't have all the plans. Oh, yeah, no, I believe it. I believe it. There's a lot of goddamn plans on this shit, man. You guys can have fun. I'm busy. What? I didn't take damage from that. I hit water. We were fine. Ain't nothing wrong there, right? Listen, I'm the one actually playing here, okay? Just watching. You don't have to have anxiety for that. You have content from that. <laughs> I'm the one who lost an entire day's work to my fucking melee death earlier. Weeks worth, maybe not weeks, but a couple days worth whenever I lost the, uh, you know, the other characters to fall, actual falling damage months ago. Like, I'm just saying, the only person who has anxiety here. You know. Hunter's right leg, huh? What's my current right leg? Boiled cushion. Oh, we like the fall damage one. That's nice. That's nice. Let's not use that. Let's sell it off. Ooh. Oh, it's power armor. Never mind. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Sell all that off. Raise first. Launcher. Free supply here, citizen. Scrap that down. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized to trade. Should supplies. have a bunch of glowing blood. Oh yeah, from that radium fever. Radiation rumble, duh. Not your radium fever. Radium fever is a song. Wait. Shit. I know Uranium Fever is a song, obviously. But now I'm trying to think, like... Is there actually a fucking... What's the event? There's Radiation Rumble, and then... You, is it Uranium Fever also the event? Because I know there's a low-level event. The one that I did with the melee character yesterday. That was fucking sketchy. What was it? Shit. Oh, did I unlock the recon for this thing as well? I'd be kind of sick if we did. Really? The recon doesn't unlock for this thing? That's annoying. I guess there is no recon scope for this thing. Because, yeah, we got the recon unlocked for this guy. Recon on the uh, circuit breaker would be nice. Nope, just close sights are regular. Boring. At least, it's, wow, that hasn't taken, like, no durability damage. Take it. All right. Um, oh, nade launchers and ammo. Put that away. Put away. Put you away. Okay. Cool. 
and three levels, huh? What do we grab? What do we grab? I think in low longer maybe for more AP regen. That'd be kind of nice, honestly. Let's see, do we have any new cards here? Covert Ops yet? No Covert Ops yet. How about you? Any new cards? Mysterious Stranger? Nope. Um, I don't think I don't really think I need Grenadier though, to be fair, either. So, uh, what was I gonna grab? Fuck, I totally forgot already. Right, Lone Wanderer. A little bit less damage, a little more AP regen. 20% extra AP regen is nice. It's very nice. Alright, new- Ah, there's Covert Ops. I knew it was close. Fuck yeah, buddy. Give me that stealth damage. How often do high levels trying to give free stuff that you gotta turn down because of rules? Um, it's not that often. I feel like a lot of the really high levels who are like actually familiar, familiar with the game, they see me in the ghillie suit and they realize, oh, he knows what he's doing. Because the ghillie suit is literally an item you cannot get unless you played either during a tiny window where people were able to exploit it and craft it and then trade it to other people via like vendor selling or you actually earned it earned it for like it was around for like a month maybe uh, you had to like do a bunch of stuff like in nuclear winter um and you then you would get unlocked i don't remember exactly what the challenges were but uh, i remember like that was part of why at one point i was logging on and doing like uh, at least a couple hours of nuclear winter at the end of every stream and usually like Therm and Donis or Uber or a bunch of the homies would like jump in and play with me because uh, it was fun A in groups but also B uh, I was working on the ghillie suit and I, I don't know if any of them all also, also got it but that's what I was doing it for because I wanted the ghillie suit because the ghillie suit's it's good but yeah the only way to get said ghillie suit is by having played during a tiny window of time for nuclear winter so basically you have to have been around for a long time so if they ever see a low level that's wearing this thing either somehow a vendor still exists that has a ghillie for sale which i don't know if they actually when they fixed it if they like pushed out the existing ones or not or it's a someone who's been playing a while so it's possible a handful have like rolled up to try and give me stuff and they see the ghillie suit and they say oh never mind he doesn't need it you know he knows what he's doing oh man that damage bonus is fucking slapping hard excuse me oh okay yeah see we, we didn't have the stealth bonus for that guy so he didn't go down in the first hit Oh uh, yeah, I think I got the ghillie. See, there you go. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. This thing's just fun, man, because you get like the the fun shenanigans of laser pistols, but you get the aesthetic and the snappiness of the 10 mil. Plus the extra bonus AOE is just fun as well. I like this thing. It's good. Oh, buddy. Oh, it one-tapped him. <gasps> the extra AOE, once it finishes the AOE, it procs the damage afterwards. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm breaking these down. Oh, we are. And off of habit, we're gonna grab these just because. Of 
course I'm finding handmaids now that I'm on my goddamn rifleman. That's annoying, man. I guess if we had the fixer. New weapon? Not really. Yes, but no. Uh, I didn't use this much on my previous character. Uh, or any characters, really, because this was something from a few seasons back you had to unlock via the, the seasonal scoreboard. Um, but my bloodied pistol character, it's actually not that great on. Like, it's not bad if there's, there's better stuff, you know? Because you can't re-roll it, right? So it's stuck with whatever it is. So it it functions like a, a use of energy cell, so it's an like energy weapon, right? But it's pistol, obviously. And you can't, like, add a suppressor, but you can mod it a little bit. But it, the rolls are stuck, essentially, right? Because it's, like, its own legendary. So it has reload speed, which is meh. 50% armor pen, which is decent. And the final shot will do an AoE blast. Within 50 feet, they'll stun targets and do damage, which is a decent amount of damage. Uh, but obviously they can only be stunned once every 10 seconds. So, that's what the, uh, the AOE is, electricity and shit. So it's a fun little zapper gun. In the form factor of a 10 mil. But, uh, I rolled, I died early today, and when I rolled the roulette wheel, we got a, um, random roll again. So, the first legendary weapon happened to be a pipe pistol. So, pistol, architect, character it is so that's what we're rocking right now i need to keep going down for this guy's camp before he logs off we're gonna leave this quest we're gonna go down there right now we can finish that quest later i don't know if this dude's gonna be here a while To make it up this hill. I guess we could go around that way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. wonder if when a deer actually affects the AOE explosion from it. Because it says it actually has like a, a number in it, you know? I wonder if Grenadier I could double it to 100 feet. I wonder if Demo Expert would help the damage as well. Let's look it up later. If I remember. I was auto running and I was taking a drink of water and this is not good. You know what? You guys can just have fun. I'm busy. You know what? No, y'all deserve desire for doing that. Fuck you guys. Interrupting me while I'm drinking my shit. How dare you? Uh, do you know if they're making a new Fallout? And which of the previous games should I try first? Yes, they're making a new Fallout. When? Not for a long time, most likely. Unless there's some hidden stuff going on down behind the tracks. So, I highly doubt it. But, <clears throat> so recently, if you're not aware, you might be new, I'm guessing, to the franchise because of the TV show, right? Well, uh, the guys who make the TV show, Bethesda Game Softworks, or Bethesda Game Studios, BGS, uh, 
They put out a game last year, which is basically Fallout in space, and that's Starfield, right? Starfield only came out in September, near the end of September, I think. Maybe start of September. I don't remember. It came out September last year, though. Uh, we still have at least two DLCs, I think, for that, that are planned. Uh, maybe it's only one. We don't know how many DLCs are coming, but we know that there is at least one DLC called Shattered Space coming for that game out. Um, eventually, sometime this year. We also know there's supposed to be big modding tools for that. But Shizzle, you asked about Fallout. I'm getting there. <laughs> um, we also know there's supposed to be some modding tools that are supposed to come out for that game. Because that's what makes Fallout games Fallout games is that uh, the longevity on the on PC at least, uh, and kind of in the consoles now, is because people can keep modding them and customizing them how they want with the extra stuff that the community makes. It's great stuff. But the next game after that will most likely be Elder Scrolls 6 because we got teased about that quite a while back. Because the last Elder Scrolls game came out in 2011. Skyrim. How is he not dying? There we go. So because the last Elder Scrolls came out 13 years ago and they've already announced Elder Scrolls 6, that is almost certainly next, the next big game out from Bethesda. So... And that means Fallout uh, 5 will most likely be out well after Elder Scrolls 6. So if we account for only one year left of Starfield support, even though it's probably going to be a little bit more, um, because they did more DLCs for all the other games, but if we assume only one DLC and that it's only going to get support for this next year, 2024 is the year Starfield. Okay? 2025 is the earliest Elder Scrolls 6 could come out. And let's assume only one year of DLCs for that as well, because there were still a couple big DLCs for Skyrim, but assume only one year of that. That means 2025 is start for, or Elder Scrolls 6, and then 2026 is the DLC. Jesus. I need to get upgrade on this thing. Am I 30 yet? Not quite. I need to get damage upgrade one. Um, please tell me this guy's camp still here. Oh my god, he logged off! <laughs> That's why I get for stopping to fight. Bro. I came all the way down here for literally nothing. God fucking damn it, dude. Anyways. We know Fallout 5 is coming after Elder Scrolls 6. Because I believe Todd has said so in some interviews here and there. So, that's the next main entry into the series. There could be a spin-off. Because games like 76 obviously exist. It's kind of a spin-off, but it's not like a spin-off spin-off. It's like an experimental spin-off because this is the first multiplayer game Bethesda's done. Um, and it's still a Fallout game, and I, I think it's still great. But it's not a traditional Fallout single-player game entry, right? Um, the last spin-off was Fallout 3 New Vegas. Because Fallout 3 came out in, like, 08, 09, and then New Vegas came out, like, a year later. A year and a half later, something like that. So, it's possible, but unlikely, that we could get a spin-off of Fallout 4. Um, because they are putting out the next-gen update for Fallout 4, because Fallout 4 came out in 2015. It's almost, like, not quite nine years old yet. Came out at the end of 2015, but still. They're putting out the next-gen update for that for consoles uh, at the end of the month, which will also hit for PC, uh, which will bring, like, a you know higher performance for the game, frame rate, uh, performance slash uh, quality modes, you know, like you expect on console stuff. And as a result of them doing that for the game, maybe they're going to, like, have that baseline as packaged up, and then, like, maybe a different support studio will, you know make Fallout 4 uh, Seattle. I don't fucking know. San Francisco. Whatever whatever a potential spinoff could be. It's un unheard of. Because uh, Obsidian was the one who made New Vegas, not Bethesda Game Studios. I mean, obviously they worked with them, right? But they essentially used Bethesda's engine, right? They had them make that. Microsoft owns uh, Obsidian from quite a while back, but they also own Bethesda, more importantly. So Microsoft runs a show, and if they get a lot of people playing the game and like they see a ton of hype around the fallout show and the whole franchise i i'm, I'm not saying it's going to happen 
but it's not unheard of that they could think about maybe doing a spin-off. I don't- I think it's a little too late for that. I think if anything, they would do a spin-off on like the- JESUS CHRIST! I think if anything, they would do a spin-off on the Creation 2 engine, because this is an older version of the Creation engine. The engine has been updated for Starfield. So, it, Jesus, fuck off, god damn, dude. Okay, I'm just not gonna go over there. I don't want that loot, fuck you. Um, it's possible we could get a spin-off, like Fallout 4 San Francisco. We don't know what the next game is gonna be, by the way. We don't even know if the spin-off is gonna happen. Um, there was some leaked documents quite a while back from some court case, for some reason. Some, like, other party, I think, dragged Microsoft into, or it may have been, like, a, a document that leaked during the acquisition of Bethesda, but an old document leaked during some kind of court proceedings, and it had, like, a general uh, roadmap of stuff Bethesda was going to be releasing, right? On that list was a uh, Oblivion remaster, which is Fallout, or not Fallout, it's uh, Elder Scrolls 4. And on top of that was also a Fallout 3 remake. Remaster? Remake? I don't remember which one it was, but I think it was a remake. Maybe it was a remaster? I think it was a remake. Anyways. There was something planned for that, but that was for years ago at this point. And we've heard nothing since then. So most likely, if anything does happen, um, we might hear about it this year, but... I highly doubt they've been keeping, like, the next spin-off in their back pocket this entire time. It would be a very well-kept secret, but I don't think so. There were some rumors a while back of a New Vegas 2, you know? Um, but those were just silly internet rumors that were pretty much debunked. Uh, now, you could also be like, but Shizzle, the Steam branch, and I'll be like, yes, I was mentioning that. There were some updates that were going out uh, at the start of this year, at the end of last year for Fallout 3 uh, and New Vegas and one of them was called one of the branches was new, I think I think it was a branch that was renamed it was an experimental branch of like the Steam dev build for Fallout 4 I think it was called New Vegas 2 but that was just probably a name that probably wasn't you know it's just they can name stuff whatever they want they do dev builds that's probably not it but that was a thing like New Vegas 2 has technically been like mentioned on the back end but it realistically is probably to them just doing like all the updates because if you're not aware with all the fallout tv show going on they're selling like an anthology edition of the game so you can buy like a little fat man mini nuke that has all the games you know with it right so there you go most likely we're not getting a new vegas 2 we're not getting a spinoff it'd be cool i think it's possible i just don't think it's happening But yeah, sorry, so that was a long-winded answer to your question on when the next fall game is coming. Question mark, question mark, question mark, we don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, what one you should play first? Probably Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is the most recent main entry, and if you enjoy the gameplay of 4 uh, and the story and whatnot, then you could be like, hey, maybe I'll play 76 and get more Fallout 4, because that's what it is. Oh, I didn't get any blood this time. I didn't actually get the fuses either. I just came back here like an idiot. Good job, Shizzle. Um... You could, you know, if you play Fallout 4, I think it's the most easily accessible entry to the series. And then at that point, you can be like, ah, yes, I love the lore and I want to go play the older versions. Because 3 and New Vegas are phenomenal games. Um, and there's a lot of good lore there. But the gameplay is going to be a lot stiffer. Those are old games, you know. They're both 13 plus years old at this point, you know. So, you got to keep that in mind. I'm playing 76, uh, so you could play that, you know, and uh, enjoy a updated like they're updating it and putting new content in it all the time like there's a map expansion coming later this year for this map you know uh, you could play that but i don't think 76 should be your first experience as much as it might be fun to get into i personally think you should probably play a like a regular main series games and four is probably gonna be the most easily accessible to you i haven't played one tour tactics or brotherhood i should say so I can't really recommend those because those are very old. You might eventually get really into it and play those and they might be sick. I, I can't comment because I haven't done those. I don't know. Uh. 
Crazy my favorite storyline, but the game isn't as good overall. Yeah. Definitely, uh, it, the side quests are not nearly as good as New Vegas, for sure. The DLC, I can't comment on the DLC because I haven't played them all yet. I will eventually. I will get back to that playthrough eventually, but I'm enjoying 7-6 Perma right now, so we chilling on this. Uh-oh. They fall into another spot that I can't get out of. No, we can't. I'm really scared of walking past any of these robot corpses because I don't want them exploding on me. Vegas is pretty old nut? Yeah, but I played on stream. It's good. It's real good. You can get a bunch of mods to make it a little more playable. A little more uh, easier to digest, as it were. I just got 76 free on Prime, so I'll, maybe I'll try New Vegas first to see. Yeah, New Vegas is cool. Like, 76 is fun. I just don't think, like, a multiplayer Fallout should be your first experience. If it is, like, you gotta keep in mind, like, the series is not multiplayer. Like, this is very much an experimental thing. Now, the lore is all still canon and whatnot, but, yeah. If you knew the franchise, personally, Four, but you know, New Vegas is good too. New Vegas is good. I just played through recently. Yeah, you, you ain't wrong there. Whatever you start with, three New Vegas or four, you're definitely gonna want to find some like, find like a YouTube video for like a vanilla mod list, you know, to keep it patched. Kind of prefer singular there. Player? Yeah, well, that's not what 76 is. I mean, you can play a single player. I'm playing a single player right now, and I very rarely run into people. Because you can play the entire game on servers with other people alone. Like, you only really see them for, like, stuff like this. There's going to be larger versions that will be blinking, and that will be like, hey, it's a big server-side event, and you're going to most likely see other people show up. Everyone else is going to be off doing their own thing right now. Like, right now, you can see there's another person over here doing something. It's probably selling stuff at this camp. Uh, you can see there's another person up here, a bunch of people, a bunch of new players that are all level 20s because you can roll either level 1 or 20. These are all new players on the starting area, doing their own thing. There's someone up up at their base, chilling, who just logged off. You know, like, people are always off doing their own thing. So, like, you can play it single player, just, you know, in a, in a server with other people, you know. But, like I said, it is, it's not the traditional Fallout experience. Which is why I said four. Three New Vegas are also very, very good. It's just mechanically, you're going to be playing a very old game. So you guys keep that in mind is all. Now, you, you can make them fun and palatable. You just got to get some mods. But yeah. Like I, if you want, like, <laughs> I, I have a playthrough on uh, YouTube of playing through New Vegas recently. Uh, New Vegas slash three. All of the uh, VODs are up on a YouTube playlist for you. I do think I'm going to call it here, though, because, God, I just looked at it. It's already 11 o'clock. Jesus. I think we're going to finish up this quest and then call it a day. But I appreciate y'all chilling with me today. If you're new to the stream and you haven't done it yet, what are you doing? Hit that follow button. I'm live most days, Friday through Tuesday, doing something. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. I've been enjoying uh, permadeath. But yeah, I played through... Um I say played through. I technically haven't finished the playthrough, but I played through Fallout 3 slash New Vegas in a big mod pack called Tale of the Two Wastelands, which someone mentioned in chat a little bit ago. And what that does is it essentially combines both those games into one. And that particular uh, list that I was playing suggests you starting in Fallout 3 and playing through all of that and its DLCs and then playing New Vegas. But I've already played 3 when it came out back in the day. So I started off in 3 because that's where your character starts. And then the first stream is mostly me playing Fallout 3. And then at the very end, I transitioned to New Vegas. So you can actually get a little bit of both games if you're curious on what's going on there. 
but mechanically they're about the same. So if you're wondering how it actually kind of plays, at least visually from watching a video or whatever, like, yeah, you have a YouTube series on that. There's a nice little playlist. And also, if you want to see Fallout 4 uh, and what it can potentially be turned into, uh, I have a short playlist on YouTube about playing a permadeath modded version of that. It's very, very rough because I get my ass whooped and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with Frost Mod. But, um, actually, I also have a, fall, a, a big, relatively vanilla, modded playthrough of Fallout 4 on Twitch that's saved via the Twitch playlist feature. It's not on YouTube, but I didn't really start getting back into YouTube at the start of last year, so. But, yeah, actually, yeah, I actually have playlists of uh, modded, crazy modded 4, semi modded 4, and 3 New Vegas. So there you go, if you're curious. All those are available. Appreciate that sub there, machine, as well, by the way. Thank you, dude. But yeah, the great thing about 4 is... I mean, you, you can do it with also with 3 New Vegas, but they're not modded nearly as much as 4. 4, is, four and Skyrim are like the premier, like, Bethesda modding games, right? So people make crazy stuff with that. So Fallout Frost is a big mod for Fallout 4 that I played that I have like a short little YouTube series on. I mean, the rest of the VODs are obviously there from when I played regular. Um, on YouTube, obviously, because Twitch VODs is leaving after 60 days. But, um... Oh, man, look at that. But, uh, yeah, like, it changed into a completely different game from the normal Fallout experience to, like, a snowy, uh, you know, Metro slash Stalker kind of experience, you know? It was really cool. So, like, there's a lot of, like, total overhaul mods that'll really change up how your Fallout plays, you know? Which is really fun, in my opinion. But, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, because it's late. I'm tired. Uh, I've already been going for eight, almost eight and a half hours. So, uh, we, we pulled a little bit of a long one today. But, hey, I appreciate y'all chilling. I'm gonna get some food. I'm starving. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy uh, the rest of your Saturday. It's Saturday, right? Yes, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Um, I will be back tomorrow with more bright and early. Same time, same place. If you're new to the stream, like I said, hit that follow button. Friday through Tuesday, we do something here. Uh, we'll be doing some more of this. We do a lot of PvP games as well here and there. But uh, Fallout's kind of like the default chill game. So I'm getting out of here. Y'all have a good one. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you're into that kind of stuff. Check out the YouTube. All that jazz. Uh, but yeah, I am out. So until next time, folks, you have a good one. Good night.